Why am I so- What the hell? What is going on? Hold on. Something really bad will happen. What the heck happened? Oh shit. Why am I like this? Oh crap. Give me a sec. I gotta reset something. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I'm locking in. Uh, I think I'm locking in too much. I'm mute. I'm not muted and the game is not too high. Is it too high? It's not too high. I turned down a tiny bit though. There we go. Yeah, I remember the uh, audio mixing for this game was kind of weird at times. Like, for some reason, the BGM was like a lot louder than the voice audio. And I don't think there was like any way to like fix that. I am not drunk. I don't think I can play this game while drunk. It's, it's a very, very heavy story-driven game. I don't think that's very possible if you're gonna do that while you're inebriated. Also, uh, for context, I've already played this game before. I played the original version of this game, but um, I forgot. I forgot what this game, um, what the paths were for this game. So I'm gonna probably, if you guys remember, if you guys remember what uh, paths I took, I'll try to avoid doing those, but at the same time, they did say they expanded some of the, the story paths for this. So I do want to also check those out if possible. I also heard that there's a lot more like there's more visuals for certain like paths for certain um, areas and I think I think uh, there's like two new why am I still like locked in holy shit there we go I'm still locked in what the fuck is going on I don't know it's being it's being so weird right now I do this that's not right what is oh, wait a minute hold on what if I do this one second one second sorry I know it's <laughs> my my thingy is being really dumb right now. I think that's fixed now. All right. I think I was down here last time because I don't want to block anything. All right. Anyway, let me put this back over here. All right. Now we're set. You know, why am I struggling so much with a visual novel of all things? Like for the setup for this? Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for being first, Theta. Thanks for clocking in Theta. Thanks for clocking in Dachi. Thanks for clocking in Mode. Thanks for clocking in Thanks for clocking in Hubi. Thanks for clocking in Shilo. Thanks for clocking in Concluding. Hey, Praise. Welcome in. Am I okay? Um, I, I, no, I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I wanted to play this like on Friday, but that funny Frankie game came out. So, uh, I, I had to push out to today. And I have no idea what to expect. Well, kind of. I mean, like I said, I sort of know the quote unquote twist with this game, but they might pull it out from, like they, they might pull the rug underneath me. You never know. I do not struggle with all games, okay? You can't struggle with a visual novel. You can still see the background. What background? Oh, that back, wait, what? How about that? Uh, okay, there we go. All right, now we're good. I am not, am I actually floating? God damn it. Mm, there we go. All right. So, in case, in case you guys don't know what this game is, this is a game where you must slay the princess. It's as simple as that. But it's not gonna be as easy as it goes because there's a lot of things that happen that will make your journey a lot more complicated. You know how gamers struggle? That is not true. Gamers struggle with looking up. Remember, every single time. Just positions himself over the one part of the screen. I do? No, 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 no. This is just for the... The text will be on the right side. I don't know that much for sure. I'm gonna have to move you guys to the left side too because I know that the choices will be on that side. So let me do that real quick. All right, there we go. I'll put you guys like small. I'm gonna have to put you guys like really small so that we don't block anything. Because most of the choices come from the right side of the screen, I think. And then where is the FUMO? Here we go. I was really struggling for the first time when I tried to play this game, like where to put everything, where to put you guys and where to put like everyone else. I think it's fine though. The game where you slay the princess, so the opposite of Mario, yes. Although if you fail like Mario, I mean, that's basically what happens to Princess Peach, right? I'm a software engineer, I know how to use Google. <laughs> Isn't that, you know, that's true for anything. If you don't know how to do anything, just Google it and suddenly you're an expert in anything. Oh yeah, by the way, this game wiped all my saves. Yeah, there's no, there's no, oh, maybe it didn't. Oh, it didn't. Oh, interesting. I thought it did. Uh, that's fine then. I'll start a new game entirely. We're going to go into this completely line. I played this like six, five, six months ago, I think. 
so um, my, I'm very 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 hazy but the one thing I do remember is the pathway I took at the very start of the game so we're not gonna do that we'll try something new and we'll get into it new game chapter one the hero and the princess you're on a path in the woods oh, I miss this guy and at the end of that path is a cabin and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Oh, didn't we just crash? Oh, no. Okay, no, it didn't. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this might be one of those games where... Oh, I click... Oh, oh, shit. Oh, no, I remember I had the same problem. No, 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 I had the same problem before. I don't know why. I think... Hold on. I might have to full screen this. Will this fix it? For some reason, when I played this game, uh, I couldn't see you guys. Like, chat wasn't updating on my other on my other screen. It was just this game specifically. I don't remember what I did to fix it. Oh man, Ugh, crap! How did I fix this last time? Linking CTC? No. Crap! I don't remember. How did I fix this? Windowed mode? I no. I, I windowed mode. I do that, and I still can't see you guys. The narrator is really good. I, he's very, very... He has a very, very comforting voice. Um, How did I do this last time? No, it's still not updating. What if I... Pop this out. And I put this here? I think... No, I'll put it, like, right here. Alright, let's see if that fixes it. Return. And let me... Oh god, it's so small now. Why is it- is it like eating CPU or something? <laughs> I remember having the same exact problem. I don't remember how I fixed it. Uh, okay, move that. What else? I can remove this. I can remove... Uh, I think that's everything I can get rid of. Get rid of this. Alright. Hopefully that works. Alright. Uh, someone t say something real quick. Anything? Anything. Average Ren Pi game. <laughs> Ren Pi? It's called Ren Pi, right? Okay, okay. So it looks like it's fine. Um, I don't know. Am I smooth on your guys' end? Does it look smooth on your guys' end? For me, my OBS looks super, super laggy for some reason. The chat is chugging? Okay. That's... I figured it would. Alright, then let me do this. Okay, I'll have to just play this like in windowed mode on my end over here and that should be fine all right it's not great is it like super slow is it like really slow on your guys's end all right let's see how that goes for now and here you're here to slay her if you don't it will be the end of the world so so many polygons. Is it the line boil? Hold on. There's no way it's the line boil, right? <gasps> really? No way. Oh my god. It is the line boil. I don't want to get rid of the line boil, though, because it's part of the visual. What the fuck? That's so weird. <laughs> no, it's the, it's, the, it's the line boil. It's causing my, my game to, like, chug for some reason. Okay, I'll do this. I'll do this. Uh, it's eating so much memory for some reason. Uh, what, what do I want to have? High. High. And then... Why is it... Why is it... Why does it eat so much memory? I don't understand. Fucking hell, man. Alright, whatever. I think that's fine. Let's see if that works anything. Alright. Hopefully that does something. The what while? It's... Okay, you see the shaky lines that happen that are like around the uh, images? That's called line boil. It's what uh, old cartoons used to use to make their, uh, well, cartoons look animated. But for some reason, that's like chugging, like, my my OBS. And I want to turn it off. It goes back to being normal. It's really, really weird. But I want to keep it on, so. If it becomes, like, weird, let me know if, like, chat is, like, being really, really slow or chuggy. What's the boil effect? It's that squilly, see? It's that squilly uh, thingy that you see on the lines. If you guys have ever watched Ed and Eddie, um, the thingy where they look like they're like all squiggly all the time, that's called the line boil effect. Alright, because you know the lines are look like they're boiling. 
Uh, let's try continuing. Why they just pre-generate the lawn boil? It's not pre-generated. It's a uh, part of the effect. I just didn't think it'd like be this much of a problem with this. Obviously, the lawn boil effect is achieved by heating up your PC to boiling temperature. <laughs> it's it's working at least. But everything looks smooth, right? Chat looks smooth. Um, like I look smooth. Hopefully, it's fine. All right. Uh, last time we just walked away from responsibility. I don't really look smooth. I mean, look, we can chalk that up to, like... We could chalk that up to, like, uh... You know, low poly. But in that case, maybe just turn it off. Dang it. I really didn't want to turn it off. It kind of... Man. But if I don't do that, then it's not going to be smooth. Alright, we'll just keep it off for now for then. I remember all of these choices. But the one thing I can't do... The one thing I will not be doing is walking away from responsibility because we played mouthwashing and we saw the consequences of walking away and avoiding responsibility and that was very very bad a lot of a lot of the things in that game went very very bad because we couldn't deal with what we did so we're gonna do the exact opposite of that we're gonna own up we're gonna stick to what we have to do whether that's you know uh slaying the princess or doing something else is killing the princess the responsibility? Uh, that's where we're gonna find out. I think she'll and fab. We can save real quick. Actually, since uh, actually, since I'm not gonna have blind ball up anymore, give me a sec. I'm gonna do this. Since I can just max this out, I think I'll be fine because I want to get fully immersed. All right, there we go. It shouldn't still be laggy, right? Okay, it's good. Uh, let's see. Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. My reward. I know the reward is, you fucker. I know what you're on about. Uh, sweet, I've always wanted to do off of Monarch Viva La Revolution. Hmm, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. What if we just stay on his good side for now? And then we can scheme in the background. Don't mention it. It's all Game is floating. The Oops. There we go. The voice acting for this is so good, though. Path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Should I move myself too? Hold on. Should I do this? Hold on. How can I rotate? Should I get smaller? I can't find a good spot to plug my, totally put myself here. Hmm. Because I don't want to block the um. I don't want to block the stuff here. There's stuff in the middle of the screen. I can go uh. I can put myself upside down. Can I? Okay, no I can't. Hmm. I can just be a floating head. I can be like right here. I'm tiny. I, should, I think that's fine. I think that's probably fine. Turn yourself upside down. I actually don't know how to do that in Walrudo. I can only do that in like a VTS. That's fine. I think this is fine. This is okay. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. I should save, right? She will cheat. And she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Alright guys, what are we going to do here? Are we going to slay the princess? Or are we going to do something else? Also yeah, let's go stretch and drink real quick before we get into that. Killing a princess is hard work, believe it or not. You gotta kind of put your back into it. It's not that... It's not that easy. Killing someone is not very easy. Because if they put up resistance, uh, you're going to be in for a fight. And most people typically don't want to die. So we're going to have to have like our work cut off for us. Came here for that after all. All right. Then we will do that. Actually, let's go do a vote. Um, oh God, mods aren't on right now, are they? All right, give me a sec. Where is it? How did I, how do you pull up Vol? God, I don't know how to, where are my mods when I need them? How do I pull up a f how do I pull up events? There's always a time when mods aren't do slash vote. Is that it? Okay, vote. I have no idea how to use this. I'm missing parameters. What the heck? <laughs> Was it slash pull? Open up a setup menu. Okay. There we go, nice. Uh play or not slay. 
slay. All right, guys, we have a lot of time before we get to her because this guy loves to yap. So we will we'll give it like, I think I'll give it like five minutes or so. There we go. Let me know what we should do first. I'm open, uh, but we can't walk away. Walking away, we did the last time, so that's not an option. All right, and then put back here. I was playing weird TTT. <laughs> weird? What's weird TTT? Finally, mods are back. I think someone isn't easy. Clearly, you weren't chilling with me last night. Huh? I'm gonna pretend that you're just talking about in Minecraft. Yes, can we, yeah, yes. Ten people have said that in chat. Come on, guys, get new material. That shit has been probably said over and over and over again every time someone said that. Why is that the time for five minutes? Because that's how long we're gonna have before we get to, um, the princess, I'd say, and we get to decide what we have to do. We're not gonna go through with this, right? It's him. She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Okay, Mr. Vanilla Prince. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's my subconscious. Wow, it's almost like killing someone is kind of la bad. It's almost like it goes against our moral beings, our moral fiber. Go piss, girl. The Not interior yet. of the cabin is almost entirely bare. Oh, I'm still searching. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine <sighs> blade. The, the blade, blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this. You right. know, the funny thing is, I actually never saw this, the original cabin. Because I took the alternate path last time I played this, and uh, we walked away, and we fucked up the story really, really badly. Like, really badly. Take the blade. Alright, I'm seeing a lot of slays and not slays. But we still have a choice, we still have a chance in three minutes to renege on our decision. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Ooh, the music. The music changed! And our icon changed. Look at that. The door oh, you can't the see the icon. Hold on. Creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. There we go. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Honestly, I still can't agree with that because he is so biased. But I guess he has to be because he's the one that gave us the goal. His goal is to make us, like, you know, kill the princess, obviously. So she, he wants to paint her in a very, very, like, certain light, I'd her say. voice carries up the stairs. I love the music for this, though. It's so good. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down We're here. the ones with the knife, uh, Mr. Hero. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hmm, we could be cordial, we can be friendly, we can question what the fuck we're doing here, or we can just be very silent. Oh, Sakura gives me an audiobook for school book vibe. It's very intentional, the way they say a lot of things here. Everything is done for a reason. Hmm, good, bad. I'm the guy with the gun. Yeah, I'm the guy here to kill you. Maybe Actually, we'll just do silence. You're still listening to reason. We're cool. We gotta play it cool, guys. Can't let her know why we're here. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. I always loved like how sketchy this art style is, really. Also, it never really occurred to me until now, but there's a chain right there. But why isn't there a chain on the other side? They could totally have another person, like, her other hand chained up to that, but it's not for some reason. Salad and murder? Maybe. I'm, I haven't done this path before, so... I'm, I'm, like, anything that we do right now for the first chapter is gonna be completely new for me. Saitina, welcome in. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? If she was... Maybe not a threat to the world. I'm, I'm thinking in the context of if we're like, you know, really are just a guy in the woods who was told to kill a princess. She's chained down here for a reason, isn't she? We have to like know that much. No matter how innocent or like 
like a uh, weak she looks right now. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Look at her, she's just squinting at us. All right, well, the people have spoken. Steal her nerves and step forward. I'm just here to talk. Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slow you. That isn't a good idea. Just drop the knife, and maybe the two of us can talk things out. Talk two of things out? She's right, we shouldn't. We should just drop the blade. I don't know. Mr. Nerder, like, you know, had our back this entire time. The princess, she's being kind of antagonistic. If she saw that blade in my hand, she probably should have been a little bit more cordial against someone with a weapon while she's, like, you know, locked up. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Maybe not for like a normal person, but what if I'm like a cold blooded killer? What if I'm. What if this is like a normal like thing for me? Drop it. Tighten your grip. Hmm. I'm tightening my grip. You ignore the trembling in your oh, hands. Oh, her demeanor changed. Your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you oh, you guys are still blocking me? it. Oh shoot. Okay, because I have to move you guys again. Be. Move it like right here, I guess. I like right here. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I don't know what's there to be afraid of. She's chained up. She can't do anything. She literally can't do anything. Would you, Kyle? <laughs> hey, she can't pull that shit here, okay? So thanks for cocky and cloud slate. Uh, that looks like what we might be doing. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I got a knife. You're chained up. You're unarmed. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. I could just toss- what if I'm like skilled enough at knife throwing where I could just toss the knife into her face and she just dies from a range? So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Hmm. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Are you sure she's not armed? Hmm. She could be hiding something underneath her dress. You never know. There could be a gun. Or like a knife or something. I'm sorry, can we just talk? I'm not dropping the blade. Am I a silent killer or am I the type of killer that like talks to uh, his prey before ending their life? What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? See, it's that type of thought where you really can't commit to being a killer if you do them. Try bottom right for chat. Uh, I can't do bottom right though because it's gonna like. Oh, actually, hold on. Um. Okay, that's not gonna that's not gonna work. Uh, I'll do like right here. Right here's fine. I think it should be fine. I like, right? I don't know. I forgot I put it last time. That's fine. I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Fine, then I guess we're at an impasse. Squint at the princess while holding on to the... What if I... What if... What looks could just kill? You stare at the princess, squinting. She squints back. <laughs> The two of you are gonna do this forever, aren't you? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Gee, this is this is. We gotta. I gotta lock in. I have to lock in. You squint even harder. So does she. I'm squinting so hard, my eyes look like they're even closed. At least nobody's dying right now. <laughs> You're going to have to make a choice. You can't keep squinting forever. Eventually. Someone is going to have Not to me. Blink. I'm built different. You want a different response for killing someone isn't easy? How about my cellmates would disagree or not according to the voices in my head? Oh yeah, no, we can't play that card yet. We can't play the card that turns into an actual schizo. Oh man. Drop the blades like the princess. Alright. We're killing her. 
doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to oh, run her through. Oh, she's um, she moves. Oh, fuck. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all oh, she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. Wait, she broke my jaw? It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. No! You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. I got one shot? No! Holy shit, that hurts! Though she's unarmed. The shock of that first strike is enough to oh, stab God. you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Oh god. I had the advantage! I had the advantage! Your blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many Holy times crap. or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. Honestly, it's very, very impressive that for someone who is a princess and is probably, like, you know, living the royal life, she can you know do hand-to-hand -hand combat close quarters combat against someone with a weapon and like do it decently we can still turn this around oh now you're committed we and lock her in the basement give up we're not giving up fuck that finish the job lock her in the basement all right we gotta think i feel like i can commit to this but it's not gonna be it's not gonna be clean I, this might be like a tko i could flee right now she's still locked up she can't she can't run away I, I could leave her I could leave her down here her wounds would probably cause her chat's gonna call her but I don't care if you call me a pussy <laughs> you go fuck I'm trying to think logically if, if I'm thinking since we could we put some wounds on her and she might have broken my jaw I can recover from her broken jaw she's down here with no medical like absolutely no medical supplies she will absolutely get her like wounds infected and she will die of like sepsis or something. Hmm. Just save. Let's go save. When's the last time I played this? I played. The oh my god! Wait a minute, <laughs> you guys! I played this over a year ago. Like legitimately a year and three days ago. Holy crap! Wow, I thought it was only like six months ago. No, it was a year ago. Jesus Christ! Time like sure flew. Nearly a year to the day. Goddamn. If I played this three days later last year, I could have gone like a full a full year. All right, fine. We're committing. I'm locking in. You and the princess stare at each other. Oh both God! Gasping for I don't like this angle. Equally exhausted. I don't like this angle. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here. Wait, what the fuck? Narrator. Wait, what the hell, man? I thought you were on my side. Excuse me? Huh? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing. Guys, I'm trying to think that narrator is not being, like, on our side. He should have just said, like, you stab the princess in the heart and she dies. The end. He's kind of being an ass. Should have played this three days ago. I couldn't! The game wasn't even released! Can you not feel all those ruptured organs? Oh, now I do, Al. If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, Internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. All right, let's go assess the damage. Uh, ruptured liver, uh, burst lung, most likely. Stomach is probably split into three different pieces. Probably two cracked ribs. I've got a broken jaw. Our jaw is probably dislocated. Have you seen injuries for a broken jaw, by the way? It's very, very, very unpleasant. It, it, it does not look good. Also, like I said, I don't like this angle. She has the upper... Uh, she has the... Uh, the angle or the ground where we're up above, where she's up above and we're down below so it definitely looks like she's got the advantage here the two of you oh. clash for the final oh. time you feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow but you push through the pain falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart oh that was easy she has the high ground not anymore she doesn't oh that was i told you guys <laughs> I told you guys it would be rough. Alright, so what's the damage again? Broken jaw, some ribs broken, internal organs are bleeding. Yeah, I'm I'm not long for this world either. But hey, she's got a knife in her chest. Let's go see if she recovers from that. The two of you fall to the floor. Also, thanks for clocking in some merging, and yeah, we can get FOMO in here. Here we go. If this was fun. Fun? She has a knife in her chest, how is this fun? Unless she's like into that. The princess gasps. Her voice an unhealthy rasp. Like there's, her lungs start th to there's kinky blood. and then they're just being like straight up like what the fuck. This this is kind of like straight up what the fuck. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. 
But I have to wonder. Huh? Do you really think this is the end? The end for you, maybe. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Hey, what the hell? I was- I could have at least walked out of that, come on. There's just a few broken ribs and some ruptured spleens. I could have, like, called 911 or something. The adversary. Don't king shame her. I mean, she's You're the one on that killed me. In the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. Did you begin and a new game right now? Cabin or did you choose to continue princess. the game that started a year ago? I don't think I could have started- I could have continued the game a year ago because I was, uh, I looked onto the Steam page and told me that, like, the saves were incompatible. Like, the gallery or, like, the game detecting what pathways were able, uh, were not compatible with pre-pristine cut. So yeah, we just started a new game. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hmm. All right, life two. But we're actually self-aware. But I died. But hmm. Hasn't this happened already? I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. I already slew the princess, sure, but she also killed me. But I definitely got her. Why am I here again? I can assure you that you didn't slay. He's gaslighting me. Didn't hey. Kill you. That's a toxic People relationship we got. Back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. That is a very, very toxic thing to do in a relationship, is gaslight someone into saying things or not, like, or, like, making them believe they didn't say things. And we're, like, you know, narrator, you're, like, the closest person I have, like, in this story, in this game, to, like, a friend. I don't, I, I, I don't appreciate this. If he doesn't remember what happened, then... Maybe it's best to keep it. I take that way. back. I can count on the voice of the hero because he also kind of remembers. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. It's also kind of fucked that he can hear her thoughts, like an internal monologue. <laughs> like, that'd be so intrusive. Isn't there like a movie that came out like a couple of years ago with that kid who played Spider-Man where uh, people could like read each other's thoughts on that one planet? I can't imagine like how how the quality of life would be for something like that. You have like one intrusive thought and everyone thinks you're like an absolute freak and they just oust you from society, if not outright just like, like uh, put you away, imprison you. That's fine. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin Hell yeah! And winning. Winning! That's what we all do here. All we do is win. That's the spirit. There's no point in squabbling when the real threat is just up that hill. Okay, okay, I think I think Stubborn's got a point. I, I'm, I'm liking Stubborn so far. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Yeah, I mean, if I if we killed her once and we got back here, what's the point? Shouldn't I just leave? Those are two very different questions, but fine. They're not I'm different questions. You, that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met Ah, me, yes. Or Thought experiments. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to I me. did listen to you! I killed her! She killed me! That was the short end of it. We did our best with the information we were given. Right? And we did kill her. Thank you, hero. And I believe oh, your oh, other shit. question was oh, some... Um, uh... How did I... History. What, what do you say? Uh, and yet you still died, didn't you? So congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. What do you mean do this right? I did what you said! Motherfucker! And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, what's the point of doing anything, any- wait. What's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time didn't have any consequences. I- there were consequences. We died. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We killed the princess, the princess killed us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free. I mean, me. not really. Again, the consequence is that we died. It was kind of it was kind of hard. Like I said, killing someone's kind of hard. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? It doesn't matter because I'm me, and my, only my actions determine what is important to me. 
Well, you hesitated, you talked to her, and you did not slit her right away and squinted. Hey, squinting was very, very important, okay? I thought it would be a good intimidation tactic. I thought she would back down after that. I mean, if you, if you got, if you were locked down in a basement, and some random guy who has scales and, like, a dagger and claws goes down into the basement and just starts staring at you, would you not feel like, you know, a little bit scared? Would you not feel like a tiny bit like concerned? That was my, that was my thought process. Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Uh... Hmm. Ugh, enough with the talking. We've got a bite oh, to win. Oh, this weird. Nothing else matters. That is true. If you win, then we can worry about this stuff afterwards. I couldn't agree more. The cabin and your destined confrontation with the princess awaits. Stubborn's cool and all, but man, I wanted to get some more. A little bit more information would be nice. Yeah, let's go talk about this princess real quick, actually. Just be quick about it. What is- come on, man. I'm doing you a favor. The least you could do is give me, like, some type of info. Uh, let's see. We killed each other last time around. How can I make sure that doesn't happen again? All she did last time was around was beat me to death. How can we- how can someone like that end the world? To quote you from last time around, she's just a princess. Why was she strong enough to beat me to death with her bare hands? That is true. Where did she get these skills anyways? Did you ever leave in the first place? Oh, she beat me half to death, but it was all a dream. Imagine. God, I hope not. I really hope not. She is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin and you'll be fine. It sounds like you're, to me, you're trying to convince me she is just a princess when we've seen the facts firsthand and know that she's kind of, you know, very well skilled in melee combat. We killed each other last time around, how can I make sure that doesn't happen again? Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. Is it... what if... what if... don't talk to her, don't trust her? I never trusted her in the first place. I guess I did talk to her. Oh, this is maddening. Why do you keep asking questions? Look, hey, stubborn. You might want to win, but we have to, like, you know, we have to analyze the opponent before we can get, like, a good advantage on her, okay? There's nothing wrong with getting the full picture of what's going on here. For real? Sure there is. It's wasting time and energy that would be better spent fighting. Voice of the Stubborn is like the type of person that wants to get into a fight with absolutely no information and he gets fucking clocked. Just like what happened with us. We had no information about the princess, we tried to get into it, and she clocked us in the fucking jaw, and we had a broken jaw for the entire fight. I bet you that's the reason why we were, like, hurting. That's why we had the disadvantage. Fine, let's just go. You're being KG, what are you telling me? Ah, oh, fuck this, whatever. Let's go. Right. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Are you sure about that? That's what you're telling me, but I have no proof about that. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. You said that last time. Don't believe a word she says. Did she actually say anything? What'd she say? You're gonna regret it? I mean, I guess I sort of did. But that's because... That's because, uh... Like I said, I had no information about her. Lying and cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. I don't think any of us lied and cheat. We were pretty straightforward about her intentions. I said I was gonna kill her. She said, you're gonna regret it. And I killed her, and yes, I did regret it. We were both not wrong. Are you sure about that? The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. Broadly applicable advice. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? She didn't even say anything, though. She just said that you're gonna regret it. Crystal. Let's just get on with it already. He's such a yapper. I mean, it's kind of his job. I, I I think he's kind of like a little bit of a dick, but I mean, 
you know, this this story would not exist without him. So it's understandable. So he cocks central cocking in. All right, let's go. The cabin is tighter than its exterior would oh. suggest. Its cold stone walls Ooh. press in on you as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The mirror. Hello, the mirror. See? Even the cabin mirror. has the right height. Also, the stone Let's walls. Get Hero, Hero, any any thoughts? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this. Hero, right. back me up here. Don't gaslight me like this fucker. I need I need to know that these this is not normal. Yeah, this is a lot different. Very different. Thank you, Hero. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past. Again, I don't appreciate this gaslighting. You died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. The world is depending on you. It doesn't feel like the narrator really has all the facts for someone called the narrator. The table is right. The table was kind of converted into an altar. Uh. You didn't see anything about the mirror on the wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. Oh, the altar, a professional gaslighter. The, the altar, and the door to oh, the basement. There's narrator. nothing else in here. Oh, narrator, I don't know about this. Our relationship here is not, it's not healthy. It's not healthy. I think we have to go like, I think we have to talk things out, man. Because I don't appreciate you like lying in my face about this. There's definitely a mirror. How do you lie outright? There isn't. You already wasted so much time in the woods. Who even cares if there's a mirror? Stubborn. I, I appreciate you, man, but you need to, like, take a chill pill. <laughs> we need to know what we're getting ourselves into. What For all we know, she could have, like, you know, armed herself with, like, a bunch of different weapons. She could have a gun down there. Was the stubbornness so stubborn? For real. I think he, he definitely appeared because, like, I guess... He, he was not there in the first run, right? So he's here, he's appearing here now because I guess there was something about us that made us stubborn in the first life so i think uh in here in the the next life he's here as another voice of conscious subconscious i care whether or not i'm being lied to. that's right i do as care do I. I don't appreciate being lied to i'm not lying to you use your eyes there is no mirror oh my Why god I lie about something so meaningless what good would a mirror even do that you waste time preening, preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. What does that mean, preening? Preening? Hold on. What does that mean? Preening. Preening is a maintenance behavior in which birds use their beaks to clean, reposition, and smooth out their feathers. Is he calling me a bird brain? What the hell? What an asshole. Okay, I'm not. I'm starting to like narrator less and less. I'm not pushing the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. Jesus Christ, man. You know, I really, I don't get what his deal is. It's so meaningless. It's so, so meaningless to lie about something so blatantly obvious. Like, this is beyond gaslighting at this point. This is just like, that, that, this is just kind of fucked up. This really isn't funny. I know, right? Hey, Metal. It's not the usual implication, but sure. Oh shit. Hold on. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous. He took it away! Like God damn it. But it was there a second ago. He really is trying to just like mess with us. I, I may think he's just trying to like prove to us that he's in control of the story. And now it's gone, so all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fight. He's sort of like the narrator from Stanley Parable. Like he has he has a uh, absolute domain over what happens uh, w with our choices. Maybe maybe it's like you know the illusion of choice. All right, fine. We'll hmm. Take the blade. Enter the basement. Enter the basement. I wonder if I could win against her without a blade. You have nice feathers. I mean, I do have a claw, don't I? That cursor is a claw. Do I need a blade? Hmm. Okay, fine, I'll take it. As a backup. You take the blade from the altar, 
It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. What if they blade? What if she like disarmed me? Imagine if she disarmed me and uh, she used that blade on me. That'd be kind of. I could see the irony in that. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a rough stone staircase. It's all stone. Its walls. Before it was like wood, not stone. Tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. Sulfur. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. He's been saying that every single time. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Fierce voice. Is that another challenge? Oh, her, her text changed. Finally, it's been ages since I've had a good fight. I think, I, I think her personality probably changed. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Almost, it is threatening, hero. Come on. Good. Sounds oh God, like stop my kind of princess. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Guys, I think stubborn's falling for her. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. I mean, you can have both. You can have a good fight while you kill the person that you're trying to kill. Mutual combat and all that. As Whoa. you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. I like her tail. Hey, she's got horns just like me. All right, you know what? I think we can come to a mutual agreement here. Fellow uh, demon to demon. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. I like her power pose too. It's very, very powerful. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see the death doesn't stick for either of us. <laughs> oh no, she knows. <laughs> ah, crap, she remembers. And you brought your little knife, too. Yes. Yes. I like dummy mummies? No. I mean, I'm kind of different about them. But I, I like demons. Can I'm you tell why I like demons? You into can, can you guys pieces. guess why I like demons? I'm sure you can. Hmm. <laughs> I hope you heard all that, Mr. Narrator. This is a lot different than last time. Definitely happened. Okay, fine. Let's say for a moment I believe you. Am I morally good like her? Do you morally good? She's trying to, like, I think she wants to murder us. <laughs> if she remembers what we happened last time, she probably wants to return the favor. For all we know, whatever happened to you last time was just a fluke. And beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember what happened skill last issue. time. That sounds like a skill issue. Uh, are you okay? He sounds a little bit upset. <laughs> hey, he's being left out of the loop. <laughs> actually, hey, look at that. We, that's the first thing that we actually have over the narrator. He doesn't have uh, the, the type of memory that is uh, the, that can stay in time loops. Of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Again, that sounds like a skill issue. <laughs> so you do remember me. Oh, I remember you all right. Best three minutes of my life. Oh man. So, why don't we do it again? <laughs> three minutes? Only three minutes? Ah <laughs> oh, man. See? She wants to fight us again. There's no reason for us to stand around. Ah oh, man. I mean, at least it was a good time for her, I guess. I'm not saying I'm not saying not, I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have a few things to unpack first, like how we're both still alive. What is there to unpack? I was dead, and now I'm not, and the same goes for you. There, unpacking done. She is very accepting with the fact that she can just revive, isn't she? Don't you get it? We've been given free reign to wail on each other, forever. <laughs> I I don't know if I want to. That doesn't sound. That that doesn't sound, uh, you know, something I want to do. I don't think if I had, you know, immortality, I I would want to spend it, like, in mutual combat forever. Couldn't have said it better, my stubborn. Shut the fuck up. Attack the princess. I'm actually here to free you. I haven't decided what I'm gonna doing yet. I feel like no if we no matter what we do, she's probably I should save. No matter what's gonna happen here, she's probably gonna get like pissed off. What if we just run? 
I don't know what happened last time since we met, but I'm not fighting a dying demon lady. Goodbye. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I feel like I was here before. I feel like I was here. I feel like I attacked her before last time with this route. But it feels like it would be very, very weird. It'd be a really weird choice to just run, wouldn't it? I kind of want to see what happens if we just run. Hey, you know what? Actually, okay, think of it like this. She she really, really wants us, right? So if you play hard to get, then maybe, maybe, maybe she'll be into us even more, huh? How about that? Quick save? No, we, we saved, we saved. I'll save again, just to be, you know, safe. Sorry, I love you. Welcome in. Hey, Joel. Playing hard to- Let's go play hard to get. I'm doing 5D chess. Guys, this is how you do Riz. Oh, you've got another thing coming if you think you can just turn around and leave. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. I think she's pissed off we stood her up. Okay, maybe this isn't playing hard to get. I think we just stood her up. As you step towards the stairs, oh, you shit. hear the heavy creak of oh, straining God. metal. And then a snap. Oh, God. She's loose. You have to make a decision, and you have to make it fast. Um, uh, okay, team, what are we thinking? Okay, I know what Stubborn's gonna say. I don't know what Hero's gonna say. Turn her and fight her head on. That's the side and counterattack. Run like hell. <laughs> die? I'm not gonna die. Fuck that. Look, I'm not di I'm not a quitter, okay? I might run away, but I'm not gonna lay down and die. I'm not gonna make it easy for her. Fuck that. I could like I could run like hell. Turn her and fight her. That seems like something like most people would do. I don't want to fight her dead head on. I'm not. I'm not gonna look. Look. I let chat like decide too many things the last time I played this. I gotta choose my own decisions. Okay, team. What are we thinking? Oh shit! Hello, we get that. Oh. Oh. Doesn't have the chance to finish that thought before the princess barrels into you and smashes your body into the rough stone wall. Oh, okay, thinking was. Can I finish my thought now? Thinking was. Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Okay, there's not enough time to think during combat. So glad we could stick around to hear the end of that. But I'm afraid that's all the time you had left. <laughs> Why, for the love of everything, did you stop to think? I should have just ran. What did you expect you'd come up with? I should have just ran. It doesn't matter because everything goes dark <laughs> and you die. Okay, okay. Great job. Okay, if this is if this path leads to a path I did before. Um, I'm gonna reload the save because I want to. I do want to do new paths. So if this is pretty familiar, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna reload it. No, come on. We can't be dead. We didn't even get a chance to fight her. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> stubborn, so mad. Dead is dead. But maybe you'll have better luck. Ah, next shit. Time. Damn it. The fury. Did I get the fury last time? The priest gene cut. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path. All right. Change of plans. No more hesitation. No more dying. We're taking the fight straight to her. <laughs> that is true. I kind of... I, I did hesitate there. Pristine... Yeah, this is the pristine cut. Did I get the free last time, though? I kind of wonder what would have seen what happened if I, um... If I tried to run away. If we had a chance against her, oh, we already fuck. missed it, didn't we? No. She got stronger. Oh god, not not you. Same. Oh, I already don't like you. I, I don't like this guy. This guy's a quitter. This guy's you guys. This guy represents chat. You guys all wanted to quit. This is you. You're all broken. We've seen her bleed. Whatever she is, she started out mortal, which means she probably is still mortal, which means we can win. We just didn't take things seriously enough. I last mean, time. I I kind of did. Oh, it's reworked. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's good then. We didn't take things seriously enough last time. I mean, I was. We aren't quitters. We just believe in funny options. You guys are like contrarian, but he doesn't exist here. So I am putting you guys. You guys are relegated to being voice of the, voice of the broken, because you guys absolutely like were head over heels for her. If that's what you want, then fine. Enjoy being beaten to death. This is so chat. This is, this is voice of the chat. Again, do you see what I mean? The voice, the um, the audio mixing could be a little bit better for this. Because the BGM is very loud, but the voices are kind of soft. This is just right. 
Nice music. Let me cut to the chase. Wait, this music is really nice. Clearly you've already been here. Can I turn down, um... What if I do this? Let's see if that does anything. Yeah, change that. Let's see if this works. Yeah, you think? Uh, actually, I don't think we have been here. Actually, yeah, he's right. This is kind of... Uh, I think we messed up. I think we really messed up. What? What? I wonder what would she be like now? This looks like a Renpai. It is a Renpai game. This is all different, isn't it? It, it does not look very pleasant. Yeah, you must have. <laughs> it's been twenty minutes. Honestly, messing up twenty min twenty minutes in. No, it's been like an hour. We're like an hour in, and honestly, we're surviving a lot better than we did last time. Uh, when I first time I played this game, because I think it went really, really off the rails. That's a good point. Everything here is a little off. Off? <laughs> Hero, come on, man. You, you can be honest about this. It looks like goop. It, it looks like blood and guts. Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means oh, you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd I don't know. I don't like this reality. Even if we save her, re like the world looks like this. I, I don't think I want to stick in a world, stick around in a world like this. I would probably be better off just like you know dying and trying something else again. Psych call. It feels like I'm being pulled in a hundred different directions. You better all listen to me. That is true. A hero. Wait, did he ever even say anything? He kind of didn't say anything. Stubborn was very, very uh, direct about what we wanted to do. But broken, now, now we got fucking broken. Uh, if we hit this point of no return, you mentioned what happens. Probably reality rips apart. No matter what happens next, it seems like our answers are at this cabin. We might as well proceed through. I'm done with it. Okay, we can't turn around. We're not turning around. Let's do. Let's do. Let's go see what happens. Yeah, let's go drink too. Feels like you're being pulled in a hundred different directions because we've been beaten to death twice. <laughs> That's <is> true. <laughs> I mean, well, we killed her once at least. The second time, we kind of just got one shot like immediately. Like we had no chance. I don't think you have much to worry about. You're still the one in charge, Aaron. I don't think that's ever going to change. Thank you, hero. All right, we're just going to proceed to the cabin then. Hey, Crimson. Good. We're all Ew. on the same page. I don't like the noise of the flesh squelching. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up at the cabin on the hill. You'll find the princess within, as I'm sure you already know. End don't you dare say she'll lie and cheat and do whatever. That's it. No final words of advice. I'm okay with this hero. He doesn't have to do his usual spiel. I'd rather not waste any more time. I'm sure that any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. It is. Okay, he's catching on pretty quickly. That's fine by me. Let's get moving. I'm itching for a rematch. Oh, God. I don't know what she's going to look like. Maybe she's going to look even more demonic. Like, what if she looks like Satan or something? Oh, the interior Jesus. Of the cabin is a place that feels long forgotten. Oh, there God. was once an elegance to its construction, carved marble columns holding a high arched roof, vaulted windows letting in the weak starlight. Oh God, it's like pumping. I, like I said, I'm kind of a little bit sad I can't put line boil on, otherwise uh, chat gets really laggy and I get really laggy. But that is how it was. Now there is a growth that has overtaken it. A viscous fluid seeps from it's sort of like corruption, isn't it? Walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of living meat. Isn't that what, uh, in Terraria, isn't there like a midi style type of corruption? I forgot what you call it, uh, but I think it's a. Uh, it looks something similar to this, doesn't it? That's horrible. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't look good. I imagine the smell. It doesn't matter. Crimson. That was it. Crimson. The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal, a pristine blade perched on its edge. Does he not see the mirror? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Um, it's that mirror again, and it's blocking the door, and I can't go beyond the door. A mirror? 
there is no mirror. There's oh my god, this fucking this guy already. Try to keep up. The repetition is maddening. Thank you, stubborn. Okay, for once, I do agree with stubborn. I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I would know if there was a mirror. You're either seeing things or you're confused on the definitions of door and mirror. All you're seeing is that seems far more. Was that the line boil? It just looks like an ordinary visual novel. If, okay, if I can't use that, I can turn line boil on, but if it lags my model, I can just switch to my, uh, to my PNG model. Well, not P my PNG model. Well, yeah, well, I guess it's a PNG. My GIF model. Let me turn it back on, see how it looks. See, that looks so cool! But then everything just starts lagging entirely. Like, my, for some reason, I just can't handle it. Let me try this. No. Yeah, I can't see you guys either. Nothing. The game just uh, freezes half the shit on my PC. Oh, man. Oh, I want to keep it on. It's a fucking skill issue. Oh, well, it's fine. What are you trying to say exactly? He thinks we've lost them. That we're succumbing to madness that Wait, something what? in us has broken. Wait, what? There's no mirror. You're seeing things? Okay, he's calling us crazy. Kind of fucked. Very, very kind of fucked. That's an unnecessarily melodramatic way to describe a hallucination, but sure. I'm not going to waste time arguing with any of you. Yeah, I don't know why a Renpai model, um, Renpai model, a Renpai visual novel would, like, cause your other programs to just be, like, really stuck. Oh well. It went away after we touched it last time. Let's just do it again. Approach, take the mirror. Take, hold on. Take the blade first. You take the blade from the pedestal. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Nothing feels better than gripping cold steel. Of course he does. Oh, this man is so, like, war-brained. Approach the mirror. She better not jump scare me. forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. You really don't, do you? Okay, see, now he's believing me. Like how really much? Is just like last time. Are we really? Oh no! No, hero, don't. Why here? Why now? One second, get yourself. Let's just smash it and get it over with. I'm ready to get violent. All right, fine. That sounds like we a won't decent be idea. We'll able to see what's in there if we smash it. Do whatever you want with it. The mirror isn't real, so how you handle it doesn't matter. Aside from wasting dangerous amounts of what's time. What's What do you mean by dangerous? What does that mean? Up the mirror clean, smash it. Smash it! You bring your fist crashing down against the door leading to the basement. <laughs> Our fist looks kind of weird, doesn't it? As if on command, it oh. slowly slides open, scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path. This music ahead. is going so hard. Why am I not surprised? You step forward into the darkness. Oh? The stairs oh down god, to the that's so grody. And grandiose. A high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped, at once exposed and claustrophobic. I don't like uh, guts. It's like we're walking to like someone's guts. The air is thick, its odor an oppressive violence. The metallic scent of fresh blood twisting this looks perfectly healthy for like a leper remains. maybe if the her voice Oops. a bellowing rage roars up the stairs uh oh so you've returned after denying me the salvation of combat are you here to gloat are you here to mock what i've become i uh huh you were the one that one shot me do you think that if you let me kill you enough times i'll suddenly soften and repent that was your sins not my solely in your head that was not my intention no well we've tried that haven't we now come down and see what your refusal has done to me see how much you can bear to witness the consequences of your actions your actions have consequences it cuts both ways we both hurt each other I well no uh mm, she's the one that kind of like knocked me into a stone wall and gave me like brain damage. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. Oh, the chamber's Whoa. walls are painted in blood, a deep, sickening red that holy crap down clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks. She's like a titan of ripped skin and burning bones. She's literally a titan. Hey, Cap, thanks for clocking in. 
Evil by hot? I'd imagine it'd be very hot down here in like in an unpleasant way. The princess stands in its center, muscles oh, flayed, what? bare and weeping, draped in a tattered dress of her own. Holy skin. crap! Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. That's kind of hardcore. Her own skin is her dress. That's actually crazy. Is this weapon's gonna try to kill her? I didn't even try to kill her. She one shot me. You guys can't see it, but on this side, like, he, uh, there's like shadows that are like bowing to her. She's been hollowed out. Just like us. She. Fucking shut up, broken. Out. We do not have her skin flayed and acting as her own dress. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? No. There's not uh -oh. so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Uh -oh. Her chains pull That's not gonna do much. Fast as she strains against them, the cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where that's, that's not gonna hold her back. Oh, 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 uh, 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 oh, God. Oh, Jesus. It pops to the ground, and she pulls her red, glistening arm free from her. That's 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 that's, that's not that's that's something new. Ooh. I did not I did not need to see that. Oh God. Oh, I feel I feel sick. I actually feel sick. Ugh. Oh god, I did not. I wasn't expecting degloving to be in this game, but here we are, I guess. Oh god. I don't think I've ever. I, I've seen a lot of gore in games, but there's just something about having someone's skin peeled off that that this is like really unpleasant. Oh god, she didn't even- oh god, her skin is like folding and then it's- oh my god. Ah, I feel so sick. Oh. She is loose, and she is coming for you. Guys, I don't think we can win this. I- I, I don't think we can win this. She's only trying to connect with us. Shut up, Broken! Wouldn't you want to dig for a spark uh. once you lost it? Try to reignite something. That's what makes you skimish? Hurts. Have you. D d her skin peeled off from her bone. How would you not be squeamish after that? Even I have my limits. I'm. I, I would say that I'm. You know. I've seen a lot of fucked up shit. But I don't think I've ever seen someone's skin peeled off. That's a first for me. I did not need to see that, like, in an animated form. Also, yeah, we can get take a sip real quick. Oh, jeez. Uh. It is kind of hardcore that her heart is literally outside of her chest, outside of her skin. Like, that's kind of crazy. That's a crazy ass design. Let's see, let's go save real quick. Uh, this one. All right. Uh,. Uh, I don't think, I'm not going to lend her end me. I'm sorry, what happened to you? I think she's going to, I can't hesitate again. If I hesitate again, she was absolutely going to fuck me up. We got to do something. If we see the hotline balls, I mean, I can turn it on real quick. Let's go see. No, everything is just still like boily. It looks like... Yeah, it still looks the, uh... Same-ish. I'll turn my cough. Harpy ASMR. Wow, you're doing this for free, miss? You should charge for that. You get some a lot of money. Hmm. I'm going to end you, Slay the Princess. I kind of like that. That's a cool one-liner. Alright, guys. I, I know we fucked up once. But, but I, I think I believe in us. We we have w w how many people do we got? We got four against one. There's no way we could lose, right? You'll try, and that's what I've been so excited for. Let's hurt each other. Uh, <laughs> uh, this this might be a mistake. Oh jeez. I I am. The princess. 
your eyes locked on each other, both of you prepared to lay down your very essence in one blow. Holy crap. It's now or never. Let's make it a beautiful blaze of glory. Okay. Oh my squelch. You are Gosh. <laughs> Um, are those feathers? I I had I had I had no chance. I got one hit again. No, 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 no. That's our stuff. She can't just do oh, that. <laughs> thank you, thank you, hero. That's exactly who, that's it's exactly what I was thinking. She just did. Unfortunate, I know, but reality is reality. You guys, you guys are very calm f with the fact that she literally like eviscerated me. This is the only way it could have gone. She looks so disappointed. <laughs> oh, you are just insufferable, aren't you? Come on, we're better than okay, this. Okay, you know what? I don't think I believe in stubborn. She did what? She um, she showed us our insides. So hi, Troy. So, she looks dead? so disappointed. No. <laughs> what? Don't think that I'll allow you death here. I've made that mistake before. Oh. No. You will suffer until you see in me what I have seen in you. Um. Oh. Oh, I'm still talking. Attempt to die. <laughs> Honestly, the fact that I can still. The fact that I can still, like, talk while my insides are, like, you know, outside is pretty. is pretty. admirable. She sees something in what you see in the last relationship. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna win. I don't think we can talk our way out of this, guys. I, I think the only thing we can do... The only thing we can do is just try to die. How can we die? Like, biting our tongue off? And what am I supposed to see? What am I supposed to see? But the words don't leave your metaphorical oh. <laughs> mouth. Instead, all that leaves you is a wet and horrible gurgling. Oh, that's horrible. Vibrates out of place. I, I think <laughs> she can You can't even suck. <laughs> Guys, I think her mouth doesn't exist. Our metaphorical mouth. Oh, I didn't leave you a mouth, did I? Oh, thanks. You forgot about that. It's better that way. Words get us nowhere. Um. They aren't music. They aren't dance. They aren't feeling. Oh, now she wants to, yeah, plow. Your eye held far outside your skull oh. by a thin stalk of <laughs> nerves and viscera stares back at her. Blinking silence. Oh my god, we're actually just just blood. We're just guts. We're, we are literally just guts on the floor. Let's oh. see what meaning we can find together. Let's see what we're made of. I, I, I think I know what I'm made of. You, uh, you kind of showed it to me. Something infiltrates you. Though you do not see it, you feel it slithering into your disaster of a body, seeping into the gaps between your molecules. How am I still alive? The body of a sapient creature has, on average, 30 trillion cells. And each one of those cells is composed of 100 trillion some odd atoms. I didn't know I was doing a, a science lesson here, narrator. One of those cells is peeled from the others. 100 trillion atoms. Oh, is she de-atomizing me? Oh, God. That sounds painful. Are you still there? Are you still you? Oh no, she's gonna do a sheep of Theseus uh, thing, isn't she? Yes. I think. Oh no. I, I. Oh no. Oh, this might be kind of unpleasant. Oh no. Then two are peeled away. Then four. Oh crap. That's that's just this a. This is nothing. Nothing. I'm gonna lose all of them, aren't I? She she's gonna peel us. She's she's going to peel away what makes me me. Oh god, you guys, you don't know what's gonna happen. Why does she have nails on her shoulder? Her insides are on her outside. Eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. Why am I not dead yet? Whatever she does to us, we shouldn't. <laughs> Fuck off, her. broken. She's been hurt so badly. I hope he dies a horrible death. I hope he dies first. One hundred and twenty-eight. I get it. You can count. Five hundred and twelve. Are you still there? Are you still you? How is she doing that? It's actually very. Uh oh. Two thousand forty-eight. Uh oh. Four thousand ninety-six. Eight thousand one hundred ninety-two. What if he falls apart too? 
I feel small. Smaller than before. Yeah, now you feel it? 16,384. Oh. 32,760. It's actually kind of hard for me to, like, visualize 65, this. 65,536. It's actually really hard for me to visualize this. You can't just count us into oblivion. I know, right? Narrator, do something. 131,070. Is this the new contest? 262,144. <laughs> This, they fucking advertise the new content. Oh my god. You got have you guys remember in, in Stanley Parable when the nerd was like, I could count to 30 trillion. There's all your new content right there. Stanley Parable now with a thousand hours new content. That's those the developers for that game for, for Slay the Princess heard that line and they made an actual thing in this. What happens when it gets higher? Like really higher. Nothing. Just like nothing's happening now. Broken isn't like non-existent, isn't he? But something is happening now. Something in us is liquefying. Something that started small but that keeps getting bigger. <laughs> yeah, it turns out like when you start like multiplying things by themselves, like you double them over and over and over again, it gets big really quickly. One million forty-eight thousand. The hundreds don't matter. Hey, you skipping numbers, you can't do that. Are you still there? Oh god. Are you still you? Uh oh. Uh oh. 2 million 96 thousand. Uh -oh. It's getting darker. 4 million 192 thousand. 8 million 384 thousand. Uh, uh. I don't like this. Waiting. Waiting for something to happen. But it's taking so long. Is it really long. taking that long? We got to like the millions pretty quickly. Oh, sixteen million seven hundred sixty-eight thousand, thirty-three million five hundred thirty-six thousand, sixty-seven million seventy-two thousand. Your eyes are useless. One hundred thirty-four million. The thousands don't matter anymore. Your blood begins to go places it shouldn't. What, like, like turning into to, to Adam, turn to the air? Are you still there? Are you still you? Narrator, can you just end me already, please? There's the pain. I can feel it now. Stubborn. We can handle Stubborn. This. We can't I hated you before, but you got a point. I need you. I need you, buddy. Fighting the pain is just the same as wallowing in it. This doesn't have to be something where you win or lose. You were gonna you die too, to broken. Listen. To me. Oh God. Uh oh. 268 million. We don't need to count anymore. Your lungs fill with liquid. You smell things you shouldn't. You choke. That's actually on really cool. Of what used to be you. Hmm. I mean, considering we were blooding guts before, I'm surprised that was not already the case. Doesn't matter because we're still alive. Actually, you know, I don't know. I don't think I'd want to be alive at this point. You oh. are deconstructed. You are reconstructed. Uh, uh, oh. A square you. Oh. A round Holy. Thing. Oh my god. A you with too many legs. A you with many <gasps> mouths which won't stop screaming. Then all of it pressed into a ball, tightly packed into the size of a fist. I I, I think I chose the wrong path, guys. Guys, for the first path, I, I, this might have been a mistake. What does you even mean anymore? We just keep changing it to oh, horrible geez. things we can't control. Make it stop, please. Make it stop. Please make it stop. This might have been like the worst first path. Ah, uh, crap. This is fine. <laughs> it's fine. You know, I actually enjoy being turned into like a, like a, an atom. Tag gate will come in. You means we exist. Now <laughs> to still be a way for us to <laughs> Thank win. you, stubborn. Otherwise, this would be pointless, and all this torture would be for nothing. I, I, how do you, there's no, how are you going to win this? You're right about one thing. You can't win this. It is torture, but it isn't pointless. The whole okay, I'm okay with broken, like being atomized. Everyone else is okay. Are you still there? What? Are you still you? Um, yes. Yes. Oh, fuck. no, stubborn. Don't, ah, oh, shit. Oh. The ball is unraveled into the shape of a body. The skin peels are those off the corkscrew. The eyes are plucked. That's my eyes. The organs are arranged That's my in lungs. the air in a neat row. Uh, wow. Those are my ribs. 
Oh. Are you still there? Are you still you? She doesn't sound... It's okay to let go. She actually sounds a little bit upset, doesn't she? Then... I'm letting go. No! Hero! Yes. What? You are stretched into a line. Hero! Both feet long. Then 24. Then 48. The line gets thinner as you get... What older. the fuck, Hero? You can't oh. give up? Two. Broken, I, I can understand. Eight. Are you still there? Oh my god. Are you still you? This is a very long path. This is this is a lot longer than I thought it would be. I thought we would have just died and then like seen oblivion. Yes. Stubborn. Sixteen. Thirty-two. Uh, stubborn. Stubborn! Sixty-four. Oh, gee, oh no. No. No! One hundred and twenty-eight. Stubborn! I'm still here. I think stubborn's done and kick it. You are stretched and stretched and stretched until you are longer than the world itself. You wrap around it again and again and again. A tense line of microcosmic tissue held together by forces that are far too weak for the task they have been given. Broken is pretty broken right now. Oh no. Hold on, give me a sec. <laughs> I think we've unraveled into like kilometers at this point. Are you still there? Are you still you? She also sounds like she's kind of not doing so hot. I'm going to stick around as long as you need me to. Why? Why? Why this guy? Why? Of all the people who could have survived, it's this guy. And then the forces disappear. <gasps> The bonds holding your cells together break. You are 30 trillion little pieces, all of them separate, and all of them falling. Oh no. Are you still there? Are you still you? She, she sounds like she's kind of done with it. <laughs> you sit in these 30 trillion places, each you second see face? passing in each of them before you arrive what? at the next. You each can't... second passing oh, you can. as one million years. She was so... Yeah, yeah, I, I did notice that. So, I guess she was so obsessed with us that we are the reason why she even, like, is anymore. She hated us so much that we are her reason for being. And so, you wait. That's all I have. What? And then, all at once, there is a great rewinding, and all of the disparate pieces that once were you fall dutifully back into place. Wow, she's so kind. What? You are whole again, and in your body. The body you Whoa. had before all of this <laughs> Is that happened. on me? And the princess sits against the wall, her dress of skin more tattered than before, her face sullen and disappointed. Oh, it's, it is on me. That's on my guts. You left me, and there's nothing I can do to bring you back. Huh? I'm right here, though. She's just like us. A piece of her is missing. Wait, what? But I'm alive. I never stopped caring about- I did not care about her. There's more- wait, well, I'm not gone, I'm right here. I never stopped caring about you. We have to get level of all that pain. There's more to life than violence and pain. You give me more than that if you want- I- I don't think I ever had the- I- I ever considered romancing? I don't think I still do. I didn't like fighting when we first met. I still don't want to do that. What were you hoping to accomplish with all that? You seem so off. It's like a completely different person than when you started pulling me apart. That was awful. I hate every second of it. So that's all you got, huh? I think I'm going to go now. Turn and leave. I can still slay her. You seem off. Different. 
I am, yes. We were doing all that for such a long time. I'm tired now. Hmm. Vengeance begets vengeance. But at the very end of the day, if you attain that vengeance and that's all you live for, then what is there left? What were you trying to hope of? What are you trying to accomplish with all that? I don't know. I just wanted something back. Something that was missing. I don't really know what it is. I just know that it's still gone. I mean, I do appreciate the fact that she kind of like rewound us. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> That's all you got, huh? Yes, I think I'm finished now. There's nothing more for me to do to you. I could just turn and leave. I could slay her. There's nothing for- I can't- we can't talk it out, guys. Oh. All this time I thought I understood something about you. But I didn't. Now what? Where's- where are my voices? You could always leave with me. That's up to you. Say nothing. She enjoyed fighting, but you did not fight the second time- That- right? We kind of took that away from her, I guess, because we... Well, I mean, she kind of did that, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Could I always leave with me? I feel like I know what's going to happen there. I actually do want to know what she wants to... What does she want? W what does she want? Then here I stay. Turn and leave. Slay the princess. If I turn and leave now, I think that'll that'll end this route. But if I slay her, if I slay her, the route could keep on going on. Hmm. Oh man, I don't know. I mean, yeah, she did torture us for eternity. But I guess she spent that time reflecting on herself. What if I just tell her I'm gonna go now? Alone? Huh? Yes, if you'll let me. I was hoping you'd come with me. That's up to you. Wait, where'd narrator go? She seems kind of pitiful to sleep. <laughs> you guys, I hope you guys didn't remember how long she was torturing us for. How she literally tore us bit by bit until we were literally just molecules how many saves do i have a lot but this is not really the type of game where you go back and do your saves again you got better i only got better because of her that's up to you what do you want what do you want you after everything i've done to you you'd really give me that option well, you live for revenge and violence, and you've done that, so what is there left for you now, since you've attained that? Give her your hand. No, I just want to hurt you back. No, and I didn't know why I said that. <laughs> hmm. Should we give her the chance to redeem herself? This would be so mean, because if we just say no, it just continues the cycle. It's been a non-stop cycle of like her trying to get back at us over and over and over again. Alright. We'll get her hand. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Are you serious? You're just offering her your I hand. didn't see you helping at all, narrator. Fuck off. You cross the room towards the princess, <laughs> extending your hand to my, her. My bone. My bone. Her eyes, deep wells of buried sorrow, meet yours for a moment. You despicable fiend. Hey, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. I mean, you're going to have to work for, like, you know, the fact that you tortured me for, like, 10 million eternities. And then she takes your hand in hers. You're going to end the world, don't you get it? I can't let that happen. I can't let you leave. I have to. He should have you like. Can't stop us. We've been through enough. What? 
You don't scare us. What? <gasps> wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Bro broken? I... I... Fine. You and the princess climbed the <gasps> stairs out of the basement. Oh my god. In silence. Wait, broken actually helped? Jeez, what? The, the last time... The last time that happened, Broken was so useless, but since we've actually, like, forgave her, I guess it's the fact that because we've been broken over and over and over again, that's, like, good. We've broken, been broken so much that the narrator can't do anything else to, like, break us again. It's okay. We're almost there. Wow, they actually gave Broken a redemption arc. I'm tired. You're tired? Wow. You're tired. <laughs> you want to go through what I've been through for the past uh, 10 million years? I know. <laughs> He's so mopey. He spread his mopiness across everyone. And then you cross the upstairs of the cabin to the door, which you open. Yeah, bro. they really gave Broken like a, like a really redeeming path. And then you step outside and into the ruins of the world. Uh oh. Oh no. Well, I do appreciate that. That was a long path. I know what's gonna happen here. But that was a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought when she like opened us up, that was gonna be the end of it. We would have died or something. Behind. He's gone too. It's just the three of us. Oh uh, no, it's gonna be just the one of me soon. Is this the world? It's so cold. Hey, she her voice back to normal. Goodbye. And broken. Did not get the chance to respond. Something has taken her away and it's left something in her place. So the world's gone and she's gone with it. There's only one thing left for you to do here. You need to look at yourself. Whatever you see, what? it's going to be okay. You know, it, every single voice, whenever we got here, they were always really scared at looking at the mirror. But the broken, the broken is like pretty accepting of it, isn't he? The voice falls silent as you approach. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. Alright, we're back to this then, I guess. I wonder if anything changed over here. You're in a place that is empty, it's quiet here. You are at the cabin. Something finds me in the long quiet. It's the long quiet. It brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Wait, did they really get rid of the opportunist? Or was that his old... Was that like the old route? Broken's been through stages of grief we haven't heard... Even heard of. He's just fully ex at acceptance. Yeah, but like in other paths, when like we're trying to like, you know, I, I remember running to Bricken before and he was just kind of an annoying piece of shit, like really, really annoying. But I guess, I, I guess when we've also been through those stages at this point with Fury, like it's, we can like empathize with her and him, which actually helps us against the narrator. And there's anything new here. Mm, I know, I know a lot of these are. I do. All, all this is coming back to me. Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Is this the end of the world? No, I know that. Are you what sent me to say the princess? What had? Are you trapped down here? Do you know about the place beyond- the world beyond this place? Are you the princess? Do you know- I know this one. 
you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. What are you? I know what she is. This is not the end of the world. She's part of the long quiet. She always was. Is mirror does scare the voices usually? I guess <laughs> broken is just built different. Opportunist got more character in pristine cut. I don't think I have gone through his route yet. But if that's the case, I'll go down that path um, later later down the line. What happens now? Nothing as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us and that we are meant to reach them. Voice of the opportunist. That was, um, I'm trying to remember what that path that was. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Voices of, it's not the voices of the void. That's a completely different game. Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Uh, aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? Well, we can't because we know why. Now shall I forget everything? How many more pieces do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Hmm. She's so just saying more than one. <laughs> I will send to slay the princess to stop her from returning the world. To help you, is that what you're gonna do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. Hmm. <laughs> to destroy is to reshape. But if you're reshaping something, you still have to. You still have to destroy it to remake it. Let it be. Okay. Like I said, there's nothing new here that I feel like I've been through before. Let's just forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Crack. Everything goes dark. And you die. A weathered heart. Bring the fury to her. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Another secret chapter? Maybe the secret chapter is like being a, uh, what do you call it? It's like being the, um, uh, what, what was it called? The, the guy who like just doesn't follow the story. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end. I'll just keep going on world. as I end. Is it pretty dialogue? Ah, oh, thank God. Okay. Um. So this is all. Let's just keep going. Oh, nice. Hey, nice. I do appreciate that. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Enter the basement. Take the blade. I'll go- I could go down the pacifist route if I don't take the blade. There could be something new without taking the blade. Let's go try that. A door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase- Okay, so this is all new, I think? Unseen. Maybe? Hold on, let me go back. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. This is kind of being, like- Hello? Is someone there? This- Hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. I remember this. Well, I want to see if, like, since I played this game before, it'll count as a dialogue skip. Oh, it is a dialogue skip. Uh, just checking in on you. You are? It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I, I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Hmm. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Yeah, her demeanor is like 
back to being, like, sad and innocent. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Everything seems relatively the same for the most part. But I think I have to go deeper and deeper into the, um, story. Plus, we'll play a long pacifist for now and see what happens. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. Narrator, again, he has not been very helpful. You're making a huge mistake. Hero, I need you to back me up here. No, you're doing the right thing. Thank you, Hero. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Maybe you just need to put your back into it. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. He knows a lot they more than he's carrying on. Left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. He knows way, way more than he's letting on. I'm gonna check upstairs. There's any key to any other idea. Let's go check upstairs real quick. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out oh, of the basement, <laughs> okay. but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Narrator, I know that was you. Come on, man. We want to be able to run the place. Yes, it's... Come on. Hero, please. <laughs> try the door. Return to the bottom of the stairs. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Just bash it down. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. Just bash it down. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. I should have not. Maybe I should have just, like, ignored him. If you make your way to the bottom of the stairs, this would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Oh no, narrator. Last time I listened to you, I got in a real spot of trouble. I did not... I did not... I got atomized. That was not a pleasant experience. Easier for whom? And did you also notice that he kind of took a backseat by the time uh, that really gory princess was like butchering us? That was not lost on me. Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. Let me move you guys this over here. Hold on, give me a sec. Uh, how do I make you guys a bit bigger? There we go. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? They? You mean him? Him? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. <laughs> I know what's gonna happen here. Oh no. She barely hesitates oh, before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her oh. limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Why'd they make that so visceral? She's so... she looks so innocent. And now... And now... As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. <laughs> the clang of bouncing metal. Yummers. Hey, this also happened in mouthwashing. To be fair, all of this happened because you chose to squint her instead of stabbing her immediately like you were told to. <laughs> I guess, I mean, like I, I said, I told you guys why I was staring her down. I was trying to do, a, like, intimidation style. Intimidation tactics. The blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Hmm. I I know for a fact that I went down the path where we tried to save her over and over and over again. So I have to... I've got to do something different. Or we could use it to free her. I, I could do something different you here. You won't like what happens if you do that. I have two opportunities to kill her, I think. The first opportunity is now, when she's trying to chew her, like, pat, chew her, um, arm out of the, out of the, uh, chains. And the other one is if I stab her in the back when we're trying to escape. Did, which one did I do last time? I'm pretty sure... Uh, I'm pretty sure last time I was trying to escape and I got locked into like slaying her on the stairs. So I think I'll just slay her here. That'd be very opportunistic, I believe. Sai Wazun, welcome in. Without hesitation, you bring the blade down and 
plunge it into the princess's back. Why the back? Fine. Also, this is so fucked. This is so kind of fucked. I never like doing this path because it's so like messed up. The wound drives her to the ground. Oh. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. Oh. You, you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? No, o only up until like the last 10 seconds. The princess pushes Whoa. away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Oh. Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. She's still chained up, though. She can't do much. You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. I've got a knife. You're injured. You're still trapped. You just chewed off half your hand. I don't know what you're on about. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened you could, Come on, you could have a little bit more self-confidence. It's an act. She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. That is true. I'm not so sure. Hero, shut up. Don't waver now. Oh, As oh. you ready your blade to deliver a lethal blow, oh. she lunges at your legs with the same animal ferocity she used to tear it around. The chains? Whoa. The blade cuts into her again and again as you're tackled to the ground, your body racked with pain as she rips into you with tooth and claw. Wait, she's getting a lot more animalistic, isn't she? Wait, she drew a snout. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. What am I trying to do right now? I have no idea. <laughs> I've never done this path last time I played this. Slay the princess, I guess. Though your nerves are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. I, I, I guess we're doing this. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. Every voice, hero, last time, every time you say that, I Give up, finish the job, run for the stairs, and lock her in the basement. Maybe she'll bleed out. Why would I give up? That sounds so dumb. Finish the job. That'll be mutual. Run for the stairs and lock her in the basement. I kind of want to try that. I kind of want to try that. Barrel is hitting a girl. What the fuck? It could be, yeah, it could be a good fight. You know what, let's do it. Let's go run. The princess is still chained to the wall. There's nothing she can do to stop you from getting out of Oh, her. now you're okay with getting me out of here. Okay. What if she doesn't succumb to her wounds? Whatever she is, she is so much more dangerous than I thought she'd be. Finish the job. Last time I tried finishing the job, we got our guts spewed out. I don't trust that. You rush up the stairs and dive past the threshold. You're safe. There we go. Hey, Momo, by the way. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Wait, did I do this? Oh, give it up to make it? Oh, wait, I think this is going to go back to being the specter, isn't it? Okay, we can make this work. She oh, has wait, no. an awful what? wound and we have all the time in the world. Playing jailkeeper for a while might make things <laughs> a little easier. I'm actually not sure where this is going to lead, because it sounds like it was going toward the specter. But you settle in against the far She's wall wounded right now, right? Basement door. I I want to see where this is going to go. It isn't long before you start to drift off. Your eyelids heavy with fatigue. Why can we see our hand? We can always see our hand. Sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken our, by our a cursor, piercing, our dagger. wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know oh damn it! There. Oh, it's this one. Why don't you make things easier on yourself? Oh, I did this one last time. Hmm. It's not like this little door will hold for very long, anyways. It's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. Yeah, I did this last time. Should I change it? I, I could change. I could load the save. Uh, let me see. Oh, I was up all the way up here. I, I could load the save and try uh, finishing it or running up when I should. Hmm. Okay. I I know where this is gonna lead, and I don't know if they changed it or not. So I guess I'll try something else. Or should we just keep on going? She sounds terrified. Oh, that's so loud. The princess you saw are more like something out of a nightmare. That's so loud. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. It's so it's the, it's the same path though. It's kind of the same. It's kind of lame. I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you 
did, but I'll never forgive it. I don't know what else I can do then. Because I'm pretty sure I did this last time, and I don't wanna I don't wanna like do it again because there's so many different paths I can go. Okay, I'll I'll just load it and do something else. Let me do this real quick. You're on a path. In the All right, skip, skip, uh, skip this. Where can we? What else have I not done? I could take, I could go pacifist and then stab her in the back, and that would lead to opportunist, right? Or what would be opportunist? Hmm. Getting the blade? Or should I take the blade right now? I guess I'll take the blade. You take the blade. Can you skip all this until we get to like a different path? A voice. Uh, continue down the stairs. You're still listening to focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Alright, this is all the same. Are you here uh, to kill me or something? Hmm. Steal your nerves. If I talk to her, maybe I should just go for the cold blooded killer. Should I, should I just go for like killing her like straight up? Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'll just do that. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Because last time we lost because we talked to her and we like, I don't know. I don't oh, know. No talking, then. Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I mean, I can kill you. Do you want to hit about the new content? Uh, sure. You know what? Yeah, that's fine. Cause like I said, I played this before. But I'm also trying to see I'm new stuff up in I haven't seen. For a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. Hmm. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. I could just kill her. I, I'm really tempted. I mean, the game is called Slay the Princess after all, and this is the closest we've been to like actually just killing her proper. Hey, Nausea. Welcome in. Oh, hey, guys. How was your Caligula effect overdose? Isn't that the game that's sort of like a mystery style game? I haven't really played that many mystery game or mystery style games on stream. I kind of want to start uh, somewhere. I might do like a Danganronpa or something. You can just kill her? Okay. Sounds good. I mean, I was already on the path anyways. Hey, Ziona, welcome in. Yeah, for all of you coming for the first time, hi, I'm Beryl. I'm a very tired demon intern. I play a lot of spooky and retro horror games. And today we are currently playing Slay the Princess, which recently got an update, a very, very big update. 35% more new content, new pathways, new characters, a lot of that stuff. It's very, very meta narrative, by the way. So uh, if you're planning on playing it yourself, and I very, very highly recommend it because it's a really good game. Uh, you know, I totally understand if you want to like dip. If you also want to stick around, I do appreciate it. It's a real persona kind of deal. Wait, really? I thought it was like a mystery style game. Was I wrong? Hold on, I have to look this up. The Caligula effect overdose. Oh, wait, it's in JRPG. Oh, I see. It looks really cool though. 2019, five years ago. Oh, hey guys. And thank you again for the raid, Nausea. If you want to get some like food or rest or water or anything like that, I'll totally understand. But if you also want to stick around, uh, go for it. Again, this is a very, very meta-narrative and story-driven game, so spoiler alert. Mm. Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. There we go. All right. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your baby hey, already sinking deep into her heart. Wow, that was easy. Oh, this is it, isn't it? Oh, it's too easy. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming, but I have to wonder. Good job, guys. We did it. We slayed the princess. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. She's very nonchalant for being stabbed in the chest, isn't she? Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? It's over! She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. <laughs> but is it over? 
<laughs> she's really so she's got that resting bitch face even in death of course she is she has to have some type of trick up her sleeve of course not that's too easy let's go save uh let's go save on this one i think i know where this one leads that leads to uh the specter again i'm pretty sure this one which one should i go i kind of want to try these ones of course not that was too easy i should just go for this one it's over don't get all worked up we should make sure what's the harm in checking for a pulse i really don't think you should do that it's almost like he's scared that oh spectre got new content oh okay hold on and why shouldn't we is there something you're not telling us i, I don't know if this leads to spectre i've never done this path before i've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy the princess is dead your blade pierced her heart there's no coming back from that that is true he's got a point remove the blade check for a pulse he's dead let's just get out of here i don't know if i should remove the blade maybe we should just leave check for a pulse okay let's just get out of here we'll leave that we'll leave that blade in there yes exactly it's over with your work done you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Oh, well, outside's different. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? She is dead to Spectre. Okay. You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in. Let that sink in. Help ease your guilty conscience. There is no sink here. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Under what would have happened if I took the blade? You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you wow. find. Wow. Instead, what wow. you find is nothing at all. Where a lush it's forest nothing. stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. Hey, narrator tricked me. He said I could get a cool reward. This reward kind of sucks. What? happened this is kind of a dog shit reward i'm not gonna lie everyone is fine it's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them don't worry you'll be safe here this is good everyone is happy you'll be happy sounds like he's trying to make me convinced i'll be happy even if i'm not going to be happy you can't describe someone's emotions if they're not even feeling that way can we kill the narrator <laughs> so glad you're keeping an open mind oh uh, yeah, okay this is what's best for everyone trust me technically whenever we switch to a different world he does die in that timeline so that's kind of killing him time passes you can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades it's all a wonderful boring blur you've never been happier Psst. hey we're not just gonna stay here forever right how long is forever? Of course we are. <laughs> Didn't you hear the narrator? I'm happy, we're happy. Are we really happy? Or is he just telling us that we are? Well, it's a story. But he can't determine how we, the player, feel. He might be able to determine how you feel, but I've got my own choices. No, uh, well, maybe not. Can be not. I'm not just saying that because the last person I talked to. <laughs> Good, because I have an idea to get us out of here though you're probably not going to like it i know what the idea is the blade we can use the blade to get out of this would you guys like to see how an amateur knife swallower swallows his blade i can hear everything you say little voice there's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on and i'm afraid that thing is you dear hero that sounds like a plan he's right it's the only way out i mean low tier god told me to do that many times maybe uh i should give it a shot do you hear that it wants to take this happiness away from you it wants this wonderful place to end you keep saying it's happy are you sure i'm happy <laughs> say awful cat welcome in do you not there's more for us to do and the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it what are we you gonna use it for are we gonna use it to keep ourselves safe don't you dare 
Hmm. When using the blade kills. Okay, we already know that death is not. Death is not permanent. Let's just get out of here. Thank you. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough <laughs> reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You. You ingrate. He's. Hey. There's no need for that. Fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. <laughs> the princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. I bet you if I took the blade with me and I went back here, her skeleton would have like not been there. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Oh, we're stabbing ourselves? Okay, it's not that bad. I thought we were gonna like, uh... I thought we were gonna like slit our own throat open or something. I guess stabbing yourself in the heart is kind of instantaneous. It wouldn't be that bad, but you kind of have to be direct. I'd imagine if you stabbed yourself in the chest and it wasn't the heart, it'd be very painful. You probably puncture a wound, and if you miss, and you aren't, if you like get a lot of blood loss, you'd be too weak to stab yourself again. So that'd also be a very painful death. The end. Nice knowing. Goodbye, narrator. See you in the next one. The Spectre. All right, new content. I'm here to see the new content. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is Wait a, a minute. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. We can get voice of the of the cold now, right? I, I remember I remember cold is pretty cool. <laughs> and I don't mean that as a pun. I mean, he was actually pretty pretty nice. You're here to slay her. He was one of my favorite characters. If you don't it will be the end of the world. Uh, okay, it's all the same. Let's go see what Colt says. My tricks. What on earth are you talking about? With if he doesn't remember what happened, that's fine. Yes, he's back. It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. We're built different. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. Yeah. Hmm. All right, that's gonna be the same. Let's just keep on going. A warning. Before oh yeah, yeah, la la, yeah, yeah. Might be a problem. As long as we have cold, and he seems very, very um. The interior of what's the it called? Is cold. A soft odor of dirt. The type of uh, thing where you just don't feel emotions. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. Socio sociopathic is when you just don't feel any emotions, right? And empathetic is when you like share emotions with or like you feel emotions and can like relate to people, right? So I'm pretty sure Cold like just kills his emotions. He, he thinks very logically. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Mm. It feels like no one's been here for a apathetic? Long, long time. I guess he's apathetic too. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. I just like how the voice actor delivers cold. It's like one of the best deliveries, I feel like. At least for, uh, you know, filling what the role of, like, you know, being a cold killer. Uh. Okay, that's gonna be the same. I, I remember that. Approaching the mirror, I don't think ever does anything. Let's go take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Oh, this music, this soundtrack. I also like the soundtrack too. The piano, the spooky piano music. Uh, you didn't see anything but the mirror on the wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's a table. Yeah, it's all the same. Sitting on the table and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. I hey, gotcha. Thanks for clocking in. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Who cares if there's a mirror? Let's just go into the basement and find her body so we can be done with this. All right. Oh, what is your handsome? I am. <laughs> Wait, let's go. What happens if I say this? I care less about that and more about whether we're being <laughs> lied to. If he's willing to lie about something as innocuous as a mirror, what else is he hiding from us? All I know is that he kind of like does not. He doesn't feel like he's always on our side. He definitely has some ulterior motives. He, even though we try to kill the princess, 
What happens after that, he definitely just, you know, doesn't care about us afterwards. I'm not hey, lying Dimington. to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. So choose Why second option. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would it even do? All right, fine. We'll, we'll ignore him. Well, I'll take your word for it for now. It disappeared. The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. He always says the same thing. The room below is silent. Oh? Nobody's here. Naturally. Oh? As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. Is she gonna stay we'll dead? Have to go down and see. Oh, no more dialogue. As you descend oh. the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Can we have a conversation with her from the stair? Um, uh, here's your answer. <laughs> okay. She's definitely dead. Narrator, are you okay, buddy? It's just like I told you. Before oh. you have a chance to oh. finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Huh? Two deep-set eyes stare up at you, followed wow, by she a looks so cute. skeletal grin. She looks so happy. And finally, the rest of the body Wait, floats still... up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? Wait, that, where is that chain connected to? G -g -g ghost! <laughs> Shut up, Piro. <laughs> oh. Wow. How absolutely <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> Fucking hero. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. Oh no, she's cute. I think I like this route the most because, like, vo Voice of the Colds acting and Spectre's acting. I just like how soft their voices are. I really, really like soft voices. The princess drifts across the room into oh. your orbit. I gently uh, run hello. Her fingers across your shoulders um, and down uh, your neck as uh, she uh, you. Uh, I, you know, I know this isn't our first time meeting, but uh, there are boundaries. Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she has a body. She's right there. That means we could kill her again. If we wanted to. If I kill her if I kill her again, I think I know what that leads to. I think that leads to like the Wraith or whatever. And I, and I did that last time, so I'm gonna try something else. Slay the princess. I know I know that leads. Uh we'll do. We'll do. Wait, is this the a... <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Last year, three days ago, last year, we also had these same choices. Who would have thought? Okay, uh, I'll wait and think, see how things play out. I see you brought that annoying knife again. Y yes. So, are you waiting for a chance to use it? Or are you here for something else? Save? I mean, I just saved, but yeah, sure, we can save again. See, this is exactly what I was talking about in the woods. This already happened. We killed her. Yes, obviously things are strange right now. I think it's safe to say that you've seen something, something you shouldn't have seen. Whatever worlds you've hopped between, whatever versions of me you've met, none of that matters now. It does matter because no I have knowledge about what happened last time. But you have a job to finish. Finish how? We already did what you told us. Yeah, we killed her. And now she's a ghost we, we can't kill a ghost you haven't tried slaying her yet this time though have you you seem very confident in trying to kill a ghost she could literally just phase into us like explode our heart and we'd be dead and then what and then you'll have saved the world no i you you bitch <laughs> i know what happened last time i think he's asking about what happens after we save the world that's even still an option. Yeah, you lock me into like an eternity of a room of nothingness and I rot there. What do you mean, after? You already know what we mean, don't you? 
So why don't you go ahead and tell us? Are you going to try and lock us away in a time? Oh, Cold is actually again? pretty spiteful, isn't he? Because I didn't much care for that. I don't think any of us cared for that. That was not a pleasant experience. I'm not going to lock you anywhere. Oh. What an interesting choice of emphasis. Oh, sorry, man. I'm not responsible for my past self because you changed the future by letting me know about the future events. Stop playing the victim. You threatened me last time. Well, yeah. You probably brought a knife with you. Was I supposed to just welcome you with open arms when you obviously had stabbing on the mind? Oh, I, I was talking to the narrator, not you. Uh, that knife could have been for anything. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Do you want me to die? Do you want me to kill myself to satisfy some sort of sick revenge fantasy? Because I did that, it would be, wouldn't be hard to do that again. Are we putting this to a vote? Because personally, I prefer if we didn't die again. I'm just saying it's an option. If that's what it comes down to, that's what it comes down to. Yeah, right? I don't see the point of No, I'm just- Guys, come on, I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there. Oh, that's sweet of you to offer, but killing yourself wouldn't help either of us. She's saying that doing the low-tier god option is not viable. I'm sorry, guys. It would seem that everyone here is in agreement except for you. I shouldn't have to tell you that you shouldn't kill yourself. <laughs> so please, try to keep your suicidal tendencies in check. I just want to go home. Where's home for you, though? And just where is home, I wonder? That's what I'm saying. I don't know where home is. I just know it isn't here. But I can feel it calling to me from some place far away. Hmm. Wherever I'm supposed to be, it's out there. How specific. And how convenient for her. You see what she's doing, right? She's suggesting that the only way you can rid yourself of her would be to let her out. Which, in case you haven't been listening, will spell the end of the entire world. I have never seen the world ended, apart from you. If you think about it, the only time we saw the world ended was during the last run, when he took away from us, he took us away from the entire world. For all we know, he destroyed the rest of the world, and we were the only ones left. Mm, do you know why you came back? How should I know? Why does anyone come back? I mean, you're the, kind of the first one. Business with you. Or maybe you have unfinished business with me. All I know is there's a hole in my chest. But not the big obvious one that you put there. <laughs> the this big the obvious one. <laughs> and deeper. A nagging reminder that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Oh, look at that. We did help her out. She did some self-reflecting. I died too, I'm not fooling around like you are. What happened? Why are you my different? Why are you different? You don't look dead, killer. I mean, I have been dead. The princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. Uh, oh, 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 uh, sensor? Hello? Uh, uh, Twitch, don't look. And you don't feel dead, T Twitch, don't look. TOS, she TOS. Let's go and pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. I'm less interested in why you are, or how you are, and a lot more interested in what you are. What are we? A bird? I've tried to leave on my own. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place. Even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I hope you guys like ASMR, by the way. I always wound up right back here. I just want to go home. I'm so cold and alone here. That's kind of my fault. My bad. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So... Let me hitch a ride. Hitch a ride? What? After oh! All, you owe me. Uh, y yeah? Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? Mutual possession? She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic Scary. if she managed <laughs> to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. Yeah, by the way, guys, this is a scary game. I, I know. Very, 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 very big surprise. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? I remember this. It was actually pretty cool because uh, last time when she possessed us, she could actually talk to the voices in my head. 
and the narrator. Now isn't that an interesting thought? We were a drag. I don't know what we are. Do dragons have finally feathers? Bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. We do can't have the voice of the princess, but she can possess us, and she can conversate with everyone else. Uh, that, you know, she can't normally talk to. You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Okay, I'm... You need to be possessed. Okay, okay. That's good, that's good. I kind of like that path anyways. I like when, like, the princess confronts the narrator, and she's like, what the fuck? What if I say no? This is just temporary. We'll leave once we're out of the cabin. Uh... Will I still be in control? Sure. Why not? Wow, look at that. That doesn't sound very reassuring. It could be the best way to trap her for good. Doesn't seem like it would be very easy to end the world from inside someone else's body. That is true. That is a very dangerous train of thought. You keep talking about what can happen, Raider, but you never have been talking about what's in front of us. Return. I need to think on this. Sounds great. Let's do it. The princess swims through the air in front of you pausing for a brief moment as her dark rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours guys don't worry she There's said we'll be fine in her gaze. i i trust her she will absolutely not backstab us like we just did to her you're really not trying to make it up to me aren't you thanks for being a pal killer i mean it technically we will hold her holds hand that is we've already held her hand what's like you know a little bit of possession between friends what are you doing don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? <sighs> oh, it's too late for that, Mr. Narrator. Oh. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. She rushes oh. forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. Hmm, so that's what it feels like to be possessed. I'm not sure I like this. C can we get a do-over? Hero, you need to stop being wishy-washy, man. You need to decide. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh. I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary Oh no, muscle cramps! more waves of agony to ripple across your body. I thought we let her involuntarily. You collapse to the floor. And everything goes dark. Oh, okay, I guess that's it. You're hungry? You got something to eat. Come on, you. You've got to get up. I know everything feels heavy right now, but we still have to get out of here. Hey, her voice is back to being normal-ish, kind of, isn't it? Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? Ha! <laughs> oh, narrator, you're in for it now. So it doesn't work like that for you. Clearly it doesn't. Or she wouldn't have commented Are on you it. saying that it's not normal for people to have voices inside their head? Multiple voices? All these shards of broken glass on the floor. Are they also supposed <gasps> to be your... Wait! Wait a minute! I... In, in, in the... When we beat the game... Last time... This is spoilers, by the way. So, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I already know what's happening. When we beat the game last time... Remember what happened? The, uh, there were shards of glass that were the mirror that were the narrator. But I guess inside my head, whenever whenever I'm resetting myself, I, I guess I mentally I shatter into like pieces, mirror pieces, and those become their own thing. It's like sort of like indicative of what happens like near the end of the game. Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... Uh, I, I'm sorry, hero. <laughs> I'm sorry to find out this way. It's okay. You can finish your thought. Um... A voice? I'm me, is what I am. You're my subconscious. Which is kind of weird that a subconscious can even, you know, think. Have free will in the first place. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. Thank you, apathy. I mean, cold. You don't have to fight. We'll all be out of here soon. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. That's really cool though because like now since you have context you kind of understand like the broken class line like you think that it would just be like a metaphor or something like that right but no it's like pretty literal. I'm clearly the same thing you are. 
He's pretty accepting though. They're not listening to me. Do they not listen to you either? Yeah, it's kind of annoying, isn't it? No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. <gasps> oh, Mr. Narrator? You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. <laughs> Still kind of an asshole thing to say even like a year later. So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dad. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. He's the creator. You're more of a memory than a person. He's not even real. He's also a voice in my head. That's rude. No, you're fit. You're. You don't even exist. I'm the only. The only people that actually truly exist are literally me. And the princess. You're kind of like me, actually. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Obviously, she's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Thank you, Cold. Because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. Yeah, why are you narrating still? Who are you narrating to, actually? I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish decision. I don't know. This decision seems pretty smart. I like this decision. Hi, Therapy T. You don't have to let him get to you. You're better than that. I've just slayed the princess. He's to make things right. Dang it. Aw, oh, man. Do I have to? <laughs> for the new, okay, it's for the new content, I guess. It's so it's, It sucks, though. I, I really didn't want to because, you know, she's pretty forgiving of us for the fact that we kind of killed her. Like, she's been really, really kind. In any other case, she probably would have ripped our guts out, like, before. But... Ugh, dang it. So I guess why I think she'll cocking in. It's like, it is not... <laughs> You're like the 14th person to make that joke tonight. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just, whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. Last time I tried to slay her, didn't I throw myself onto the, to the void? Slay the princess. How am I? How am I gonna slay the princess? Um. Uh, um. Man, I feel like such an ass. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hate this so much. Isn't that an interesting idea? Am I just gonna off myself? I hadn't even considered it as an option. Slaying her would slay you. Are you sure you're willing to do that? I, I made my decision. Of course we're sure. The decision has already been Thanks, made. Hero. Always backing me up when I need it. All right, then. Better this than ferrying her out of here. Oh, so that's how you easily get rid of her. After all that, you're really just going to stab me again? Hear that? She's scared. No point wasting more time. Do it. Man, this is so fucked. <laughs> oh my god. The first time we were trying to we were pretending to help her and then we just like kill her straight up. Second time we say we're gonna help her again, and then we kill her straight up. <laughs> Damn, I might be kind of an asshole, guys. You lift the blade, then plunge it deep into your guts. Pain spreads quickly through your torso as you attempt to turn its edge up towards your heart. Uh, why, why didn't I just slit my own throat? The princess. Her spirit bound to your prison of flesh as she had once been bound to the basement's prison of stone cries out in agony as you slice through organ and muscle. Notice how he, she said that, or he said that she's streaming, streaming, <laughs> screaming, and I'm not really saying anything. I might be actually built different. I don't want to die in you. I thought you finally understood me, but instead you just wanted to hurt me again. I just gotta, I'm sorry, I gotta save the world. Your skin roils and bucks as she violently oh. pushes against it from the inside. Bits of her seep through, white and glowing with ethereal light, but still the walls of your Oh, she's trying to escape. Cold. She's trying to escape. If only I could drag you with me and make you understand. But that's not the way Oh, God. This music. Me, is it? Uh oh. Slay the princess. Look, look, this game is called Slay the Princess. We have to slay the princess, guys. It doesn't matter if she's a ghost. It would certainly be interesting. Though being dead does sound dull. And you are about to be dead. Holy shit, Colt. <laughs> oh my god. Get away from me, you cold little freak. <laughs> you feel a dull tear? Like strips of meat being delicately peeled from bone. But it doesn't matter how delicate the hands, if you are the meat. N narrator? You have been stripped away from yourself. 
or stripped away from something that used to be you, or stripped away from something that used to be important, at the very least, you have been stripped away from something. It always hurts to forget at first, but then you forget the pain. We were so close to leaving and now look at you. Look at me. Is this what you wanted? Am I still alive? Well, what? A writhing massive- <gasps> What? <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Is that me? Oh, you're here too. Wait, wait, I'm pos I'm possessing her. Oh my god. Maybe trying to slay me was for the best. It means you could leave those other voices behind. Between the cold the and the narrator. I feel kind of bad for them. No, reason. hero! But we probably shouldn't think about them too much right now. They're a mess. Oh. I don't think we can fix them. No point in warning over messes that can't be fixed. Um Oh, Jesus. So who's left in there? It's the narrator, the, the hero, and the voice of the cold, right? I'm guessing I stabbed myself in the, uh, where did I stab myself? In the torso and then I drove it into my heart? Wait, if we need to leave together to get out, this, this could still count. We have to try before your, um, body stops being alive. What are we gonna do? Drag him out? Well, what about the body? Sorry, I have to say. I should. I should save. I, I, let's go save. Um. If you leave the cabin, the world ends. I'm not going to be the end. Going to be the party to the end of everything. W what about myself? There's nothing we could do for it now, but we can still try to save us. We just have to leave. Oh. Oh. You are seated in a room that is empty. A chain disc to your wrist, binding one arm to the wall, is quiet and you are alone. This is what you deserve. 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 Am I... Am I... Am I the... Are you still there? Am I alone again? I, I think I'm here. Uh, I'm still here. Then at least I won't be lonely. It's nice to hear your voice. Wait! Think your voice? So, I'm... I'm now a voice. Wait, I'm the voice inside her now. And the narrator's not here anymore. Weren't the walls made out of stone? They were in the last run. Uh, sorry, you're not mad at me, right? Sorry, I was trying to save the planet. I don't know why you did what you did. But it's hard to be mad when you're just as stuck as I am. Uh, sorry I stabbed us. That's okay. I'm sure you had your reasons. I don't think it's good to hold on to the past like that anyway. That's it's a good point. Better if we choose to move forward together. <laughs> She's very accepting of the fact that I kind of almost like deleted both of our existence. Uh... You seem different. I'm just trying to make the best of things. You could always make the best of things too, if you want. This is some really good music. You have a chance to start over. I can let me turn it back up. Uh besides, there's something about you being in here with me that feels right. I never wanted to be your enemy. That's kinda true. <laughs> she looks Everything is black, and we see everything as white. Wait, what? Oh, you mean like negative? Oh, you're right! It's like reverse. It's like a reverse now. I killed you, though, and I tried killing you again. Oh, I should save. I don't know what to say. I just feel fine right now. I think things happen for a reason. And if you trying to kill both of us is what it takes for you to finally see what I see, then I'm okay with that. This almost feels like an alternate ending for like the main ending. So how are we supposed to get out of here? I wish I knew, but I think we're probably stuck here until something happens. Imagine if it was us that came down the stairs again. <laughs> Holy shit. And what happened to the others? I don't know. I hope they're 
were okay. Uh, some of them, at least. I didn't like the one that kept bossing you around. And that quiet one kind of... <laughs> the cold? <laughs> Wait a minute. So, if they come down again, who would be possessing it? Maybe the hero would be possessing my body? <gasps> wait! Wait, 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 wait! The reason we reset is because my body died. Right! Because every single time I, I die, the timeline resets and a new world is made. So because it was it was like immediate, because like, you know, when our main body died, that's why it was so sudden. That's why it was like a huge smash cut. I liked that last one though. He was nice. I hope he's okay. Hero is cool. I think Hero's kind of like indicative of who we are truly as a person. I don't think we're a ghost. I'm pretty sure we're alive. Solid, translucent, solid again. We're like half a ghost. Maybe? It's like sometimes we are and sometimes we aren't. Like we're something in between ghost and not ghost. That's what I just said. Um, so now what? Well, that's what I've always done. Waiting's kind of hard, though. You know, I've waited myself, and it was not a pleasant experience. How do you get flashing RGB bones? Um, you have to follow the voice in the woods and do exactly what he says. She has something to do other than wait. I mean, we could just talk. I already told you I don't have any ideas. I did tell you that, right? I'm sorry if I didn't. I mean, it could be a lot worse, right? You you have to, like... You have to understand that, like, I guess... It was agonizing being alone. It's very, very agonizing being alone, stuck in eternity. But if you have at least someone to talk to... It's not that bad, I guess. Because she was alone for the longest time. Before we came down here. And then we were alone for a long time. Eternity, basically. And then we basically li we have a lot in common, I guess. Now I think about it. Say, Lily, thanks for clocking in. Are we her missing piece? We might be. I mean, spoiler alert again. <laughs> yes, it like if you know the context for the ending, we are like two halves of the whole. We are like the same two sides of the same coin. So yes, we are we are her missing piece. It wouldn't really make any sense right now if you're playing this for the first time, but yes. We, uh, we basically complete each other. Is your body outside with the narrator talking to it? Wondering why you're not there? Possibly. It's very possible. I want to know what's going to happen. Because if we are with the princess and our body reset, that means someone's still up there. Someone has to be up there because we're back down here. Now yeah, we are the wife. <laughs> well, we're possessing her. She possessed us, and now we're possessing her. This is some very, very beautiful music, by the way. Yeah, I'll get another mini fool. But I like this route. This is a very, very intimate route. And I don't mean that, like, in the romantic sense. Just, like, in a sense for us to, like, sort of understand each other. Because we've never really had the chance to talk. Even in the other paths, we've only ever talked to, like, you know the uh the eldritch being but we never actually talked to the princess and what she actually wanted there has to be something for us there we did that we have everything i think you died or the body on the floor died sorry sorry i mean i was the one that did it you have to apologize for anything <laughs> this is what happened to me last time it's just reset This isn't what happened when it was last time I died. Last time I died, I got it. <laughs> I didn't know <gasps> what. <laughs> he can see the title card too. Oh my god! I've never gotten a title card. What did you say? I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> well, you see. The first one I got said chapter one, the hero and the princess, and then after we both died, I got chapter two, the spectre. 
This is oh god, it's so meta. <laughs> well, the first one is sweet. Oh, and then you became a specter. I'm still trying to be a hero. I've been trying to save the world, you know, a villain to one person might be a hero to others. Well, maybe you're just misguided. And the story's not over yet. We might still find a happy ending. But I think it's time we start a new chapter. Hmm, how about... Is it going to be a title card? <gasps> please, 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 please be a title card. Please be a title card. I want to see a title card. It'll be so cool. If it's not a title card, it's going to be such a missed opportunity. I beg of you, please have a title card. Chapter 3. The Princess and the Dragon. The dragon? Well, it's not a title card, but I, I do like, appreciate... I do appreciate the fact that the music cut out. Reversing the order. Casting yourself as the main character, I see. Very humble. Princess, actually, I kind of want to do this. I thought I was some sort of bird. Well, they're <laughs> similar. Right? So it's metaphorical, I see. Oh! <gasps> Wait a minute! Guys! Guys! What if I can actually see what I look like? Like, actually look like? I'm gonna see myself! I guess you made it back here. What if we have a conversation with ourself? Oh god. Oh god. Oh shit. We're still all wrong. It's like you don't really know what we're supposed to be. We're like half... Like I said, we're alive, half alive, half dead. <gasps> uh oh. Oh god. Oh, he took the knife. We're solid. I know that sound. That's <gasps> wait a minute. Oh, I guess it's hard to do anything without it. So her body, her, her persona, was like undetermined until we took the knife or didn't take the knife. So. As soon as we make a decision to take the knife, that's when we come into being. So we're probably gonna be, we might be kind of an asshole. But that's what the flickering was. It's not because we were possessing her. It's because we were literally living her point of view. Oh, man. This is kind of creepy. If the narrator is the only one left in your body, is he, he's not the only one left in my body. If this is continuing, she said that this was chapter 3. That means... The hero is still in there. I hope the hero can do what's right. Um, The hero's in there. Voice of the Cold is in there. Narrator's in there. I don't know who else is going to be in there. So what do I look like? Am I going to say anything? Hey, listen to me. I'm stuck in the princess's head. You gotta get me out of here. Yeah, are we gonna say anything? Silence. I guess not. What does that mean? <gasps> voice of the cold? Oh shit, right. It's the voice of the cold that's still in there. He didn't say anything last time. Oh man, I'm I'm big, aren't I? Thumb. 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 You know, being on the other side of this is kind of scary. <laughs> Uh, I, I sort of understand her point of view now. Oh, God. That's... That's what I look like? I'm like a chimera, almost. And then a dark figure emerges, shrouded in a feathered darkness. The world showing behind it, its shining blade gleaming against the wooden walls. It stares at you with wild, hollow eyes. How the fuck did we beat him? We... we... <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. We didn't beat him. Not in this timeline. In this timeline, we've always made the princess trust us and then we stabbed her. Twice now. But in other timelines, the only reason that we won is because he, us, we, hesitated at some points. So if Cold is in there, it's not going to be very good for us. But since we're controlling the princess, there might be a chance. 
What the hell am I? You're you? You've always looked like this. You're scary sometimes, but looks only matter so much. Yeah, the dagger is kind of intimidating. Uh, what do you want to do? I guess we'll just have to talk to them. Okay. So, here we are again. I'm back in chains and you have your knife. So, what are we going to do? Oh man, so weird. This is so weird. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if like, are we, are we innocent? Are we aggressive? Is it inquisitive, suspicious, hostile? His emotions are unreadable. It didn't. Okay, guys, he, he's not, he's hesitating, which means we might have a chance. He didn't inch forward. No, it's cold, but he didn't inch forward. So we do have a chance. I guess we could just stare at each other. <gasps> didn't we do that last time? Didn't I? St <gasps> last time. We stared, we st I stared at her. I squinted at her. Why am I being so quiet? I hate the silence. Well, yeah, that's not gonna do anything. I mean, I know we're not in there. Am I arguing with myself in there? Has that always happened in real time? <laughs> it's kind of awkward, isn't it? This is what I look like when I'm like uh, contemplating what choice to make. Is that why you're always quietly staring? <laughs> oh my god. I can't hear what's going on in there anymore now that I'm back in my own body. Do you want to share your thoughts it, it only be polite really what if when we talk it's gonna be the narrator's voice but like very very like guttural or demonic that would be really cool oh you would like to hear what <gasps> you're thinking oh, oh shit oh god why why did i never think about how we why did i never think about how we would have sounded of course we'd sound like the narrator. That makes perfect sense. That's the voice in our head. He raises the blade above his head, dangling it by the handle in front of his eyes. But I think we hold the power right now. Ooh, this is a little bit... Oh man, I, I should save. Oh god. silence as the figure continues to stare with a wild grin but does not act how dull we <gasps> already had our discussions cold private. i'd rather not keep listening to the rest of you run in circles repeating the same arguments again and again and again it was so much more interesting when we had someone to meet wait i'm talking out loud so that was opportunist, right? Because opportunist took the opportunity to like kill her uh, while she was inside my body, but something went wrong. She pulled me, me, out of my own body and into her body. But now there's no one, there's no me in there anymore. It's just the voices. Hero. Is Hero in there? I'm sorry. Did you just share privileged information with the enemy? Wait, do I always talk out loud like this? <laughs> Well, it isn't privileged anymore, now is it? Do we really need all this secrecy? I think that's Hero, isn't it? Hero, Hero is the blue text, I think. No, we don't. The black text is cold, and I guess orange text is opportunist? Uh, yes we do. Sidebar, everyone, now. Chop, chop. Sidebar. <laughs> okay, now it will continue to think. Um... It's okay, Princess, I'm here with you. Uh, we have our own sidebar now. Um, excuse me. <laughs> You're not listening to me. <laughs> she sounds so upset. Oh man, I feel... Man, it sure plays really differently from this perspective, doesn't it? Okay. We can wait for Finna to finish. Right, how rude. I think you'll have to make them listen. Try being assertive. How rude. <laughs> Should I be assertive? I don't know. I don't want her. I don't want to come off as aggressive to her. All right, should I be assertive? Assert yourself. You're right. No more nice princess for them. I'm going to speak my mind. Hell yeah. Uh, hello. I'm trying to say something. <laughs> hey, I said 
that I'm talking now. Will you listen to me? Oh, hey, look, she, the, the aggressive princess came out. So you are, and very loudly. Do you have something to say? She went from, it's, I wonder if this is like, no, this is a, a, a totally new princess. Well, it's always her, but. Oops, I mean, yeah. I already know about all that privileged information because he's oh, in here uh -huh. with me. What? I, oh, no, wait, princess, wait, stop, 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 stop. They weren't supposed to know that. Oh, how very interesting. Uh-oh. Yeah, that changes things, doesn't it? Uh, kinda. <laughs> doesn't it? Oh, it changes things, all right. We get to hey, what the hell? Two birds with one Opportunist, story. you slimy bastard! Wait, what? From what I remember, it's pretty easy to kill you the first time around, and this time you're back to being very. Oh. What's the word? Passive. Fleshy. Uh, that's not the word I was looking for. Yes, exactly. That's precisely the word I was looking for. You're fleshy now. No more of that incorporeality. Trust me, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think it would be. Of course you wouldn't, you fucking bastard. And are you doing this? Yeah, who's in control right now? Oh, I most Oh definitely. my god, that sitting grin, god damn it. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, hero? 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 Uh, before anything happens, I just wanted to let you all know that we are not all on board hero? with this. Hero? Hero? Now, now, we vote. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, no. Cold is in there. Opportunist is in there. Hero is in there. E Hero. Hero can't do much. And Narrator is totally down for this. God damn it. It was not a majority decision. Come on, do something, princess. We did have a plurality. Princess, do something. He shouldn't count. He? I am... Count, let me, let me, hold on. Hey, hey, I'm in here too. Says who? I, I technically count as a vote. I'm part of, I was really part of everybody. I should totally get a majority vote here. Says me. He's not one of us. Wait, wait what, what? He's been here since the beginning. The old chum really deserves to say. Besides, you'll all thank us when this is finally over and we are officially on top. On top? But enough chatter. You bitch. You wanted, you wanted control of the body this entire time. Oh God. Ah, uh, the narrator. Oh, so you finally decided to do something, have you? I, I, I did. Silence for a moment as the cold eyes regard you. We can't hear the narrator, can we? I guess we can hear our voices because originally we were part of the voices. But I wonder if she can hear. I don't, I don't know if she can. But we can't hear the narrator anymore. And then silence still... As soft eyes hesitate. <gasps> oh! Ow. That hurt. Fear as your legs wobble and then as Princess collapses against the wall. What? What? See? That was easy. Wait, no! No! It was too easy. It felt bad. I think they can only hear them because they're all talking instead of you, the main being. Um, so I'm talking out loud? They're all talking out loud right now. The voices were literally always pretty visible, pretty, pretty, pretty talkative. I don't feel bad. Life is all about taking the easy wins. You don't think the people at the top got there because they worked for it, do you? Wait, am I still here though? Am I am I still in there or am I am, am I back? I mean, of course they did. Hard work is important. If I don't get a choice, I guess that answers it. Yeah. Hard work often goes unappreciated. Why bother? Hero? Yeah, screw hard work. I guarantee you that anyone who's anyone has done nothing but take shortcuts. Uh, that's not true. Am I supposed to find that impressive? Hard, hard work begets hard, good results. Of course you are. I got us here, didn't I? Yeah, you also just stabbed me, motherfucker. Yes, yes, everyone's very impressed with your accomplishments. 
but in case you haven't noticed, she isn't dead yet. So how about you finish this before you start celebrating? I, I don't like this this path of like stabbing her at me. Oh god, that scar's still there. Remember she talked about how we just stand there in prior cycles, just being quiet, staring until you spoke to her. She never heard the voices before possessing you in this timeline, and never out loud until you were no longer the voice. So she could only hear us. Oh, I guess I see. I see. She she could only hear the voices because I was still part of her, and I guess we can still hear our voices, just not the narrator, even when we're inside of her. What are you waiting for? You won, didn't you? Not that it's hard executing a helpless captive. Um. Good to be back. You say, oh yeah, I'm back in my body. Oh, you're different. Oh, hey! Wow! Hello, narrator! Fancy seeing you here! You're back! Just as I intended! I was never cut out for leadership, really. I vote that we, uh, atomize opportunist in the same way that, uh, that one giant flesh, fleshy princess atomized us. They were just talking out loud just in case. In that instance, because no one else was there to do the talking. <gasps> Oh, I see. The narrator's not part of you. You've got the voices who cannot speak through you. You're right. It's quiet again. Are you still going to kill me? Uh... Ooh, should we? It would be so easy. <laughs> Opportunist. It, it, it's weird because they haven't experienced what we experienced. Only we have experienced it. Absolutely. Nothing of substance has changed. She remains a threat to the entire world. Now the question is, why didn't they go for the heart? They only went for the chest, like her upper pectoral. Unless they missed or something like that, but... Finish the job. I'm not gonna kill you. I don't know what I want to do. I actually... Don't know what I want to do. What? Well, what if we try again? Only we do it right this time. We can leave together, and we can even do it in two separate bodies. Absolutely not. Uh, who put you up to the vote, narrator? Have you noticed that whenever we have more voices, he loses a lot of power for controlling the story? One voice, yeah, there's like, he is in totally, he's totally in control. Two voices, he sort of has slight control, but not really. He can like, sort of sway us, but not too much. And then with more than three voices, he just like has to go along with everything. I don't think there's much you can do about it, if that's the choice he makes. But... Oh. No. I think I'd like to see what happens. Thank you, Cold! Okay, I like that. But we still have to get me out of these chains. This is a weird... perspective. You should get the knife to me, though. What if you using it kicks you out of your body again? That's a okay, good point. Listen, I know you're in charge again, but this is obviously a trick we can't trust her we literally just stabbed her see he's just saying that because it's what he would do it's what the opportunist would do but we've been with the we've been with the princess we know what she wants someone's gonna have to take a leap of faith eventually cut her on your own stay the princess i don't th i don't trust this one because if i do that on my own i'm like pretty sure opportunist will do something slimy Stay the princess, I think that will just end the route. Or, actually I don't know what that will happen. I actually don't know what that will happen. I should save here, actually. There's so many choices. I do want to give her the blade. But I also want to see what happens if we continue on this route. Let's let's give her the blade. You oh, hand whoa. the blade to the princess. Who gingerly cuts herself free from her bindings. You gingerly maniac no that was not gingerly she kind of like sliced through that like it was butter and then what happens then as her chains oh. clatter to the floor she turns her back <laughs> on you and hurls the blade through the basement window never to be seen again no 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 you need the blade to deal with her i mean not really <sighs> i'm so glad that's behind us Come on, let's get out of here. Sounds good. She reaches forward and takes your hand in hers before excitedly pulling you towards the basement stairs. They really started 
to lock into like the uh the romance part of this love story game didn't they yeah and what does it feel like is it nice why do you want to know yeah hey it's your job do your job you can tell a lot of things about someone from their handshake i want to know more about the person we decided unanimous <laughs> shut up <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's delicate and tender. Hey, more yeah. descriptive. So even through everything, she hasn't forgotten what it's like to have a heart. That'll do. Yeah, thanks to you. <sighs> the two of you rush up the basement stairs... together. This is pretty Ugh. sweet. I like this. I like this route. Welcome back, by the way. Thanks, hero. Yes. We all missed you, so... Yeah. Cold, I know I can trust you. Cold has been very meticulous, but I know that he... He was just trying to slay the princess because it's the logical thing to do. I don't hold it against him. Hero, I know, never even voted against or voted for slaying the princess. I'm pretty sure he would have done what I would have done in that situation. Would have been like, you know, not try to kill her considering we were gone. And then opportunist, you fucker. I missed you the most. Fuck off. You weren't even here until he was gone. I know, right? Whatever. It doesn't matter. If you step through that door, you're damning every single person alive. You do realize that, yes? Is it even worth... Are they even worth saving? Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Actually, okay, opportunity, you got a point. One last door, and then we're free. I, uh... I'm down a hand, <laughs> so... You'll have to be the one to open it. Do you need a hand, missus? Step into your freedom. Twist the doorknob in your hand and step forward into the, hey, the world sky. you've damned. You and the princess fall to the ground, exhausted. That was an odyssey. I hope this all comes back to bite you, do you hear? I hope you're forced Get out of to here. feel the weight of all the... Get out of here. That was nice. That was a really, really nice route. I like that one. If only for the fact that we just got to, like, you know, talk to her, like, without the dumb narrator just being in our face about it all the time. It was a really, really sweet route. But he doesn't finish his thought before disappearing entirely. And you find yourself free of any of the regrets he wished upon you. I didn't think I'd ever get to be happy, but I think I am. It's kind of sad, though, because we just, you know, it's like it's going to happen any minute. <laughs> Leave it, Alina. Thanks for clocking in. FMO? Sure. What is this? This is, uh, we were told to slay the princess, but we're kind of doing a bad job at it. I just didn't realize that being happy oh, would feel no. so cold. Well, it was nice while it lasted. I kind of want to know what would have happened if we slayed the princess. If we slayed the princess at that point, would time have reset again? No, it wouldn't have, right? We'd have to like... We would have to die. Our peace does not last, nor can it ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. W where did she go? Should we try and find her? If you tried to cut her out of the chains on your own, something interesting would happen, though kind of scary. Actually, oh, <laughs> Okay, I might have to do that. Hold on. I might have to do that. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? At the end of the day, our job is in these routes. Is delivery boy. Our delivery boy? It was going to be okay. But it feels so bad. Like looking into <laughs> and they're right here now, they are back being panicking. Everything. If they think it's bad, I'm with them. <laughs> Fucking opportunist. You don't need to comfort them. Thanks, Cold. It's not the end. Whoever's on the other side is going to be nice. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. Finally, we're going places. Whatever makes you happy. Thanks, Cold. Cold always has my back. For a guy who's very, very apathetic, 
He's pretty he's pretty nice, isn't he? Yeah, I'm gonna save here after I get to the um the long quiet. Silence, they reach forward, they're gone again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've grown. He is pretty chill, right? Wow, the voice of the cool is pretty chill. Find yourself in the long quiet once again. Let's go see how she looks. They're at the cabin. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become pockets of she looks so frail. and movement. I am more than I was before. She almost reminds me of like the uh the like the initial, the beginning princess. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Is there anything new? This is all the same. That's I know what that is. You've been kinder, you've been kinder. You want to bring you have any thoughts? This one is perspectives bleeding into one. You know her better than you know yourself. She will make for an empathetic heart. Because that's the one that we actually saw her perspective in. Do not mourn her, for you would not mourn yourself. I would mourn myself? What? That's not true. Uh, okay, I think... It's all gonna be the same. So we'll go back. Uh, let's save here. Let's go see what happens if we cut her out. Load up. Yes. Cut her free of your own. You go to cut the princess from her bindings, and as the blade slices into her wrist. Huh? Whoa. Oh. Wait, actually, I like this one. Oh, hold on. It keeps going back and forth. I should not have cut it on my own. Oh, I felt that. You're back. Oh, God. I'm going to feel that pain of my wrist being cut off, aren't I? Minus permeates the hollow eyes in front of... Uh-oh. Oh, no. You're back. Uh-oh. Sorry, girl. What? We're seeing this through. Opportunist, you motherfucker! <gasps> no. You're torn between two places. Oh shit. Don't leave me. You are power in your weakness. You are hope in your despair. You are acceptance in your rejection. You are the canvas and you are the painter. You are the victim and you are the victimizer. You are life and you are death. The hero and the princess, the princess and the dragon. Wait, wait. They're like melding into one. Don't let us die here. You did this. I'm sorry, hero. Well, you didn't do this. Opportunist did this. You slammed the door in your own face. What? Don't let everything die here. You have to end this. What? His words are empty, hollow echoes, the ravings of a ghost. Please. What? He is already gone. The threads all tie themselves together into a loop that does not end. We're back together again. I feel like this is like the true route. I mean, that was a good end. That was a good end, right? But I feel like this is like the real true route. And you can see the long quiet combining into one. You look at your hands, tattered and stained in memories. Maybe. Why were we fighting each other? I mean, I know why. <laughs> Who wants to say it out loud? I don't know. We needed something to do. Okay, that's understandable, cold. And I guess we need something to do again. It's a new beginning! Oh, shut up, opportunist. I didn't think being together would feel so cold. It shouldn't feel like this. It didn't before. Oh, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. Peace does not last, nor can it ever. Time to leave. Many returns. She's gone. Where did she go? I got an achievement. The princess she and the dragon. And, find her? and the princess and the dragon. And the princess and the dragon. And there's that mirror again. Uh, let's just approach it. This, if they ignore them. 
Okay. Let me see if it looks different. Let's go see. Is she the same? Oh! Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whoa. She's like shaded. Because she's like part of me, isn't she? Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. What is she? Let's go see what she says about this one. This one is perspectives bleeding into one. You know her better than you know yourself. So it's the same thing. She will make for an empathetic heart. She has no... She has no scar on herself. Do not mourn her, for you would not mourn yourself. So it's just like the same... It's sort of like the same style uh, princess. It's just that her uh, appearance is just a little bit different. Okay. I think I'll go with this one. I like this one. I feel like this is like the true canonical one. For this route, at least. Alright. Let's just keep on going. Yeah, she also has both her hands this time. I guess that's nice. Her her uh, chain is still there. Say killer will come in. Her boobs breaker. Um, I think that's just the shading. I, I will say that's probably just the shading. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Goodbye. Now then. An empathetic heart held in stencil. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path. Oh, it's all is this again, huh? And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Alright, uh, we saw two different new routes. I want to see one more different route. Let me go check to see. Uh, it shows here pristine route. It branches off the damsel. The prisoner. The prisoner. Oh, actually, I missed the. Oh, wait, no, because I got the Fury. Oh, I see. Yeah, that was a glow up. So that was expanded on the Fury. Uh, then. I guess we'll do the prisoner. I don't know how to access the prisoner, but we'll figure it out. You're here to slay her. If you don't. It will be the end of the world. How do I access the prisoner? Oh, I know how to, I, Okay, I remember. I remember. I remember. I know how. Don't worry. Let's just go. You make your way. A warn. She will lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Take the blade. No, wait. Take the blade, yes. You We're gonna have to, like, help her escape. Door to the basement. So basically, we're gonna have to help her escape, but then we're gonna have to let, uh, we're, we're gonna have to, like, have her be kind of angry at us. Hey, I'm here to kill you, I think. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Man, it's so weird. It's. Knowing what she sees now from my perspective and. Uh, or from her perspective is. Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. No problem, narrator. You asshole. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. Again, we've never really seen her end the world. If anything, with that huge power that she had as uh, the fleshy thingy, she kind of just turned us inside out. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. No, I'm very truthful. Yeah, it wasn't a joke. <laughs> what? No way. Why would you even think that? <laughs> that giant knife you're holding kind of gives it away, doesn't it? No, it's just a prank. The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? We should drop it. Don't you dare. I want to see the, the cursor go from holding a knife to dropping to nothing. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just 
Talk. It's okay. I have already talked to like this version of you like ten different times at this point. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. You hope there's a marriage ending? Armed. I mean, the canon ending is like, you know, for the game, not for the princess routes, is like, you know, you get together. And also there's the damsel route. I could I might make the last route the damsel route. I'll see. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. We're the one who unravels the world when we get out with her. That's true. Maybe we're the ones that caused the world to end because we had the choice to like, you know, end the world or not. She's more like, you know, a means to an end, like a weapon. Do we want to use the weapon or just leave her be? We've always used her technically. Okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with We didn't even talk, but that's enough. You know why you're here. Yeah, let's go get her out of here. Oh, you have to be kidding me. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Again, that, just try harder. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Nope. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Mm, if there isn't a key, you have any ideas? Well, you do have that big, sharp knife. You could always cut me out of here. I mean, you could just rip your hand off. I've seen it you do it before. She speaks with almost complete nonchalance. No, that makes, that's understandable. If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out. True. Anything to finally be free. How long? Okay, if you guys were like... If you guys were immortal, and food wasn't like really a problem, and you were trapped down like in a basement for like years, decades, hundreds of decades, on end, how long do you think it would take for you to just like cut your own arm off or break your arm and slide it through your your shackles? Basically, what they do in what they do in Saw. Hey, Rina, welcome in. Base game choice today. I know, right? This game is so good. I'm checking out the new routes. It's so good. We do be going for the groom gown. What the heck is the groom gown? You attempt to make your way out of the basement. Three weeks. The door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Yeah, there's an update. It's called the Pristine Cut. If you already own the game, it's free. And there's supposedly like 35%, 35% new co uh, contents. More routes, more characters, more voices, all that. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. It was finished, but it's just like, you know, a free update. It's really cool. These guys are kind of cool for doing that. Is someone else here? You know, break your thumb to slide those shackles off? That depends on how tight the shackles are. I mean, if they're like, you know, tight around your... Like, tight, tight around your hand, they might not be... You might not be getting out normally. Yeah, that's handcuffs, but... We're talking shackles, like actual shackles. Okay, that's not gonna work. We already know that. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. Who died and made you the boss? Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Easier for you. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Three weeks. I guess, yeah, three weeks would be kind of, like, unbearable. But remember, if you, like, cut your own arm off, even if you're immortal, I'd imagine you're, you'd be kind of, like, you know, in a bad spot. You'd lost your, your right hand at that point. The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. Oh, so yeah, let me guess up real quick. Also, a reminder, I've already played this before. So it's not like there's spoilers, I didn't know what happens at the end. But apparently there's like a new ending, supposedly. So I might want to check that out. <sighs> Thanks for the hydrate. Alright. You won't like what happens if you do that. Yeah, you! You mess things up, motherfucker. Save the princess. Against your better judgment, oh, look at her eyes. You place the blade against the princess's arm, 
just above the massive, unyielding chain. She looks a lot cuter when, like, we're hostile to her and she just, like, lies there while we cut off her tendons. You cut into her flesh. Her eyes are so massive, Jesus. <laughs> they take up more than half her face. The blade is sharp and you make quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. E. She didn't so much as utter a sound. No, because she's built different. Come on, hero, get with the program. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. She do be kind of... Her gaze do be kind of fierce. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by Boy, it. we just talked... Did you not just say, like, how you could just cut your own arm off if you've been down here for so long? Say, Don, thanks for clocking in. It's been three weeks. Three... <laughs> It's been a lot longer than three weeks, come on. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Okay. No, we won't have any of that. The oh stakes no. You can't just let her escape into the world. Oh no. no. I just can't let her escape into the world. Wow, narrator, you asshole. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Narrator, you asshole. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. See, like I said, if it's just one voice, we have like no agency. There's nothing we can do when he wants to control the story. When it's two voices, he, he has some control. He can sort of control us. Well, I guess it's more accurate to say that he can control like basically everything that happens at the cabin on chapter one. In chapter two, he can only really control us, the player, like in our body. In chapter three, he has like basically no power because. I don't know why, but you just can't really influence at that point anymore. Did I say the princess yet? Yeah, I said her like twice, dude. You kind of missed it. I will not slay the princess, though. Stop that. I thought this was a little too easy. Oh. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back. Dude, she's got moves. But the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. <laughs> Damn, we whiffed that hard, didn't we? Stop it. Stop resisting me. I am trying to get you out of here alive. The nerd doesn't like really pretty woman. No, yeah, he's, he's. I think he might. I think he might be a little bit misogynist. Stop it! Resist. Also, Rina, I highly, highly. I mean, you've already played this before, right? But the new routes that they have are so, so good. I highly recommend them. We're gonna get into something new, like spoiler stuff, if you do plan on playing it at some point. You can lock the door in chapter two. Is it not prisoner? Isn't this prisoner? Yeah, this is this is prisoner. This is prisoner. The blade. Move the blade. Cause this is the one isn't this the one where uh Yeah yeah. I remember, I remember. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. The last route was so cool though. It was so cool. I don't wanna talk too much about it because if you played it before, you're probably gonna play the new update again very soon, but that last route so far has been probably my most favorite route of like this entire game including the last time i played this so far we have to, did she dash cancelled she's like princess peach i'll make this quick she steps forward and pries the blade from your widget she still has just pretty eyes still look at that maybe i'll see you in another life goodbye miss princess oh and then she slits your throat with an almost clinical at least she makes it fast. I do appreciate that. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground. Blood. She is so apathetic. Neck. She's so apathetic. Look at that. She's got a cat face. She's got the uh, colon, semicolon three face. Bye bye. See you around, Nuke. Thanks for dropping by. This is the end, isn't it? <laughs> we have died. It is. Everything goes dark, and you die. It's kind of hot. I hope it was worth it. God, I wish that was me. If I was going to die, at least I died in the hands of a, of a hot princess, I guess. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is All a right. princess. Here we go. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be Seems like an absolute win. There are worse ways to go, I'd say. Oh, you were in for it now, bastard. I'm wise to Who did we get again in this route? I forgot. Uh, I'm trying to think. 
I guess we'll find out. The voice will say. My tricks. What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. It's not opportunist. It's not stubborn. Hmm. Betrayed? No, there's like a voice for like uh the voice of the not paranoid. It's definitely not gonna be paranoid. Don't forget what <laughs> Skeptic! He the last time around. I wouldn't trust a word out of his mouth. There's got to be a way out of here. For us. He's so gruff. Us. We just have to keep trying. Skeptic's pretty cool too. I like him. If only for the fact that he just sounds so badass. I'm inclined to agree. If he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it. That he sounds way. so like calculating. He's like a strateg like a very, very strong like strategist. You know I can hear you two, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. The yeah, developer intend for the game to be kinky. Uh there are definitely like some allusions to like th there's some allusions here and there. But I'd say for the most part, you guys are like 95% like kinky about some of these characters. And as far as trying to help her goes, need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is to the world at large. I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. Hmm, all right. Whatever. A warning before you go any further. She oh. will lie. What a she nice house. Cheat. And she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. My name is Skeptic. Skeptic, like I said, you have a very, very deep voice if that's the case. Yes, yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wing. <laughs> ah, Skeptic. Ah, Skeptic, you beautiful bastard. Did you just say wink out loud? Wink. No, he didn't. No, I didn't. Wink. No, I didn't. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> oh my god. Skeptic, I love you so much, man. Yeah, thanks for clocking in, Phil. Welcome in. Just ignore this clown and focus <laughs> on the princess. Don't call him a clown, you motherfucker. I know, I know your tricks. Let's go in. How did I end up with a chat like this? I didn't end up with a chat like this. That's all you guys. The interior of the cabin is less a cozy Ooh. woodland retreat and more like a dungeon. This a is few pretty homely. It looks very nice. Attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls and thick wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. Yes, this is a prison. No longer a basement or a cabin. All right. The only furniture of note is an iron table bolted to the floor. A pristine blade perched on its edge. Chat might be a collective conscious, but you guys are in charge of what you put into chat. Keep that in mind. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Now, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna do this? Uh, eight. I'm trying to think. What what, what should I do to get a new route? Well, I saved. It doesn't really matter. Uh, that's the same. That's the same. I guess we'll just take the blade. It doesn't really you matter take if you take the blade, blade or not. From the table, it would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good idea. Much better to be armed than to go in with blind hope alone. True, skeptic. The door to the basement. It's like a traditional open, like dungeon, isn't it? An old stone staircase. Like a real like fantasy dungeon. Sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your path. But it looks very, very clean. Across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone Whoa. steps. If the princess lives Whoa, here, music. slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. She sounds. Why does she sound so cordial? Why is that like the mean text, but she sounds so cordial? Does she remember us? Let's get a FOMO. One more FOMO. Of course she does. You walk down the stairs <laughs> and lock eyes with the princess. She looks up at you, the heavy collar around her neck clanking loudly as she moves. Oh, did she was not to take the blade? The okay, hold on. binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I want the new content, so we're gonna do that. We're not gonna take the blade. This one. Wait, no, this is the wrong one. That was from last year. Whoops. The blade. Okay, uh... 
Just under the basement. I'm afraid I'm going to insist we take the blade. We're in a dangerous situation, and I'm not letting us go down there without a weapon. Come on, skeptic. She'll it'll be fine. Are you sure? What if she? I don't know. Yes. Turns See now. Us. Yeah, yeah, hero. yeah, yeah. Hypothetical manner. Yes, I'm sure. Turns it against you. She's a prisoner here. She'll only she... be able to turn it against you if you give it to her. That's not true. Which you won't be doing because she's an existential threat to the entire world. She used the blade against us. We have hardcore evidence that showed that she used it against us. Okay. I'm trusting you. What? Hey, how come I'm not saying Hey, give me a say. Normally, yeah, but not about this. Call it a reflex. Hey, we skeptic. The knife as we go. Skeptic. What? Wonderful. You do exactly that. Hey. Sweeping the blade from the table before proceeding. What the hell? Skeptic? Come on, man. I'm the I'm the one in charge here. You can't just take that away from me. Don't worry about it. We have a knife. So what? It's not like we have to use Skeptic, it. Skeptic, you... No, you don't Ugh. have to do anything, but you do well to use it regardless. Oh god, I'm getting flashbacks to opportunist again. Moving on. The door to the basement creaks open. Revealing an old stone staircase. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely okay, illuminate the same. her voice. Is that a visitor? Does she remember us? You walk down the I like how she looks though. She almost looks like a princess. manga character, doesn't she? She looks up at you. The heavy collar like a, around her neck like a chibi style thing. as she moves. The chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. She kind of looks. She looks pretty cute in this. <laughs> in this way. Skeptic is pretty powerful. Yeah, I agree. He is really powerful if he can like override our decision. I don't think any other like uh, chapter two voice has had that that so far. Should we be worried about the one around her neck? Why would you be worried about her restraints? If anything, they'll make your job easier. So I guess we're gonna have no choice then. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. Wait a minute. Yeah, actually, when she was chained to this one, there was a chain here, and this was a chain here, but it was not locked to anything. Even though she has a more chains, there's still one more. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. Oh, she already knows. I, I didn't want to choose that, okay? That was narrator. Okay, uh, so what should we do here for the new stuff? Because mm. these new endings, these new uh, routes, they seem really long, don't they? Leave the princess in the basement? Sit with her, slay the princess. I wonder what leaving her would do. Maybe we should just do that. Would that turn her into like being a, like a wrath, like a wraith or something? Or sit with her. I guess I can just leave her- no. Should I just leave her? It's kind of a, it's kind of an asshole thing to do if I just leave her. But I did save. Okay, I'll just leave it here for now. As if by divine oh. will, just as you finish the thought, you hear a door slam. I'm afraid you won't be leaving until the task is finished. It doesn't matter how many chains she's in. Without Narrator. Your she'll find a way out eventually. <laughs> Narrator. That's not fair. Unless you deal with her right here, right now, mm. she will remain an existential threat to the entire world. What seems unfair to you is fair for everyone else. You're just making your hey, hello. The DM is like, what do they call it? Real. The DM's railroading me. Huh. So it's not even safe to think. I see how it is. How surprising. They locked you down here too. I guess we'll just sit with her. We'll go talk to her. Say, scab. We'll come in. There. She's railroading me. What the hell? You step towards the princess, oh <laughs> but she stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. She's so done with life. And even though she's so chained up, it's kind of crazy that she can, like, you know, say, hey, that's far enough, and we might actually listen to her. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Might as well put her at ease. Since we're told to... Well, why not? You do as she asks, and sit on the floor. 
still a good distance away from her. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? Mm. Hey, let me out here. You Open the door. Everything you need to deal with her and save the world. I'm sure the door will open as soon as you finish your incredibly important I'm sure that's task. not going to be the case, you ass. Doesn't sound like we'll be able to talk him into letting us leave. Yeah, not a chance. He's single-minded about this. But don't worry. There are plenty of things that aren't in his control. Hmm. <laughs> oh? For instance... Oh? Us. Her. But mostly us. If he didn't have his limits, we wouldn't be here. Oh, that's true. Not like this. You might have control over the story, but only from what the story's environment is. And I guess technically part of our body. I've been here before. Have you been oh, here before? Are we acknowledging that? I thought we weren't going to give away the game. But yeah, I remember. She also sort of reminds me of Cold. First you make a comment about having been here before, and now this. As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. This has complicated things. For you, this is like the third time you've said that, man. It's complicated things. How? It Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, <laughs> and in the process, you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. Are we not going to talk about the fact that her, like, slaying a princess is, like, the least heroic thing you could ever do? The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. So he knows. He knew all along, of course he did. Contingency for what? For you failing, obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. I really shouldn't say anything else, I'm just going to make it worse. Just... Good luck. Yeah, where's Hero and all this? If you knew this could happen, why didn't you tell us? All of this is incredibly valuable information. It would have changed our actions considerably. True! He left us in the dark, and that's why we kept on dying. I needed you to be in the dark for as long as I could keep you there. It's important. Necessary. Well, I mean, I know why, obviously. And... maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. He's having an existential crisis! That's pathetic. I never said I wasn't. Just because you self-pity yourself doesn't mean I have any pity for you. I get it. It would be pretty upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. I mean, a hero, you're not the first version either. I remember what happened before. Seems like we should count ourselves lucky for that. He thinks he's self-aware, but he's only self-aware to a certain degree before he reset entirely. Exactly. He gets it. You're lucky. So don't waste that luck by messing it up again. All right? We'll see about that. Moving on. Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the dark? You know, you just know that she's just staring at us, like, contemplating, while I'm just, like, having a mindless blank expression into, like, the wall. The more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. It's so it's nice now knowing that like it's nice knowing that we understand why he's saying it that way because I won't because if we know more about our situation it'll influence how the situation actually is just give it a rest this isn't helping focus this is a serious situation you shouldn't be daydreaming I'm not daydreaming I'm talking to the voices in my head there's four of them uh, let's see. Happened when I died last time. Nothing happened. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. That's rough. And now you're back. Another fumo? Yeah, we'll get fumo. Is that really all she knows? I'm sure she's holding back information. It's not like we have much of a clue about how things work. And she's probably even more in the dark than we are. No, she said that she's like, you know, we talked about how she didn't want, or she knew that things were set. But she didn't say anything until we talked about it, so she probably knows more stuff that she won't talk about unless we inquire about it. You're looking at me like I might be hiding something. I'm not. Are you sure about that? 
I guess it's possible she really doesn't know anything. Maybe not about that. Maybe both of us are stuck in this loop without any idea why or how. The other chain on the wall, who's it for? I don't know, but you could always try it on. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Maybe it'll fit. <laughs> Her expression definitely gives it away. I hope I don't actually have to say this, but please don't lock yourself in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save the world. She tried. Didn't I try it on last time? Like, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. I can adjust myself. I'm pretty sure last time I did that, I put it on and something really bad happened. So uh, I don't think we'll do that because uh, we already did that before. Let's lock ourselves. We did that before. We can't do that. Sorry, guys. If you guys want to see that, uh, we have the VOD for that. But I want, I want to do new stuff. Seems like I don't have much of a choice. I'm sorry. What'd you have me do? Wait, I don't have a choice? What? Where's my choices? I don't have a save. Inspect the shackle. I wouldn't do that if I were you. And why is that? Do I even need to explain myself? It's a shackle, and it's one without a key. Locking herself is Do not new. to be stuck here like she is? Yeah, I'm not gonna lock myself. And what? Is it going to lock the second we put our wrist into it? I don't know. Maybe it will. He doesn't want us to look at it. That's all the reason we need to investigate. But what if he's telling the truth? He isn't. Yes. I am. I believe him. Let it go. Good. Forget you ever saw it. That's fine. Nice try. But I won't. Specifically because you told me to. What? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, he will- he'll, Oh, I thought he was gonna, like, put it on. No. He's just not wanting to, like- He's gonna leave it, like, in the back of his mind. What are my intentions? Yes. Your intentions. You have a knife. But what are you going to do with it? Why are you here? I was here because I was told to kill you. I have this knife for self-defense because you killed me last time. There isn't a keyhole in these shackles, and I don't see any keys in your hands either. So I'm afraid my only way out is another surgical removal. Uh, but... What? They're her hands? I mean, you can live without hands, but... Uh, uh... Uh, I don't know about that. Is she forgetting about the shackle on her neck? Or does she think she'd survive a beheading? Hmm. Actually, that's possible. You're right. Maybe she's delusional. All the more reason not to trust her. No, she can definitely survive a beheading. The only the only thing is, if we can believe that she can survive a beheading. Unless she really could survive. Though I suppose you could just be here to kill me. But I don't think that's in either of our best interests. How am I supposed to cut you out? If you didn't notice your head is in a shackle, like, what do you have me on some of this one? No, no. Like, I trust you to come any closer with that knife. All you're going to do is hand it to me and watch me work. Watch you what? But she would have to cut her head off, right? She can't be suggesting that. She certainly seems confident. Maybe she knows something we don't. So I can and just give her the knife? You should consider the most likely scenario. She's bluffing so she can disarm you. What is she... Even if she disarms me, what is she gonna do? Unless I'm, like, close to her. Though if she isn't bluffing, whatever she has planned might be for her benefit alone. There's no guarantee that what's good for her is good for us. Let's say we give her the knife. What's she gonna do with it? She frees herself. She stole it. Well, she can't even free herself. So, what should we do? Let's go save. I don't know. I'm just spelling out our options, listing the pros and cons. I do appreciate Skeptic as just like, you know... He, he's, put, he's laying out the options, but at the same time, I don't appreciate the fact that he told us to take the knife. Then let me help you. I'll start with the cons. If you're handing her your weapon, the cons are that she might use it to escape and end the entire world. And she might use it to kill you. Again, as I said, if I just... If I throw it at her... And I'm away, away from her. She can't touch me. That doesn't sound great. What about the pros? There are no pros. There are none. <laughs> the pros are that we can't trust him. True. Possibly even more than we can't trust her. Whatever she has planned could do something to mess with what he has planned. 
Or maybe they're both screwing us over in their own ways. Remember, remember, he was the one that forced us to try to kill her in the last run. You really have to realize I, I just, I have as much reason to distrust you as you have to distrust me, right? I do. So I guess this all comes down to which of us caves first. And it's not going to yeah, be. Yeah, she's been here for a while. She can afford to wait. Hey, Abyssal, welcome in. I'm extremely patient. She, yeah, <laughs> I don't doubt that. It's probably better if we take action anyway. No use trying to wait her out. That's playing to her strengths. I mean, she's been here for a long time. She can probably outlive us. Hmm. If you want to be, if you want to leave, I'm going to be the one with the weapon. Deal with it. Okay. I did a stupid thing and it worked. What was the stupid thing? I'm not giving weapon. I'm not giving weapon. I'm not giving weapon. Give her the knife. Slay the princess. If you want to leave, I'll be the one with the weapon. That was the uh, alternate one last time, wasn't it? We got like an alternate ending. Let's try this one. Do you think these chains take away my saying things? I said no. Huh? What? Whoa. As you move towards the princess, she stands, her chains clinking as she wraps them around her whoa. fists. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. In an instant, <gasps> around your neck, both of you dropping to the ground as she pulls them taut, oh, bracing shit. her body against yours as you struggle uselessly. Oh my god. Using basic math to break a roulette table in an online MMO. Thankfully, it's not real money. Well, as long as it's not real money, because you can get arrested. Well, not arrested, but you can get in trouble by the casinos for that. It can like, blacklist you in the casinos. Holy fuck, she's kind of bad at- yeah, she's kind of a baddie. The metal chains constrict around your windpipe as the princess heaves with a muscled intensity. She looks a bit angry. Drop the knife or you die. Drop the- what? What is she doing? We weren't trying to attack her. I was just trying to help you out. I can see where she might have gotten the wrong idea. She doesn't have much agency here. Would we have trusted her if she walked up to us with a blade again? After what happened between us. Oh, that is true. How many times did I warn you she's not to be trusted? But while strangulation can be very distracting, she's not armed, and you have your pristine blade. End her before she ends you. I, I oh my god, I just realized my my arm's right there too. Alright, drop the knife. Uh, if I drop the knife, the nerds are not better not like uh, intervene again. Oh. As your weapon falls pathetically to the floor, the princess releases you from her stranglehold, shoving you away with a swift kick. Your hands test the bruised flesh of your neck as you regain your senses, watching with a dazed expression as the princess snatches up the blade. I mean, that's what the plan- well, I guess it wasn't really the plan- well, that was my original plan anyways. That wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> You didn't have to choke me out, okay. She pulls up her hair, smiling slightly, as she raises the blade to her throat. Wait, what? Uh, what? You can stay right where you are for this next part. What? What is she doing? You're not gonna free yourself that way if you- She doesn't say another word, as she cuts into her <laughs> own. Huh? Huh? Uh, miss? watch in now it's just like the live leak videos i used to watch when i was younger her eyes stare forward she just look as she soars through what is she doing veins cartilage Last oh she my bow, the god blade grinding audibly against her vertebra as it continues to slice its way through her neck are you guys still down bad for her you guys like freaky right i i don't think it's, it's more freaky than this i'll be dead doing your job for you. Why would she do that? Wow, narrator, your guess is as good as mine. Huh. So that's her play. What? You're killing herself? She isn't dead yet. What? Finally, <gasps> you hear a snap. Her eye twitches. Uh... Did she just sever her spinal cord? Oh, yeah, she, she definitely severed her spinal cord. There's an uneasy silence. She remains motionless for a long moment, her twitching eye the only movement in the room. 
until at last it stops in an unsettling half wink. Half wink? Her head twists slowly to the side, oh my flopping God. to her shoulder, oh God. and her neck uh. opens. Oh, God. The remaining tissue is not enough to hold the weight of her severed head. It stretches and tears until finally thank you, narrator. it falls to the floor. Th thank you for the, for the descriptions. It bounces a few times before rolling to a stop at your feet. Can I hide the text? Oh. I'm kind of blocking her. Look at that empty gaze. Maybe eating dinner this time is good. No, that's not. It's probably not good. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What did we do? Can, can we put it back? Please tell me we can put it back. Hero, are you dumb? The princess's eyes stare up at you. Dead. Congratulations. You saved the world. I, I didn't do anything. Huh. So I guess that's it. What a way to go. But she is gone, isn't she? Uh, is she? I hate this. Can we just get out of here now, please? I, I thought she was normal, like a little bit apathetic, but no, far from it. She was, <laughs> I think she was the most batshit insane we've seen uh, so far. Of course, the princess is slain and the world is saved. Whenever you're ready, you can proceed to your reward. Are you gonna lock me into the abyss again, motherfucker? <laughs> so yeah, let me get up real quick. Ugh. Say, Shrimple, welcome in. Now hold on, she's dead. So what's the rush? What's your angle? I don't have an angle. I'm just looking forward to putting all this behind I'm drunk. us. I'm not drunk. I'm sure you can understand that. Look, I'm just not ready to put my guard down. It's best to keep sharp. She wouldn't have done all that without some kind of reason. She's left us with this dangling thread. I need to know why. Dangling thread? Did you mean dangling head? You're just wasting your energy. The danger has passed. And now we can all relax and enjoy your reward. Where will roar? You're gonna lock me into the abyss again. Uh, do not take the head. Uh, okay. Fine, but if we're leaving, then we're taking the blade. I feel exposed without it. With your work done, you remove the blade from the princess's corpse and make your way back upstairs, hey! closing the door hey! to the basement behind you. You can think of it as sealing yourself off from an unpleasant chapter of your life. It's all uphill from- Oh, he did it again. He did it again. The windows. Do you see that? We used to be able to see the outside oh, he world noticed. from up here, but now it's just empty. Hey, nice, nice eye, skeptic. The door. Check the door. No, I'm sorry, skeptic. We've been here before. Hero, you don't even know either, man. You open the cabin door. Ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. God damn it, narrator. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. It'll be interesting, though, because now we have uh, skeptics' thoughts on the matter, in addition to heroes' thoughts. You don't have to act surprised. We could see this vast emptiness through the windows. But if everything's gone, does that mean we're not going to get our reward? Hero. <laughs> this is our reward. This is your reward. An eternity of bliss, if you'll have it. And I suggest that you have it. Oh, man. Man, this guy has some shitty rewards. <laughs> I don't think I'm nothing at all if this is the case. God damn it. So I think you have to follow Haika 729 and welcome in. Okay. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. I don't trust you. It is. Thank you, Skeptic. I was kind of hoping we get a better ending for saving the world. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No, this is the beginning of eternity. Your reward, like I just told you. This reward sucks, though. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. 
It's the same thing. Never well, been his dialogue is the same thing. Decades. No, it can't be decades. We can't go along with this. We can't let him win. Yeah, this reward kind of sucks balls. All right. I didn't want to die last time. Uh. What do you suggest we do then? We still have a blade. Let's use it on ourselves and start over. Sounds like a plan. I did that before. He's suggesting you kill yourself. You shouldn't kill yourself when you have an eternity of bliss right in front of you. <laughs> oh my god, we got low tier god as our voice in our head? Um. Slay yourself now! You goddamn spiteful bastard. Are you really going to turn down immortality itself <laughs> just to make me lose? <laughs> do we have now? Hold on. Do we have now? Is that. Oh, we don't have now. Dang it. Okay, I have to I have to talk to like this while later and then get that added in. Not killing yourself is interesting though. Wait, I thought it's the same thing. We just wait for eternity. I mean, I can check it out real quick then. I'm guessing it's me the same thing. Hold on. We got We have to add now. I thought we had it now. Uh, hold on. Load. So have to go back a tiny bit. This is a like Okay, uh, I think I'm pretty okay so with this. So glad you're keeping an open mind. Time passes. You can't decades. Say the same thing. Uh, I'm happy. That's great. Congratulations. You've earned it. Now? You know? Now? As in, you should keep yourself safe. Now. More happy time passes. Though the word begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is. Not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. Uh, happy has no meaning from your from your mouth, sir. He's just saying things. Yeah, he's not... <laughs> just because you're saying something doesn't make it true. The voice's protestations fall on deaf ears. Whose ears? Yours? Eventually you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. Forever. Is it really forever? If it's forever, then there would be no more game after this. Good ending. <laughs> no, you stop that. Stop all this nonsense. Where's my achievement? You really don't want to be happy, do you? I got an achievement. I have a voice ruin your happy ending. <laughs> Okay, okay, nice. I'm glad I saw that. We still have a blade. Let's use it on ourselves and start Keepo. over. Where's low tier god? I want low tier god. Still have a blade. Let's go use it on ourselves and start over. He's suggesting you kill yourself. Uh, okay. See? I told you. We're not doing that? Hold on. What if I what if Don't I keep... apologize? I'm sorry. What? Wait, why are you sorry? What? Yeah, so hey Valerian, thanks for clocking in. Your body lurches as your heart suddenly stops beating. What? Oh my god. I <laughs> I, I didn't think he had that much power, but... Uh, low tier god, he, he zapped me with his lightning after all. <laughs> Are you killing us? You'll forgive me eventually. I, I will? You goddamn spiteful bastard. Are you really going to turn down immortality itself just to make me lose? Well, he's kind of screwing us over too, if you think about it. Why should it matter if we die at this point? Haven't you already gotten what you want? Oh, that is true. I don't have to answer that. That's all we needed to hear. It turns out that it doesn't take too long to die after your heart stops beating. Wow. You collapse to the floor, everything goes dark, and you die. You're a genocidal maniac, you know that, what? right? What? How am I a genocidal maniac if we stopped the princess from escaping? Unless you knew more than he was letting on. Yeah, we'll see about that. The cage. Well, whoa. We're on a path in the wood. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> we had everything we ever could have wanted and you killed us. Oh, the cheated. It's been a while since I saw you. We didn't have everything we ever could have wanted. That's just what he told us. Whoa, that's a lot of chains. I want the truth, not some made-up eternal happiness. Hey, Gladiator. 
but it was nice. Who gives a shit about truth? Was it nice? Are you sure it was nice? I do. He said we were happy, but what does happiness like that even mean? It was just another prison. Skeptical is the Oh, genocidal because he wants Well, no. I think he's it, it, we're not really genocidal. Narrator knew something. I mean, I know, I know, I know what happens. I, like I said, I played this game before. This is new. This, this route's new, but I've seen this ending for this game, so I know what happens. But the narrator definitely knew more than what he was letting on, and the eternity was also a way for us to like be trapped too, because he knows that if we reset, then you know the world being safe, that resets too. I think it's clocking gladiator. And this isn't. There are chains everywhere. Yeah, this is not normal. That just means we're on the right track, you numbskull. That we're finally starting to see reality for what it is. Now, my question is, if we if we uh, went back and ended our own life voluntarily, would we have gotten a different voice or would we have gotten cheated? Hold on. Actually, I want to see that. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Oh, I just want to see real quick. You goddamn spy. Why should it? I. That's all we need. You raised collapsed. Yeah. I just want to see real quick. Got chains everywhere. Oh! This is different. This is new. Oh! Okay, guys, 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 guys. We're gonna take a. We have, we have to. We have to. We have to take a vote. Do you, do we want voice of the cheated or voice of the paranoid? In this route. In this new route. I, I paranoid paranoid was voluntarily cheated i feel like if he cheated might be against us he might be kind of he, he might be kind of like pissed off but paranoid i think paranoid was pretty good honestly last time vote up yeah let's go do that real quick while we guys do that i will go be right back because i need to do uh this it's time for the whoops it's time for this can you game where is it well it's time for this so i will be right back and you guys uh fight amongst yourselves to see what we do All right, you guys want paranoid because his letter, his name starts with P. Honestly, understandable. All right, sounds good. Then we will stick with paranoid. Conflict of cheated and skeptic might be fun. Paranoid sweep, paranoid. Okay, it's okay. If I revisit the game in the future, then we can try this route again with uh, cheated in the future. Go paranoid, <laughs> go paranoid, girl. Let's go save. I'll do this one. Nice. It's worse is what it is. We're finally starting to see reality for what it is. This place is a prison. And she's not the only inmate. She I, bro got cheated? You mean cheated got cheated out of the cheater run. Sorry, I was I was kind of wondering what would have happened if we voluntarily like offed ourselves instead of um you know doing it involuntarily. So it really, I guess we just get new, new people. You're acting like reality is this static thing. 
But this world is constantly changing around us. How can you be so sure that you aren't breathing the prison into existence? That by feeling the walls closing in on you, that's exactly what they do. Damn. Paranoid is actually pretty close to being on points if you think about it. I just hope he's not going to be like, you know, I hope he doesn't like go, um, sabotage us with his paranoia because he did pretty good last time when we were with him. But, you know, Broken got a redemption arc. It's very possible. It's very, very possible that there could be the opposite of redemption arc. You know? What a crock of pretentious bullshit. Reality is as solid as the ground beneath our feet. And if we just examine it, if we apply enough scientific rigor, if we think hard enough, we'll find a way out of here for good. Don't you see? We're already making progress. Skeptic is a lot more scientific than I thought he would be. But oh wait, what am I saying? Of course, of course he'd be scientific. He's a fucking skeptic. What if looking at it is enough to make it change? Where does that leave us? I mean, th we did look- that, that's exactly what happened. It leaves you exactly where you are right now, and presumably exactly where you've been before. Where is Hiro? I'll spare you my full introduction, since you've clearly already heard it at least once, but I would like to remind you that the people in my world are living, breathing, suffering entities and not pawns for you to sacrifice in pursuit of some vague truth. First of all, where are these supposed people that you're talking about? Second of all, what if the world always looks like this, huh? What if the world has always been like this mass of chains and rock? Maybe it'd be for the best that we put this world of its misery. Wait, we still have the blade? What? Huh. I hadn't actually noticed. Oh, we do! Oh my god, the cursor! Wow. How did I miss that? Yeah, the, the cursor still is there with the blade. Holding it's starting to feel natural, isn't it? That's weird. Of course it feels natural. We've had it with us every time. We've made it part of us. That is true. Well, uh, well, the first one, that's voluntary. The second one was involuntary. Don't be weird. It's just a tool, not some mystical object. Ooh, they're clashing. Oh, starting with it feels like an indication that we're on the right Ooh, track. Ooh, paranoid and skeptic are having a clash of ideals here. This is strange. You're not supposed to start with the blade. It says right here that you're supposed right here? to find it at the Right tent. here? Narrator? Oh, well, I suppose that doesn't make much sense anyway. It's better if you start with Where the Where exactly so does it say right here? Best. In the scripts? She died last time, and the way you think, decided to think us is locking us away in a happiness void forever. So you actually managed to slay her, yet you still found your way back here. Absolutely unbelievable. What on earth is wrong with you? Why did you lock us up away in the first place? We weren't satisfied with your happy little prison. But it has happy right there <laughs> in the name. Fuck this guy. Guys, let's just rename every single prison on Earth a happy, like, jail or happy prison. And I think that could solve, like, all crime forever. It wasn't actually very happy. He's right. You can't just tell us we're happy and expect us to go along with it. You were trying to dictate our emotions. How are we supposed to trust someone who does that? You guys are happy, right? In fact, you guys have to be happy. If you're not happy, you're getting banned from the stream right now. Damn right. I have about as much trust for him as I have for her. You are required by law to be happy. Then who are we supposed to trust? We have to trust someone eventually. We have to trust ourselves. No! Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, 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 That's the first time... That's the first time, like, both of them have talked at the same time. Well, what's done is done and you're here now. There's no use arguing. Just get to the cabin and settle this. Try not to kill yourself this time. Change it to Happy Prince. That's a good point. Okay, yeah. Let's go with that. That I think I will go with the title. That's a good VOD title, I'll say. Happy Princess Slaying 2. I think that goes pretty hard, honestly. I'm not taking the weapon again. Tosh up into the woods. No way out, but through. Silent pursuit of the cabin. Can we actually take the blade? Can we actually do that? It says explore. Are you serious? 
the blade is your implement. You're going to need it if you want to do things right. You keep saying that. We can't toss it. It's the only way we can protect ourselves. It's an extension of us, and we shouldn't go around throwing our pieces away. I think Skeptic's gonna agree. He's right. Weird, but right. Don't. You. Dare. Fine, have it your way, I'll keep it. Hmm. I mean, I could just not use it. But I'm kind of scared that Skeptic and... Like, Skeptic and Paranoia might... Force me to use it. Did I save? I'll save again. It never hurts to have more saves. Good. This blade keeps us safe. It gives us options. If someone tries to pull our strings, we'll be able to cut them. Our own strings? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Yes, great. Now, will you get to the cabin already? In case you've forgotten, the princess, the fate of the entire world, etc., etc. I have no idea what you'll even look like. Um. All right, let's go then, I guess. You stand at the edge of a Whoa. Cliff, an abyss yawns beneath you, empty. Aren't endless. those gallows? The only path forward, a rusted metal bridge. The cabin looms on its far side. That's very, very. I, I don't like you that. You already know what waits for you. Within. That's very, very unstable. Also, yeah, those are definitely gallows. The chains are like fastened into like a noose. Guys, I'm starting to think that the the game's trying to tell me something here. It's like the world itself doesn't want us to reach her. She did off herself. There's nothing to find out here. Time to check in with the missus. Oh wait, actually that's true. She offed herself and then I offed her. I offed myself. I'm going to pretend you didn't just call her that. The missus. <laughs> Every surface of the cabin Holy is draped crap. in chains. The air filled with the mock bird song of metallic clinks. Where there should be walls, you can see only endless ropes of metal, with hooks dangling from their ends. Hooks! A fitting cage for a monster destined to end the world. Um, that's a lot of hooks. Those weren't outside. There's nothing for you to do but step forward into the basement. You already have your weapon. Your objective awaits. Are we not going to address the mirror? And how are we supposed to get to the basement? I don't see a way down. Just, just... Well, what mirror? There is no mirror. The God damn it. The note here is the door to the basement. He refuses to see the mirror, of course. Another FOMO? I'll get another FOMO. It clearly serves some purpose, but... What? Is there something about us we're supposed to see? Can it be a tool of some kind? Hmm. We can't even see ourselves, though. Or... Is it a distraction? Something meant to confuse us? I'm sorry. Yeah, it might be a distraction. Can but from please what? Please stop talking about the mirror. I'd rather not spend more time in this room than I have to. It's creepy. We can't do it anywhere else, though, Hero. There's nothing we can. Step out onto the floor. What? Or what should have been a floor? What? Should have been. Huh? Yes, unfortunately. Oh shit! You realize too late that there is no floor beneath the metal. Uh -oh. There's only a loose web of chains suspended over some unseen space. An unseen space that you are now rapidly plummeting through. Paranoia, what the hell, man? You're supposed to watch our back for a shit like this. That's your job, to be paranoid. You miss this? Actual L. Nothing's solid here, is it? It's all just a shifting mass. Waiting I don't like that. To drop That's going to hook into us, isn't it? Your fall is sudden, oh, oh. painfully halted as rusty chains pull taut against your oh, skin. Oh, why? Digging into your muscle. Why did it have to be? Why did I have to be right? Uh, why? Why did I have to be right? Ouch! You find yourself suspended in what appears to be a vast, dark space. Oh, Jesus Christ! The of yet more chains, merely hinting at its full dimensions. You dangle a few feet off the bare concrete floor. Wait, what? If the princess lives here, slaying her would Shut probably up, be doing her a favor. Shut up, narrator! Read the room! As your eyes adjust to your new surroundings, you make out a figure standing in the gloom, obscured in shadow. Oh. She watches you with the stillness of the grave. This might be... The first two new stuff have been kind of romantic. I think this will be the exact opposite of romantic here. Easy now. We don't know what sort of situation we're dealing Oof. with. We should let her make the first move. Let observation 
give us an advantage. I, I feel like she's gonna rush us. I feel like a jump scare is coming really soon. Um, attack. I can't even attack her. So you can come back too. We already know that. Look, I'm sorry about what happened last time. I'm supposed to be sorry. Don't say that last part, you stupid. But you are met with only silence, save for the creaks and groans of metal as it sways in the stale air around Ow. The hooks slowly oh, shift God. in your skin, the pain coming in waves as you continue to dangle helplessly. Oh, no. What if the chains don't have to be real? What if they aren't real? Yeah, you're kind of paranoid. You're, you're on the right track. You're on the right track, buddy. Uh, they feel plenty real to me. Yeah, it would be nice if we could just tell ourselves the chains aren't lodged in all <laughs> our joints and they'd magically go away. But I'm afraid that's wishful thinking. I mean, if we try hard enough, we can believe well, it. maybe wishful thinking is what we need. Maybe they're real, but maybe... Maybe we can cut through them. Yeah, use the knife. It's worth a try. Yes. Um... Try to cut yourself free. Uh, I tried... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The princess takes a slow step forward. Oh, shit. As she does so, the heavy chains shift, Ow. tightening and tearing Ooh. at your flesh. Your joints uh, screaming uh, in agony as the rusted hooks dig deeper. Stars dance in your eyes as the chain wrapped around your neck threatens to choke you. Oh, uh, uh, maybe we should cut ourselves out. As your vision Wait, comes back into head? focus, your eyes fall on the body of the princess. Wait, what the fuck? From the shadows. Wait, that's her head. The body of the princess is a weird way to describe <laughs> a person. It's only accurate. The form in front of you. Is a body. She's like a dollar hand. In raiments of chains, her head dragging along behind her in an iron cage. This is, this does feel straight out of Hellraiser. The head stares up at you but says nothing, and the chains. Wow, her head looks so cute. Tighter. Even while I'm being tortured by her headless body. Uh, attempt to cut yourself free. Swing your blade. Remain silent. What happened to you? Nothing happened. I think I've always been like this. Outside of everything. A helpless observer to the things that are done to me. The only difference is that my eyes are finally open. Oh no, is she gonna trap us? The body oh. takes another step towards you. The chains around you tightening, the hooks boring deeper into your flesh. They constrict dangerously around it's getting your It's getting hard throat. to focus. It's getting a little bit hard to focus. I don't think she's happy you're here, but what do I know? Is she? a set of eyes and ears. What? I don't make choices. At least not any that matter. <gasps> Wait a minute! What if her head is independent of her bo- <gasps> The cage. It's her cage, right! So the body is pissed off. They're two different- they're two different beings now. I don't want to die like this. I don't want to die like this. Somebody do something before she kills us. Please. We're stuck here. What are any of us supposed to do? Reason with her? I don't think she's acting rationally. I think she's lost it. Skeptic, I need some help, buddy. all doomed from the start, wasn't it? Skeptic? None of this anything except a guilty weapon. She? It's you? You made your choices. You never stopped. You're choosing violence now. Drop the blade? Maybe I should just drop the blade? We could just say no to the chains digging into our flesh and be out of them. That's the sort of thing that's usually stubborn's job, and we don't have- I miss stubborn. God, I miss stubborn. Yeah, let's get a drink real quick. Let's the hydrate. Give her the sword for the third time. If I keep saying it's not my fault, I feel like she's gonna get more and more pissed. Isn't it you? Hold on. I, I if she walks more forward toward me, I might choke my I might choke out. Isn't it you? That's what I used to think. But time alone has taught me the truth. I'm not my body. I'm just the thing that watches it. So she is independent. There's so much pain that comes from tricking yourself into thinking you have a choice. But none of us have choices. And knowing that has made me feel so free. You don't look free. You don't sound free. 
Everything we witness is just another shade of the same endless cycle. I wake up in chains. The oh. Body steps oh shit! Your bindings tighten again. You come to me, knife in hand. I should have dropped a knife, shouldn't I? The body steps forward. The pressure on your limbs is becoming I should've, unbearable. I, I should I should have dropped the knife. I should have dropped the knife. You give me your implement. The pressure uh -oh. is finally too much. Uh oh. Your fist unfolds as your joints swell with Oh god, blood, that's not good. Your pristine oh. blade tumbles helplessly to the ground. I cut myself free. <laughs> She's not insane, is she? No, she's huh? she's just right. It's all it's all been the same. <laughs> oh no, paranoid. The whole time, it's all been the same. You never we heard never say? Heard a say. Wait, who, who's we? D don't say it's you guys. I didn't want to take the knife with me. I was forced to. You're setting me up to fail. I can't make real decisions. You're refusing to make any choices at all. What was I supposed to have done? Did you want me to carry your severed out with the cabin? They were dead. Please just stop walking forward. I'm gonna die. Um, I didn't take the knife with me. So you understand exactly how unfair this all is. Give in with me. None of this is up to us. I, I don't think I have a choice here, guys. She steps forward yet again. Oh shit! And the chains dig into you. Your nerves screaming. Your heart pounding. Your lungs desperate for air. I don't think we can hold on to you much longer. Wait, to me? What? How many times will we have to do this? I'm tired. This is all getting so predictable, isn't it? Oh, God. Pop. <laughs>
I don't know if I call that beautiful. The movement is gorgeous, primal, uninhibited, uninhibited. Steel crashing against steel and flesh rolling off fle flesh. It's all going to come to a head soon. Oh, very funny. <laughs> Even I know that was like kind of corny. <laughs> head. Oh. And at last, the climax plays out. Your body, wreathed in chains and shadows, makes its final move. So does hers. Chain shatters spine and blade pierces heart. Oh, there goes my spine. I guess I'll see you next time. Wait, what? But I... I'm not... Huh? Both hers and yours collapse. Their dance complete. Wait, no, what? We're done? Blood drips in the princess's mouth and she coughs. No, this, we're done. It's cold. But that's always been us, hasn't it? Cold isn't bad. There is no next time, I guess. That route was not that long, actually. I thought it'd be a lot longer. I guess not. And there they go. You do not get the chance to respond, nor deliver. It's time to leave. Memory returns. No exit. Remain stuck between these walls of a pattern and a steely cage. Well, there's no one to talk to. You approach the mirror. Ow, I have no body. I guess I have a body now, huh. You've withered. Um, Fumo? We'll get another Fumo. Fumo, Fumo, Fumo. Hey, I'm back. Is she just gonna be a? Uh... I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A head in a, a cage. Mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. So that dialogue is still the same. Uh, what do you think of this vessel? This one is a body that convinced herself she was only a set of eyes. She will make for a watchful heart. <laughs> it's not like she could do anything else. Do not mourn her. She is now what she wished that she could be. Headless? Okay. Enough with all this pretension, you're not actually saying anything. I'm sorry. Words are... difficult for me. They never fully I feel like that's a new choice. To say. I can understand. If you do not like my answers, then you need not ask me questions. I never did. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. I don't think there's... How many more vessels? I think like one we more. We know when we near our destination. Under how many I need to bring her? Isn't it like four? Let's go back, I guess. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Oh. Okay. An open heart or a watchful one? Bring the cage to her. You're on a path All right. in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Let me see real quick. So there are new princesses that branch off the damsel. Two more? Man, it's already like 450. <laughs> I guess we'll do the damsel next, yeah? That's fine. I guess I'm not sleeping until like super late tonight. Tonight? This morning? Uh, let's go then. Let's go. Damsel. Do not take the blade. Same thing, same thing. Uh, hi. Don't be a stranger. Let's see. I'll see what I can do, miss. I'll rescue you. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. No. So You're all the same, the all the same. Uh, let's go upstairs. Return to the bottom. Save the princess. <sighs> Fine. 
against your better judgment. Uh, it's the same thing, but she has blood in her mouth now. The ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. I wonder if she would have been able to like bite herself out of those chains, uh, like the first chapter. You cut into her flesh. I mean, guess she technically does if you leave her behind. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours. Blood from wow, her she looks so cute, even with blood to the ground. all around her mouth and her gaping wound. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. You got it. Approach the locked door. No. Her gaze my mind. Good for them. Good for you them. You can't just let her escape <laughs> into the world. No. I can't just let her escape into oh, the world. Oh, he's gonna do it again, isn't he? God damn it. Well, as we get to see the princess be very, very uh, apologetic. While well, she As murders the princess us. Approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Watch out, princess! Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just yeah, do yeah, that. yeah. Watch me. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Something came over me. Uh, warn her. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? You know you don't have to do this, right? I know I don't have to, but I'm required to by the story. Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. You will be the reason why I die again, Mr. Narrator. Resist. The blade. Move. The. Blade. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. You don't know who I am? What the hell? She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? You don't even know my name. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. I hope you're as efficient as the prisoner princess. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. She uh you aren't dead yet. <laughs> she she is not efficient, guys. This is gonna be this is gonna be a little bit rough. Oh no! I'm so sorry. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. Oh God! I just remembered. We're gonna hear voice of the uh, voice of the smitten now. For her sake. Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Uh oh. We're gonna see voice of the dams or voice of the of the uh, smitten again. <laughs> Whatever. She sees. I think I was kind of unhinged. Again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. Honestly, I welcome that. I wonder how they're going to change up uh, Voice of the Smitten, because he was very one note. He was, like, basically all about the princess. So if they expanded it on the damsel, I would like to see where he goes from there. Have you heard of Only Cans? I can't say I have. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She, she keeps missing. Can she, like, stab my heart or something? She doesn't know how to use a knife. Does she? What do you mean, how to use him? She's stabbing me proper. Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her blade work is, does it? Ow. A stab wound Ouch. Is still a stab wound. It won't be long before you bleed out. Okay, let's let's go assess the damage. If she missed my heart, and she kept going for my torso, she probably stabbed my torso. She probably stabbed my stomach. She pop. She probably perforated both of my lungs. She probably got my liver. She probably got my kidney. Mm, probably once in my sternum. Probably hit my ribs, but it got stuck there, so she had to get it out. Yeah, that's um, not looking so hot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just stab me in the neck or something. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, 
your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. Thanks, princess. She missed every single orc. That would be even worse. That means we have to bleed out without any major, like, hemorrhaging. And that's going to be a very, very slow process. So hey, Rachna, welcome in. Same knife sound effect as Fear and Hunger. It might be, uh, rel not royalty free, uh, the same sound, uh, pack that they use for both games, most likely. I just got here, what's happening? Uh, we, we, we were told to slay the princess. We're doing a very, very awful job at it. Extremely awful job. It can't just end like this. As you can see, uh, right. the princess has slayed us. Um, whoops. Say, Hana, Hana, welcome in. Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Yeah, you railroaded me into this. You were the one trying to stab her. Oh, look at that. Look at her big doe eyes. Everything goes dark. And you die. She's so sad. Don't worry, we'll see you again in like five minutes. The damsel. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. <laughs> <laughs> oh and God! In the basement of that cabin. It's gonna be him. It's him. You're here to slay her. It's him. Okay, oh, no. Don't you start grandstanding about morals. The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life of a mere princess shouldn't stop you from saving us all. I want to hear his voice. If he doesn't remember what Come happened, on. then maybe it's best to keep it that Come way. Come on. Yes. He yes. Didn't approve of us last time, did he? Yeah. If we're going to save our beloved. We'll have to be sneaky about it. Oh, smitten. You glorious, stupid bastard. Welcome back. Our beloved. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the oh, princess. Oh, smitten. Ah, so all of the cards are on the <laughs> table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts for, you've got in the works. Uh, me? Hero, smitten, princess? We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. Hey, it sounds like he's trying to make an active attempt to touch grass, Mr. Narrator. How, when was the last time you touched grass, huh? What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Oh wait, he can't touch grass because he's literally a voice in my head. Mm, let's go. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. She oh, yada, yada, yada. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. True. Again, you were the reason why we're here in the first place, narrator, because you forced us to stab her. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. He's got a very nice voice. I do. <laughs> But I also <laughs> speak from the heart. My oh my God, Smitten! To be stifled, they must be expressed. He likes the sound of his own voice. I do actually. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Hey, you can't kink shame him, but if it's like, I'll, at the same time, you can't be loudly vocal about your kinks if people don't want to hear them in public. Thanks for clocking in, Pyman. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Proceed into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant, its stone walls draped hmm. in fine threaded tapestries, a prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade. It's almost like a tower, isn't it? Like a traditional uh, fairy tale tower. The blade is your implement. Or fantasy tower. You need it if you want to do this right. All right. Uh, let's see. What can we do? Take the blade, I guess. Although I don't know what we're going to do with our blade. I'm trying to get the new route. I don't know what I have to do to get the new route. Hmm. I guess I'll just enter the basement without it. 
He didn't say anything. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold trimmed carpet. I only got new contact with it. Oh, damn it. Okay, hold on. I guess I'll grab it. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. I'll see what happens. I suppose if we're to play the role of dashing knight, we need an equally <laughs> dashing sword. That way she'll know we can defend her from her enemies. Holy cope, Smitten. I wish I could cope as well as you do. Hopefully it doesn't put her on edge. And hopefully it doesn't get turned on us. There's no use arguing over motivations right now. It's good that you took the blade. You'll need it to do your job. And what job is that, pray tell? Let's go. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. It is a nice basement. I mean, it's got the carpet and everything. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her <sighs> favor. God damn it, narrator. No matter how nice or ugly the basement is, he'll always just say that. Just like, oh, well, we're actually putting her out of her misery because she lives inside a basement. He's saying, he's literally saying, damn, bitch, you live like this. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Her voice. Oh, shit. No. It's ah, somehow ah, even craft, more craft. beautiful than last time. I, I didn't mean to. Uh, hello, is someone there? Wow. She sounds so familiar. I wonder why. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. <laughs> we can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. She looks There's a lot a more heavy sketchy chain around her wrist, than usual, doesn't she? Her to the far wall. So thank you for the follow free plap plap plapatine. Thank you for the follow free plap flap plap free plap. Why is this so hard? Free plapatine. Okay, thank you. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? But what if he's speaking, like, through his heart, spiritually? She may not be able <laughs> to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Yeah, if you, if you scream loud enough into the void, I think she can, like, she can reach it. She can understand it. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. Psychically, of course. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Do you hear that? She said we're dashing. See, I don't even need to have a mirror. I have someone to compliment me. That just makes my day. And she called us a hero. Oh, no hero. Flattery really goes a long <laughs> way with the two of you, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, God damn it, hero. Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. I have been here before, multiple times actually. Dozens of times. That's right, villain. And you killed us. True. Well, she killed us. He was the reason why she killed us. Really because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. <laughs> well, she was kind of crying and when it happened. before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. Has I it? I really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Has it actually? Or are you just saying that? We damned a whole world. But everything reset. Nothing resets. You're just somewhere else. And you can't keep hopping between worlds forever. Especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. I like how it's like for this one, this part specifically confirms that you're not time traveling or resetting, but you're specifically like, you know, just jumping between worlds, dimensions, whatever. Uh, I'm sorry about what happened last time. Nier, who sent me here to kill you, took over my body. It was extremely unfair. If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action it was for good reason that's okay you were just doing your best and that's all that matters this is the route that everyone would absolutely like fall for the princess for because she just gives you what literally everyone ever wants in life positive affirmation she took that in stride 
to a surprising extent. It's a, it is, it extent, is amazing actually. what a little bit of a compliment and positive affirmation can do for like one person. That's because she's perfect. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? No, we've confirmed that. She doesn't. There's no one else like me. You sound so smug for being like a floaty voice. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. True. All right, uh, remember all of these? Let's go just try it out. I think, let's try rescuing. Rescue her? What are you talking about? Did you forget that she's a world-ending monstrosity? And even if you wanted to unleash her onto the world, despite the complete moral disaster that would be, you'd have to get her out of those chains. Good luck with that. Wait, did they change it? Last time I played this, weren't her wrists, like, smaller than the chains? Don't you see how dainty her hands are? You'll be able to slip her out with ease. Wait, really? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. I thought she was... I thought her wrist was, like, a lot smaller. If her hand could just slip out of the chains, why hasn't she done it already? Because we've yet to present her with her freedom. Huh? I'm not sure I follow. Would you rather believe me, a passionate <gasps> Wait, this is new. by love and my own good nature? <laughs> look, 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 up here. It's not even, it's not white anymore. Devil on your shoulder who tells you what you can and cannot do. Oh, so that's what changed. Her wrist, her arm isn't smaller anymore, so he doesn't just say like, oh yeah, well, she just needs to like, you know, we just need to like go over there and remove her chain. I think I'd rather believe in facts. All right, let's do this then. Ah, so you're one of those empiricists. <laughs> empiricists. One of us has to be. <laughs> then let me show you a brand new truth. Narrator, we courageously step forward and free our beloved from her bind. Nice roll of your R's. I can't do that. I can't roll my R's. I think I'm like physically incapable of doing so. Er, er, uh, I can't. <laughs> I can't roll my R's. No, I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You'll, you'll what, what, huh? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her. You tried that before. How'd that go? Yes. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. What can we even do? Bite our tongue, I guess? I guess that's probably the best thing we can do, right? Biting our tongue. You guys can't either. Yeah, it does feel like... I don't know if it's like something that you can learn over time, or if it's just something like you have to like be born with. A fumo? Yeah, we'll get a fumo. There we go. You killed the damsel? I've never actually killed the damsel. I bet you that probably lead to like... a pretty messed up route. Most of the hero doubted her, and she only tells us what she th wants to hear. I think, uh, I think last time I did this, I rescued her, but I kept on questioning what she wanted until she just became a caricature of, like, a damsel. That was actually pretty cool. I'm kind of glad I did that because that was kind of fucked up. She had absolutely no agency of her own. She only, she only just wanted to, like, please us, and there was nothing else about her character. It was kind of creepy. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> oh. You approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand huh. from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. Wait. That was... That was... That was I guess those are new lines. Huh. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. Hmm. I told you, there's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. Also, I have the blade, so I guess I probably... Spin Quar I just slit our own throat if that was the case. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem, princess. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. Guys, we did it. We touched grass. Any question again for though for new content? Are you sure you want to do this? Just one step. Don't worry, that was the plan. Your pristine blade is buried in her back, and everyone out there is saved. I did not. Uh, I, I don't. Th even if I did this route, I don't think I would be happy just like you know rescuing her and just leaving. I I think I would have like still like asked her what she wants. 
if she wants anything. Is that a threat? You know what we'll do if you try it. You're going to regret this. All right. What do we do now? What do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world. Okay, this might be kind of fucked up. Because I remember it kind of got really messed up. Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. Man, that's so sad. <laughs> that's, so, <laughs> that's so, so sad. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had it all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? I, she only wants what we want. You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave. And I think... The I don't think. closes her eyes in deep reflection. I absolutely do not think. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? I'm ready for the music. I'm ready for the music. Something isn't right here. I'm sorry. So I, do I have to keep questioning her or do I have to just... Well, I can keep questioning her, right? And if I wanted, if I mess up, then I could just play the princess. Uh, there must be something that you want. I just want to make you happy. Oh God. She can't just want to make us happy. It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her. So of course she'd want the same for us. Keep on questioning her. All right, sounds good. Uh, you just have to have to want something more than just making me happy. Okay, I'll find something else yeah. to want if that makes you happy. <laughs> no, stop. You're only seeing that because I'm seeing that. Is she broken? What's going on? What's going on is she's lying to you, only she isn't a good liar. Are you starting to trust me now? Are your eyes getting bigger? No, she looks fine. Do you want to end the world? Are you seriously asking her that? Do you want to end the world? She's just parroting our questions, isn't she? Uh... Honestly, the world sucks. People are a plague and hope you bring a slow and painful ruin to them all. I can't believe that the fate of the entire world has been left in the hands of a misanthrope. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's go with that. Okay, if that's what you think is best, then that's what we'll do when we leave. <laughs> nice. We'll bring ruin to everyone and everything. Nothing will be left standing in the wake of the unceasing entropy we'll unleash upon all of creation. I like that. That's a good idea. Okay, so whatever we do next, we should not let her out. Hero, I just said what I wanted. Uh... Hmm. I want you to make me unhappy. But you need me own thing? I want you to make me unhappy. Okay, if that's what makes you happy, I can make you unhappy. <laughs> She's just a sketch. Okay, clearly something is happening here. And I'm very scared. What if we just don't do anything? What if we just stay here? Nobody gets hurt and we just figure out a way to be happy. Together. Oh, is that really what you want? If you think that would make you happy, then... Her eyes dart uncomfortably to the corners of the room. Oh, this is... Oh. Oh. Okay, this is it. This is it. I guess we could do that. Her voice is going back to normal. Oh, at least she's normal again. Normal again? Can't you tell she's sad? She's distraught. This is unacceptable. What do you mean it's unacceptable? Spin, what the fuck is wrong with you? But she can't be unhappy about staying with us. Can she? I don't know. She has a point. She doesn't know us. Wait, the point? What was the point again? We just stay here? And just do nothing? Alright, we just stay here and do nothing, I guess. No. It has to be him. It has to be this place. If we just made these walls whoa, more fitting whoa, for whoa, a princess, whoa, 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 if we just whoa. say the right things... If we just showed her the contents of what? our heart, <gasps> what? she'd be happy. Smitten? Oh, fuck. Um. Smitten? Calm down, buddy. You, calm down, buddy. As the voice thinks its thought, your hands uh, raise, oh. fingers pointing towards your chest, and then... What? No, you absolutely do not do that. Smith? Oh, but I do. Smith? What? What is he doing? 
we can't see unless you tell us. Are you blind, hero? Are you sure you want to know? Uh, I suppose I can't stall forever. Oh god. We're gonna traumatize this poor girl. <sighs> yeah, let's get a mini FOMO to like uh, dampen the emotional damage that we're about to like wreck on her. You plunge your nails into your chest, digging deep, grasping for a hand. Oh, she looks so uncomfortable. You find it. Your fingers <gasps> curling around oh, your wrists. Oh, God. Oh, no. What are you doing? Are you okay? You can't do that and be okay. But she's so nice. Why are we doing... Smitten! <gasps> Time out. He should not be allowed to do that. He's not the decider. <gasps> oh, my God. Balls. Yeah, th this is a ball situation. And yet, it's done. What? Isn't it? <gasps> uh, okay, guys, I veto. I, I take it back. I don't want Smitten uh, being part of our club anymore. Can we? Can we vote him out? I, I vote we. I vote that we that Smitten is not part of our cool club anymore. Oh, <gasps> will be soon. You yank violently. Your bones cracking with wet pops as you. Pull yourself apart, inch what? by painful inch. Why? Oh. Your exposed heart, framed by jagged ribs, thumps rhythmically in your raw, bloodied chest. The loosened uh, threads oh. of your body unfurling to cover the surface of the room. Smin, this is not the rate. This is not the way to her heart, Betty, man, buddy. Don't mind my sacrifice. It's a fair price to pay to give her everything she doesn't I don't know think she, wants. she wants. I don't think she wants this. I do not see her face. Oh, I see. You're trying to tell me something. What? Huh? The princess. Mesmerized. What? Reaches towards your beating heart and then. What the fuck? Everything goes dark and we die? Yes. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Epilogue. Apple. Apple. What? You're on a path in the woods. Mate, we're clearly already in the cabin. <laughs> Thank you, hero. Oh god. Hey, who was it that you guys said you wanted to get marriage in? I guess this is the marriage one. Excuse me? You're clearly... Oh. Huh. So you are. How do you know about the cabin? I didn't get to the cabin This is not I a cabin. Yet. We've been here before. Well, not here, here, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You knew about the loop in last time. Hero is so, like... Hero is very, very uh, assertive in this route, isn't he? Let's go save. Slouching check. Yeah, we can stretch real quick. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Not that he was eager to divulge that. You're right, this is like a cathedral. And right on cue, here's the new Wait, who guy. was that? Welcome! That was voice of the paranoid. What? Why is Paranoid here? So, we have Paranoid, Smitten, and Hero. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Smitten... Smitten is gonna be... Oh man. I can't say I'm happy to be here. This is a bad place. All stale and wrong. Can't you feel it? You know what the worst part is? Paranoia is... Paranoia is here because we were paranoid... Well, even... We weren't even paranoid. It was... Oh my god, it was Smitten that was paranoid. Do I have- I don't know, I haven't seen Smitten. But yeah, pa Paranoid's here because Smitten was paranoid that the princess couldn't understand why. It wasn't us. But the windows, yeah. The windows that the princess. Okay, yes, I get it. You've been here before. That's terrible. You know that, right? Because the only reason you would have been here before is if you failed in whatever world you'd come from. And then you doomed an entire other reality. But I'm sure since you're so well-traveled, you know that. you said this yes? like three different times, Mr. Narrator. We know that you keep telling us that, but we've never seen a world end. True! As far as I'm concerned, that whole conversation is just noise. And I'm stuck on a better question. Where's the other one? The paranoid here is dependent on your actions in the last chapter. 
<gasps> oh, so if I didn't take the knife, if I didn't take the knife, I probably would have gotten um, opportunist. But since I did take the knife, I still thought that like there was something wrong with the princess. So I got the paranoid instead. The other one. Wait, yeah, where's Smitten? Yeah, a certain lovesick fool has been suspiciously quiet. One might even say Where? absent. What? I I don't like that actually. Oh, you're right. It's a little quiet here, isn't it? Maybe that's one of the rules. Maybe only one bonus voice is voice. allowed to be here at a time. <laughs> that's not true. We've had a lot of different. We had all the voices all at once before. Bonus voice? I'm just as important <laughs> as you are. It's kind of fucked up to say, hero. Come on, man. That's not a heroic thing to say. What the hell? I'm not saying it's a bad thing. All I'm saying is that it's my third time here and it's your first. You're not unwelcome, but from my perspective, you're definitely bonus. There are things you shouldn't, shouldn't say, hero. I'm going to describe the room. <laughs> Daenerys so done with it. The interior of the cabin is vast and regal. High arched windows line the walls, their multicolored glass casting kaleidoscopic patterns across the stone floor. An iron chandelier hangs from the vaulted ceiling, its many candles lit with flickering light, vaguely illuminating the massive room. This is a house fit for royalty. He even said, this is not a cabin. This is a house. You wanted what else? Ah, oh, damn it. That's right. The monkey paw curls. Before you, there's... There isn't a blade, is there? What That's if Smitten good. is somewhere inside this place and he has, like, the blade is like an, a sword or something? I could see that happening. Does it matter if the blade's here? If we didn't use it last time and the like, time before that, she used it to kill us. I see your point, but it's still an option that's been taken away from us. I don't like losing options. What if that option was never there to begin with? It's the illusion of choice. Yes, and it's an important one. It's your implement. You're going to need it if you want to do this right. And the fact that you're here, right now, again, means that you have not yet done this right. What do we know what right is? What's right for you? Just because it's right for you doesn't mean it's right for us or everyone else. But it's not there, is it? We don't even get the choice. So, what are we supposed to do? Hero, come on, man. Get with the program. There was no choice here. I don't actually know. I'm sure it'll turn up somewhere. It has to. It's part of the whole structure of this place, I think. At the very least, it's important. Hmm. So, what about the mirror? Oh, I see it. I've just been preoccupied with everything else going on. Like the fact that we can rip our own <laughs> heart out without deciding that's what we're going to do. I never got a choice in that matter too. Smin just completely took over. Like what the hell, man? Is that what happened to you last time? How did that even work? You better not do it again. The princesses in the stained glass are holding our hearts. What if that's harder from before? <gasps> oh, that's true. Because it's already been established that, like, we can be separated. We can be separated from our body. So it's possible that, like, you know, our voices can be separated from us. Lucky for you, the one who did it is the one who's gone. Is he really gone or is he just not saying anything? Wonderful. Moving on. He might I be gone. No I think he's gone. About. There is no mirror. There's only the stained glass windows, the empty table where your blade should be, and the door to the basement. Hmm. There it is. Right in the middle of the room. It feels like it's watching us. Mirror or no mirror, the door to the basement, your only way forward. It's, it's so bright in this place, too. How about you walk over there? It's really bright in here. Turn around and leave? No, we're not going to do that. I'm, I'm very happy that they gave me that option. Paranoid would be ecstatic. You cross the room, stopping just in front of the door to the basement. What is this about that supposed mirror? Just reach forward and fumble around. He's so it. done with sure us. You'll find the handle. Well, shall we have a look at ourselves? There's nothing there, hero. Come on, man. You reach forward, your hand instinctively wrapping around the handle. What the heck is that? It's gone. What is that? I don't like things disappearing on us. I don't like how fluid reality seems to be. A door? Neither do I. Mean, I mean, yeah, it's a door, but what's the design? And then you push the door open. Marvelous. We can proceed. 
No matter how nice this place looks, it would seem what? that the stairs to the basement don't lead to a basement at all. What? Rather, they go up. They're draped in fine carpet too, one that feels pleasantly soft against your feet. This is very, very comforting. Which makes it even less comforting because it's not normal. I just talked about how like in the last basement stairs, it was like the best dungeon yet. This this is going straight up, man. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably- yeah, Fuck, <laughs> fuck uh, off, Nerger. No, doesn't work here at all. This place is nice. It's fancy. Even. Thank you. I know, right? I have to say, whatever you did in your previous lives, I deeply dislike how much it's thrown me off my mind. Oh no, it's not going off according to your script. Oh, who would have thought? It's not so pleasant, is it? Well, if all of this has thrown you off your rhythm so much, then maybe we don't have to slay the princess. Yes? No, you absolutely do. Just because she lives in a nice house doesn't mean she doesn't pose a direct threat to all of reality. It's in her very nature. You have no... You, you keep on saying that she's going to destroy reality. We have no proof. Am I the only one who remembers how much she changed last time? Does she even have a nature? Yeah, she kind of like, you know, had no personality up until the very end when Smitten kind of like traumatized that poor girl. That is precisely why she poses a threat. I don't know. She got weird for a second. Yeah, but she didn't change that. We have to move on. This is a wildly dangerous line of reasoning. I mean, she wasn't even dangerous. No, 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 you can't just say that and not her voice. <laughs> gentle and warm, with an <laughs> Nerd, are you ass? of fatigue, rolls down the stairs. Oh? You're home. Dinner's ready. Uh... Huh? Wait. Oh, um, huh? As much as I desperately want to know what happened last time, we are not going to examine it. The more we think, the worse this gets. Why are you so on edge? This is much nicer than what we're used to. I'd like to have dinner. Dinner sounds nice. Hero, <laughs> for once I have to agree with narrator because, well not once, but like, a broken clock is right twice a day. And I have to agree with narrator here because this is kind of weird. Can we be in, do we have a mouth? Uh, we have a beak. That is the problem. This isn't supposed to be nice and she's supposed to be a prisoner. <laughs> I need to stop talking, I need to stop talking. Just go upstairs okay dinner would be nice and don't eat <laughs> the food all right there we go thank you paranoid proceed up the stairs this hall like what? the one below what? is grand and beautiful torches bathe the room in warm comforting light huh? just enough to illuminate the tapestries along every wall woven with scenes of chivalry and courtship and romance the many cloth eyes are fixed on each other Gazes averted is that the from dagger? the long table in the center of the room. It's the dagger. The princess seated at its far end. Wait, 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 wait! That's the dagger around her neck. Your pristine blade glints in the weak torchlight, hanging from a golden chain around the princess's neck. How did she take the neck? The neck? How did she take the dagger? So that's where it is, and the tip is already pointed right at her heart. Okay, everything is falling back into place. All you have to do is cross the room, push, push down, down a little. and the entire world is saved. That's easy. I like how, like... Wait, what is that? Wait, what is that? Is that Smitten? Does she have a stand? Isn't that suspiciously easy? There has to be a twist. There has to be something I thought that was like for us. You the flame and shadow at first, but that's way She's too scratchy. Not what she seems. And the line boil is not on. You're here. Now we can start being happy together. Why oh, don't God. Down? Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, God. She's still following what we told her last time. The tapestries? Yeah, they're not lost on me. As the words what? leave her mouth, 
The torches flare and a chair swings huh? in from behind, knocking your legs out from under Wait, you. hey. You're forcibly seated at the head wait, of the table. Wait, hold on, hold on. No, wait, hold on. Hey, my agency. Isn't that better? It is better, right? Wait, does she have power? Oh, oh god. Psy Psychic, would her name ever stand be? Hmm. Was there a Guns N' Roses stand? Hold on. Jojo stand. Guns N' Roses. Oh, there is a Guns N' Roses stand. Hmm. I don't know, probably something like roses or romance related from a band. I can't really think of one off the top of my head. Kiss? Alright, we, we can we can call her a stand Kiss. I don't think there's a there's a stand called Kiss. Stand Kiss. Oh, there is a Kiss stand. God damn it. All the all the stands, all the really popular like rock like bands and bands in general and music artists. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Jojo is weird. I <laughs> oh, no, you guys think of a you guys think of a stand name for her. I I can't. I I, I haven't watched Jojo in a while. Every rose has its thorn. I remember could that could work probably. Yeah, let's go with that. That's her. That's the name of her stand. Even though that's literally me. You mentioned dinner on the stairs. Excuse me, get up. Slay the princess. What is this place? It's our happy ending. Just like you asked for. A kiss it's from a rose? Holy... To have ever wanted. I like that. Oh my god, that's a great one. That's a really good one. That, that's a that's an awesome stand name. For like something like this. Good. Co that's a good, good name. So welcome in, Jazz Arms. Uh, what are we supposed to do now? Oh, right, dinner. I totally forgot about it. The flames oh. burn bright, and a shadow dives across the table. In its wake, it leaves a feast. Uh... Smitten? Smitten? Is that you, buddy? Hey, we miss you. You, you want to come back home, man? Go ahead and dig in. I'm sure you're hungry. Uh... Guys... Remember what I said. Smitten is... Oh, but... He looks so amazing, he's and it looks like he's pretty happy where he is. Break. Are you sure we need to be so concerned? I'm not sure about anything, and that's the problem. For what it's worth, I generally don't think one should trust strange food that magically appears on a table. But nothing here is exactly what I expected it to be, so make of that what you will. Kiss from a rose's stand powers that makes dinner. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, but how can we? How can we like? How can we weaponize that? Remember, stands sometimes have like really wacky powers that like make no sense in combat, but people have some really funny, like, they have some really, really uh, clever ways to implement their powers. Refuse your hospitality, eat. Uh, the narrator is saying he has no idea what the fuck to do either. Well, I, Smitten made it. And Smitten, despite us, he, despite him ripping open our heart, he just wants the best for the princess, so let's go eat, I guess. You begin to feast, and the princess follows suit, her soft smile never fading. Sorry about that, paranoid. The food is more exquisite than you ever could have imagined. You sample countless otherworldly dishes, sauces and bread and hearty stews whose tastes dance across your tongue. Anything can be dinner if you're brave enough, even a bomb. Okay, so I guess her special ability is that she can produce anything that would be considered dinner or food for like any type of creature. So she can produce like toxins and chemicals and waste and stuff like that. You tear at hunks of meat practically melting from the bone, juicy and tender and bursting with flavors you could scarcely begin to describe. Your cup fills itself again and again with a flowery nectar so sweet it tastes like glimmering jewels. Glimmering jewels doesn't sound like it would be pleasant to taste. This really is perfect, isn't it? Okay, paranoid, chime in. I know you're gonna say something. It is the best meal you've ever had. Wow, narrator. Holy shit, really? But then it's over. And you're just as hungry as when you began. No, it was fake. Wasn't that perfect? We should do it again. What? The shadow washes across the table, clearing and replating. The feast is once again laid before you. Oh. The food is good, 
Again, you tear into golden crispy flesh, dab at the slurry of uh -oh. aromatic sauces on your plate with thick crusted bread, sip your goblet of sparkling gems. But you've done this already. Uh oh. And then it's over. And you're just as hungry as when you began. You're still hungry too, right? I know this wasn't as good as it was last time, but we just have to do it again. Oh. That's all. It'll be perfect if we just do it again. Oh no. I, I, I see where this is going. So the shadow sweeps over the table, clearing the old and laying out the new. And so you do it again. It's going to become less and less happy. The meat is fine. The bread is fine. You sample the side dishes and they're fine too. You finish your goblet, the liquid within no longer glimmering on your palate, instead leaving your mouth coated in a tacky film. You put it down and it fills again. Oh, she's again. getting unhappy too. You do not drink more. So, we had a mediocre meal. It's not a big deal. Hero... Come on, man. You're the hero. You know this is not a happy end. That's the trap. It wasn't mediocre at first. It's trending down. It's not trending down. We're just getting used to it. We're just getting a little sick of it. So what? We just have to try something new. I'm sure we won't be stuck eating the same meal forever. Um, <laughs> why'd, you have to, why'd you have to say that? Regardless of quality, it's over again, and... You're just as hungry as when you began. Again. No, no, something was wrong that time. But maybe I was just tasting it wrong. It looks just as good as it did the first time. It shouldn't taste like this. Oh no. Again, the shadow replaces your feast. And again you eat. The meat is greasy. Uh oh. The bread is tough. It's crust hurting oh, the music. your jaw as you chew. The grey vegetables are barely worth the effort of picking through. You don't even touch the goblet. It's sickly sweet aroma, utterly unappealing. Yeah, the music, I, it's not lost on me. I, I did notice that. I don't know if she's messing up the taste or she's messing up the meal. I'm pretty sure we're like, like anything good, everything in moderation, if you keep on having it over and over again, you're just going to get sick of it. I'm so tired of eating it just becomes dull what you found like to be fun or good if you just do it too many times you, it loses that that flair at least you still have the memory of how good it was the first time oh no right <laughs> it's never gonna be as good as the first time i'm so tired of this oh leave her mouth one of the torches on the wall uh -oh. sputters and then goes out entirely uh oh what just happened D did i do something wrong oh no this is not a it's not a very happy ending epilogue a light went out maybe a coincidence but maybe not actually i think i prefer paranoid over opportunist in here i don't know if opportunist would have much to say I just want to say thank you for playing this game. It's weird at times, also very poetic. Yeah, I've I've played this before, like last year, but uh, I'm currently thinking to do new content right now, and it's um, I'm pretty invested in this route right now. I'm, I have no idea where it's gonna go. What hurts about this is Brian Twitch is smitten. When he speak first speaks, he idolizes the princess. He always pinned her down in his mind. He repaints her physically without a flaw. She's perfect. She does not need to change. He does not seek change of his perfect specific scenario. It cannot be not perfect. Oh, he had like an image of... Oh, I see what you mean. So he has a certain like image of her in his mind. You know, but then I guess like when she... When he met her and he... She didn't appeal to like that idealized image of her. It's like, what do they, what do they call them? Like, uh, never meet your heroes or something like that? As if in response to the dousing of their brother... The other three torches blaze brighter, their flames licking at the walls. Their shadows deepen, dancing angrily across the stone. Uh -huh. I don't think you did anything wrong. I think you just said something you wanted to say.
Um, I, I think, yeah, hold on. I, I like that. I like that. But it was wrong. I took away a piece of our light. I'm not supposed to do that. I don't want him to be upset with me. What? Oh, okay. I don't like... I, I really... I do not like the way she put that. I re I really, really don't like the way that she put that. Hold on, Smitten. Hold on, Smitten. Hold on, Smitten. You said he. Okay, you know what? We know who he is. Come on. We, we know who he is. Let's go with... We, you know, we got some... We got some light. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's not we being controlled. Keep the rest lit. Being controlled. Oh, man. Okay. Oh. No, she's not being controlled. You see? No, no, no. She's not being controlled. It, it would be better if she was being controlled, but it's it's a lot worse than that, I feel. I, I can see the allegory here. The princess's eyes dart to the floor. I'm sure it will... It, it will... It's gonna unravel. We should do something fun. Wouldn't that be nice? What if we played a game? <laughs> uh, sure. She's trying to distract us. Yeah, that's exactly what we should do. Is she really trying to distract us? Or is she just trying to, like, fulfill her perfect fantasy? Is it even her fantasy? The flames roar and the shadow comes dancing across the table. It leaves behind an intricate game. Its pieces elegant and beautiful and enticing, its simple rules already apparent, even with little explanation. Smitten got triggered first when she denied living a perfect life together before ripping your chest open when he was baffled. She was not wanting to be in a perfect snare living in the cabin together. Man, Smitten... Man. <laughs> I thought they were gonna give Smitten, like, you know, a more expanded route. Oof. 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 Is this even what she wants? It's definitely what... Something that someone wants. I'm not sure if it's her. We can probably work together to figure this out as we go. That sounds like a lot of fun, right? Yet another waste of time. Why all the distractions? What are we being distracted from? That's the real game. I feel like I'm two steps behind. Come on, paranoid. Use your brain. It's... I mean... We... I solved it. If I can solve it, I'm pretty sure you can solve it. You're overthinking it, mate. I feel like this is just something to do. We might as well try to have some fun. Well, the first game will be fun at least, right? You and the princess do indeed so figure happy. it out as you go. And what a game it is. The tension between turns, the triumphant highs of moves well placed, and the tragic lows of miscalculations and careless plays. The warmth of trust and the cool texture of deception. And then, the climax, as she places her final piece. Oh, I think we got the rules wrong. Huh? And so you start over. Oh! Oh, she... She purposely said that so we can keep on playing the game. Time passes. You play the game. You win. Hey! hey. Oh yeah, look at that. And you want to play the game again? Oh, you won. I guess we can play again. Uh oh. Time passes. You play the game. She wins. Well, we're here, right? We're in the cabin. We're living a perfect life together. Just eating, playing games. Oh, I won. I guess we can play again. There is a long pause. And the board does not reset. Uh oh. Smitten? This isn't fun anymore, is it? Are you talking about yourself or for me? It's never going to stay fun. You don't need me to tell you that it isn't. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! Even narrator was like caught off guard with that. The princess visibly panics as another torch sputters. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe this is just too easy. Maybe if we added more rules and pieces, it would be fun again. Y yeah. The game's just a little simple. We can make it fun again. Mm. The shadow descends on the board once again, 
More pieces are added, their shapes more intricate, their purposes less immediately clear, and the two of you set about discovering the complexities of the game anew. The torches were getting a bit dimmer, but since we came up with new rules to keep things quote-unquote fun, they started burning about a lot brighter now. I'm pretty sure they're like indicative of like his mood. And so you do. <laughs> the house of cards. In fact, it's almost as fun as the first time you What's played. What's that noise? And the sputtering torch roars back to life. But then you get used to the additions, and the feeling starts to fade. The creeping numbness settling in over the board. Remember the happy ending the narrator wanted you to have? See the similarities in the reaction of the narrator? Yeah, the, the difference here is that, like, we have someone to spend time with, and we have endless activities inside the cabin, but there's just so much really you can do inside, like, the cabin, even when you're hanging out with someone. It gets redundant, and you have to... Being stuck in one place for eternity for that long, it's not viable. More pieces are added. The feelings flare. The feelings fade. The princess suggests new rules, a glimmer of what could have been excitement flits through your mind, quickly vanishing as the game progresses. Your pieces advance in an ever-increasing slog to their destination. No, yeah, the first, the first time for anything will always be like the best time. And every single time afterwards, unless it's something like absolutely new, will never like really reach the heights of that rush i guess you could say winning and losing become nothing but ends and even the end becomes oh no. nothing as you roll over into a new game the board resetting as many times as you can finish till finally i'm out of ideas i'm actually out of ideas this time i don't think i can play anymore there goes another torch as the words leave the princess's mouth another torch goes out Again, the remaining flames burn brighter, and the shadow dances faster. If Smin does something, like, bad... I'm happy, I promise. We're both so, so happy here. You don't have to be upset. Oh. I know I can get up at any time and just walk away, but... This is... awful. Eve oh my god, even... Even the near even the oh god. Even the narrator is taken aback by the shit. Oh, it's him, isn't it? He's making all of this happen. He's the one who trapped us here. Who? The lovesick one, the one from last time. He's not gone. He's just with her now. He's the shadow. Deduce. I got an achievement saying deduce the identity. I mean, we kind of, we kind of figured that like a, a minute into the new chapter. Hey, Smitten. You were real chatty last time. Don't you have anything to say? Okay. Uh, are you actually no? Actually, I do want to. I do want to see if he has anything to say. Smitten. Huh? The torches flare and the shadow grows for a moment, but you don't receive a response. Oh, what is? Is that his beak? No, I saw him smile. smile. That's him. Regardless, it would seem that he, if there is a he, isn't something you can talk to. Well, we can't talk to him. Maybe she can. Oh, you're talking to the shadow, aren't you? She guessed that right away. She knows what's going on here. I knew it. Of course she does what's going on here. <laughs> He's the voice that whispers sweet nothings in my ear. I think he made this place for us. For us? Us as in you and... Her? Or I mean, uh, him, you and him? Or us as in all three of us? I was right, wasn't I? I can't believe I was actually right! It is him! This is what he became after ripping us open! Uh, so are you happy? The princess starts to hyperventilate, her quick breaths oh. punctuating the uncomfortable silence between Oh, them. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yes! Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Oh, no.
If I push, if I push it, it's not gonna end well. It might end it early, actually. We need to, the truth. You need to tell me how you really feel. We already know how she feels, but there's two more torches. Now what? I, I don't know. But we can't do those other things anymore, can we? Maybe we can just spend time together. Princess smiles as the two of you wait. Waiting is also going to become stagnating. Come on. There has to be a way out of this. This can't be the rest of our lives. This can't be forever. And wait. We live in a changing world. We know that. Something has to happen. You know it's silently, but that's not the same thing as a minging out loud. It's gonna happen. It, like, we're, we're both gonna come to that truth. And even the shadow will realize it too. And we'll know, well, we'll definitely know when he realizes it. Yeah, let's go get a drink real quick. Man, I'm so feel, I feel so uncomfortable right now. That, that one scenario where she ripped off her, her skin, that was pretty, like, disturbing. But now I just feel like, it feels like I'm watching the precursor to a domestic incident happening very, 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 very soon. And wait. Oh no, it's not, it's not, it's not working. You keep saying that, but we can't wait forever. There is no waiting forever. And wait. Oh no. I can't do this anymore. <gasps> oh. No. Narrator! What the- what did, You can't say that, narrator. You can't say that, narrator. Nar narrator, you can't say that. You cannot say that. Oh no. The third torch sputters out. Princess's shadow dances furiously against the far wall. Uh-oh. There's just one left. What's going to happen when it goes out? Uh, what do you think will happen? Don't worry about what's going to happen. If you could do anything in the world, what would it be? What would you choose? Whatever the shadow have been showing us isn't real. At least it happens when the lights go out. We don't have to let it go out. That's... Not... No! Two and three, I feel like, are the real meat of it. I actually never considered that it's not real. The shadows have been, like, hiding the truth. Okay. Don't worry about what's gonna happen. What, what would... What would you want to do here? Because I don't think you want to do this. I think... I'd like to dance under the stars. She just wants to... <laughs> she just wants to leave! <laughs> That's all she ever wanted! <laughs> this isn't her fantasy, it's his fantasy! This entire time it's been his fantasy! All she... We're still in the cabin! That sounds... Lovely. But there aren't any stars here. I'd have to leave. As she says that, the shadow rushes forward and tightens Smin, its what the fuck? I'm not happy here. I don't think I ever was. This isn't this isn't what she wants. Oh, the princess sobs, burying her face in her hands as the final torch blows out. So So that's that, huh? She raises her head, mascara trailing down her cheeks. Uh, I don't like that I can't see her. I don't know where he went. That's so what happens when love turns into an obsession. An obsession turns into unwilling abuse. I'm there's like a lot of allegory and metaphor like for this current situation, for sure. Yeah, I guess that's that. I can't believe it's over. It felt like it was supposed to last forever. The princess's eyes 
darts to the floor. Well, we can't sit here forever. That part of us is over. The princess pushes herself from her chair, and you instinctively do the same, waiting by the top of the stairs as she quietly crosses the room. Hmm. You know... You've been sitting across this table this entire time. We never actually, like, managed to spend time together. Like, together, together. Do you still care about me? Of course I do. I don't think I'll ever stop. Whatever we had between us wasn't real. This is real. I don't know if I ever have, but maybe I can now. I'm not sure I've ever had the chance to figure out how I feel about you. I've just wanted to leave since the moment I found myself in the woods. No. Just, just straight up no. You can choose the option to slay the princess to hear what the narrator has to say now. What would he have to say? It's so insensitive. Well, that's... Isn't that... That's, that's the... That's the beauty of this game, isn't it? You just... It gives you the choice. It gives you the choice to just, like, keep on playing, you know, along with the route. Or you can just remember that, you know, this is the game where you have to slay the princess. Uh, can I really say I loved her if... Can I really say I loved her if she was only presenting a persona that she thought would be loved? What do I think? I don't think I can like someone who isn't true to themselves. I don't think I ever, I don't know if I ever have, but it's possible. Because that's the first thing that she ever said that entire time that she had agency for apart from the very very start was that she just wanted to leave that's a nice thought i think this place was bad for us it was keeping us small i think it's time for us to go but what about that shadow offer her your hand or leave Oh god. Well, isn't it both the same? When no light shadows can exist? Ah, that is tr oh, that is true. Well, I guess we'll just take her hand. I mean, we can figure it out. As the princess steps towards the stairs, you offer her your hand. There are no shadows in darkness, he offed himself. The corners of her mouth curl into a demure smile, and she gently takes your hand in hers. She's cold, a little clammy, but her skin against yours is the most real thing you have ever felt. It's interesting because the narrator is no longer like saying how weird or gross or how disappointed he is in us you're offering surprisingly little resistance if we leave the cabin doesn't that end the world but changed it does if he's telling the truth yes well i've seen my fairy tale ending and i think there <laughs> might be worse things than the end of the world <laughs> I don't know why, but something, something about like his realization. There, there's just something about like his own realization about his like happy ending for us, and realizing that it's not really just like a normal happy ending. 
I don't know, that hits me harder than like, than like what happened with uh, us and the princess now for some reason. It really was just all meaningless blather then, wasn't it? Well, it's not. It's not meaningless. I mean, we know what happens. Think what you will. I'm done fighting. <laughs> you and the princess don't exchange words as you descend the stairs to the cabin's entrance. And then the two of you step out into the world. I think this is the end of me. Even if it's not the end of you. I hope this was worth it. Genuinely, I do. And after like all that time that like you spend like antagonizing him and like him antagonizing you even with you know his job knowing everything the world can end that means she can stop suffering we know she's been suffering too though because like we've seen her perspective like we know we know how it is we've seen her perspective in like a lot of different ways But I guess it's just like weird, it's, well, it's not weird, but... I guess it's the fact that, yeah, I, I do agree, like... The narrator, I guess, is... Realizing... Just realizing, like, it's, it's over, it's over, it feels like a proper end for, like, the narrator, I guess. Like, yeah, it's, it's very, it's very cool and all about like how it ends with you and her leaving but the fact that the narrator accepts it realizing like firsthand what would have happened yeah it's, it's all about perspective i agree he's really gone isn't he? He didn't even like fade out, he just accepted it. Yeah. There's an itching in the back of my head that feels like it's finally been scratched. No more shadowy figures yanking at our strings. No more strings. I guess we're free. The stars are so beautiful <laughs> man and it's gonna if the game just like ended here it'd be so good but you just know you already know we all know what's gonna happen next <laughs> i hate it i hate i hate knowing what's gonna happen next i don't know if i can continue the stream after this i'd rather i just end the game here even though i know there's like more endings i mean I think there's more endings, right? Adds an entirely new ending to the game. Mm. Uh, a quiet moment passes over you. A comfortable quiet. I meant it when I said I wanted to dance. I'm really surprised that the long quiet's like letting us be out here this long. She gently pulls you forward, and the two of you fall into a graceful step. The only rhythm that guides you is the shared thumping of your hearts, beating in perfect unison. Her face, worn and tired, brightens the faster you move. A soft, sad smile, widening and widening into her reflects only genuine affection. You send her out in a wide spin, and your arms stretch to their limits. Only the tenuous grasp of your hand and hers holding you together. You share a gaze that feels like it lasts forever. Thank you for taking me here. This is nice. 
even if it's a little cold outside. Ugh, damn it. Aw, oh, man. Well, that was nice, at least. It was nice while it lasted. Man, what a... <laughs> they really outdid themselves with that... With that route, didn't they? God damn. Hey, Astro, welcome in. I meant to share a dance with your happy ending. But you do not get the chance to respond, uh, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Man, <laughs> I don't know if I want to continue the stream at this point. It's late. I feel sappy. I feel sad. God damn it. <laughs> Uh, of course you're scared. This is the end for you. It's not the end for me. Just wouldn't be okay. Just trust me. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. I know, right? The damn hands. Come on, man. Have her be outside a little bit more. That's all she ever wanted. What the heck? Ugh. It's fucking midnight here. You know? Yeah, I know. It's it's really it's late. Us. And not in a good way. Uh, I'll see you on the other side. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. Although, you know, that was a happy ending and all. But, but... Do we trust you? But... I was recommended... Guys, I'm sorry. I, I, I was recommended to uh, see a certain... Do a certain action to see what the narrator's thoughts would have been. And I kind of do want to see what he would say. So, uh, I will have to, uh, I will have to take your hearts, which have been mended by heartwarming, uh, heartwarming situation. And I'll have to tear into pieces at the worst possible moment. The silence as you reach forward, they're all gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've unraveled. <sighs> okay. Let me save here. Well, after I see what her thoughts on her are. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it. I wish there was like something here that like referenced the narrator and like his uh his finality with everything his character developments okay there's like one more one more i'll probably save this for like tomorrow or monday i think uh i've emotionally i'm emotionally drained after all that the first the first uh couple of routes were pretty fun and all i i like i like those routes but man that was <laughs> I, I don't think I've been that invested into, like, like that, that invested into a story in a long, long time. Uh, where are your thoughts? This one is a songbird in a cage of gilded shadows. <sighs> she will make for an honest heart. God, the cage of gilded shadows line. <laughs> Jesus. Do not mourn her. She has finally learned to sing for herself. Ah, <laughs> man. Man, you don't, you, gotta, you don't gotta break me like that. What the heck? Also, thank you for the follow, Starlight Crash. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in. Alright. Alright. All right, my, uh, I am not ready. Ah, oh, man, I'm not ready. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 
fly. Uh, oh, God. Slay the princess. Are you sure you want to do that? Narrator? Isn't this what you wanted us to do from the beginning? It is. I just... I think I might have made a terrible mistake. Narrator! <laughs> a terrible mistake? You sold this as her being a threat to the entire world. Was that a lie? No, it wasn't. I, I'm just not sure the world I want is worth it. <laughs> Uh. This is... this is some sort of trick. You're trying to use reverse psychology on us. Or... what if this is reverse reverse psychology? Man, you wanted this all along. You can't, you can't back on me like this, narrator. God damn it. Think what you will. I'm only here to guide you. You're the one who makes the decisions. <laughs> this part is so meticulous. It's it's what he would say. <laughs> that's that's. I can't say that. That's. It's like he became. It's like he became me, and I became him. If I say that. Oh God, my stomach hurts. <sighs> All right. Don't get cold feet now. This is the good. This is for the good of everyone. I'm saving the world here. The princess doesn't try to flee as murderous intent settles into your eyes. Nor does she resist as you wrap your fingers around the blade dangling from her neck. Oh god, her face. As the weapon sinks deep into her heart, all she manages are three muttered words. It's finally over. I don't think she's even... I don't think she's even sad that we stabbed her. I think she's just happy that she's not you know, in the cabin anymore. I didn't think it would be so awful to help you see this through, but all of this was for a reason. The world is better off, man. Uh, I really hope that's true. That's not true at all, and we all know that. We all know that. We'll never know, will we? I don't know. I feel cold. But I guess I felt that way for a long, long time. How could I do that? Cause I'm a demon, obviously. Uh. Betrayer? I think we just got a little bit, tiny bit more insight into the narrator at that point. Though you pierce her heart, you do not see her die. Nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Did they see anything different? Where oh, she go? oh, no. Should we try and find her? I got an achievement. I got an achievement that says... It's finally over. Kill your happy ending. Hey. Yeah, that wasn't that arc wasn't even about Spart like uh, Smitten at all. I mean, it was he was kind of quote unquote the villain there, but yeah, all about broken opportunist villain arc. Opportunist was pretty funny though. I, I like that. I like what he did there. He kind of took control for a second because he would totally do that. That makes sense. But broken, like you know, <laughs> broken actually relating to the princess being like. You know, broken over and over again, and being the reason why we managed to like get out of there without without intervention of the narrator. That was crazy. That I did not see that coming. Why is it here? 
I missed the start of the chapter. Fill me in. <laughs> oh god, I don't know if I could do that. That's just a person here. Let's go see if she says anything else. This cool. Uh, what happened at the chapter? Uh, we failed at slaying the princess, but fortunately, don't worry, guys. We slayed the princess at the very end. All right, let's go see. I want to see what they say. Oh God, it's gonna be a wound in there. Oh. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I want to see what she says. The real broken. Who's the? Hey, how am I supposed to get the real broken? Is there another path I haven't gone yet? The tower. Oh right, that's true. There's a. Wait, the tower. I thought there were only uh, updates for the Fury, the Den, and Apotheosis. Oh, damn. I'm gonna miss out on uh, the Den or the Apotheosis then, aren't I? Apotheosis was pretty long. What was the Den again? I think the Den was like the animal version. Doesn't even matter if you slay her or not, does it? No, I mean it does. Also, thank you, Gacha, for wasting your points. Wait, why? why? <laughs> but why? Guys, I put that there as a meme. You're not actually supposed to use it. If you use it, everyone will see that you're wasting your points for no reason. There's no- there, you get nothing. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it doesn't matter because... It matters through the perspective of you, obviously. And how you resolve the chapter. And also at the very end, uh, because something happens at the very end, depending on your choices. You get to Apotheosis through Tower. Oh, okay. Then in that case, next time I play this game, I will make uh, Apotheosis the last one, I guess. This one is a songbird in a cage of gilded shadows. She will make for an honest heart. Okay, so it's all the same. Do not mourn her. She has finally learned to sing for herself. One last fool? Yeah, for the road. I'm tired, guys. I'm trained. <laughs> oh my god. This is... Ugh. First we got super... No, for... hold on, what happened? First, the first one, I believe, that was uh, the Fury. We got the Fury. The second one, I forgot which one that was. Um, I think I have it here. The second one was... The Spectre, I think? Then the third one is the Prisoner. I've got what the Spectre led, I think. Oh, wait, no, I remember. The Spectre led to, um... Her breaking us apart and atomizing us. And that led to, uh... I think, no, wait, no, that was that, I forgot, no, that's not right. I forgot what the Spectre was. The Prisoner redid that one. That was when, uh, she got chained up and she, like, opened our head. The damsel, obviously, we just did that one. What was the specter again? You might have changed if you went to slay her before she stood up for herself and admitted she was unhappy. That's true. That's probably another achievement for that. There was a lot of achievements for this. Also, see you around, Nizaris. Thanks for uh, sticking around. Fury atomized you. Specter goes in. <gasps> right! Specter was the one where we got to see everything from her perspective. That was it. All right. That was cool. That one was super cool, too. Oh, my God. It feels like they just saw everything that they did in the first game, and they just made it ten times better. Not saying that the original game was, like, good and all, or bad at all, or anything like that, but they really, really knew how to, like, write, write like, everything proper in this. I'm excited. I want to see the, um, I want to see what's new with Apotheosis in the Tower. And then I think, um, oh no, I might load the save and then I might see what's also new with the den. And then we'll go see the new ending the next, the last time, or the next time we play this. But for now, I think we'll end it here. Let's go see who's on right now. Tonight we raid with the princess under the stars and away from the shadows. What a handful. Can't we just do like happy princess slaying raid? I, I, I like Happy Princess Slaying Raid because we just killed her at her most happiest, didn't we? Let's do uh, let's do this one. You guys can do whatever you want, actually. You know, I I'm not in charge. 
as I all that I ask from you guys when I do a raid is that you guys just say hi to them and you're very kind to them and you stick around for them if you enjoy their content. Uh, let's see, who can we raid into for tonight? Man, what a way to. <laughs> Is this is this this song right here? This song right here, I think, sums up how I feel right now. Shrimple? Shrimp song right now. Yeah, why not? Let me say it a shrimple. Let me set this up real quick. Also, thank you for the follow, Teener Cap. Thank you, thank you. I do appreciate it. I have, <laughs> that was such a fun. That was really really fun. I had a lot of time hanging out with you guys for like experiencing this. I'm sure you guys also went through the same emotions as I did for all this. Oh man, this is why I love I love streaming so much. I, I love it so much. All right, let me set this up. Uh, slash raid, triple rep. Here we go. So, make sure you guys drink plenty of water, stay hydrated, uh, get some food, get some rest, do whatever it is that you gotta do. But not before we stick around to say hi to Shrimple, because Shrimple is also really cool and really nice. Uh, he's my good friend, and he has an upcoming debut very 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 soon verse 2.0 very very exciting um i will see you guys around tomorrow uh maybe a bit earlier so that we can do some gaming like i said i might be i, I want to take a break from something like emotionally investing as this so probably no more not slay the princess tomorrow but definitely definitely like on monday i would say because i want to i want to see all the new stuff because if the writing is this good for like uh like the two out of three paths we've seen i have to see it to the end <laughs> all right goodbye 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 goodbye